morning and welcome to Sewing Street on this lovely Monday morning. Um, we've got some great things on for you today. We've got the launch, big, that was a big drumble, of the brand new Tula Pink Raw. I'm not very good at Raw. Raw um, fabric range. It's, we are launching it today. It's been it's the um, UK launch, so very excited that we've got this here for you today. And we've got it as a special early bird. Loads of other things coming up for you today as well. We've got the flower shop, the return of the flower shop today. We've got the marvellous Sandy is in with us for two whole shows. And we've got Jimmy Jumbo. All good? All good? So let's start with the early bird Doo -doo -doo. now i was really surprised we had this as an early bird because this is the launch of the tula pink raw fabric collection um and we don't always we don't often have these as an early bird so this is the charm pack five inch squares of all of the fabrics in the brand new range now normally if it's a new product then it's you know we we don't have it as the early bird because it's our exciting new launch, but we've been allowed to. So obviously, little discount, little discount, brand new, and it's the early bird. Fifteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine for forty squares. Oh, I haven't got my glasses. Oh, right. Should we have a look? Da, da, da. Now, these are all five inch squares and these are all the fabrics from her brand new range. We, we're going to be talking about the whole range in a moment, but basically it's called Raw and it is Tula Pink's designs of dinosaurs. She absolutely loved dinosaurs when she was a child and said, what did she say? Dinosaurs are not just for children. I think they should be for adults as too. Absolutely. So we've got all sorts of dinosaurs and we've got dinosaur inspired prints. So look, I think... I think he's a triceratops, is he? Um, so, oh, I like that one. That's the cosmic sky. This one I know is called dinosaur eggs. So basically you've got two of each of the prints. Now the prints come in three different colorways, mist, blush, and storm. And you've got a mixture of those colorways across the range. Oh, look, I can just see. This is our only pre-cut this morning. That is, is that a Tyrannosaurus? Yeah, that's the T-Rex. So you can see the colour palette here. It's um, peach, mints and bright pinks. Well, it's the Tula Pink signature colours, really, isn't it? But in the charm pack, it is gorgeous, isn't it? I love, this is one of my favourites. I love the fact that she's used the colours, called it dinosaur eggs, and done these massive spots. But isn't this gorgeous? So if you want to make something that's bright and cheerful and up-to-date, love that one, Cosmic Sky... It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at all of these. Beautiful. And I like the fact that you get two of each of them. So just think of what you can make with this. You know, I mean, make a fantastic bag, wouldn't you? You could make a really big weekend bag from all of them. Make a little tote bag. You can make cushions. Um, loads of designs you can make with charm squares. Quilts work out really well. You can make these as just like the feature square in the centre. But if you love the Tula Pink designs, this is a really good way of you getting all of the prints from the brand new range with a discount as well at just 15.99. So 42 five inch squares featuring all of the Tula pink prints. Now we've got a really, really good stock of these because it is our only pre-cuts we've got this morning. We've got, we're, I'm gonna show you in a moment, we have got all of the fabrics by the half meter as well as a bundle as well. But if you want the whole fabric range here, Five inch squares, you get two of each of the ones from the um, from her range. And I love the fact, because they're pre-cut, they're little five inch squares, you just get like little dinosaur faces just poking in. Like, where's the um, gorgeous? There's pterodactyls, there's Tyrannosaurus rex, there's um, Triceratops, all sorts on here. And I love that one. It's almost like, um, it looks a bit like spiders, doesn't it? I don't know why, maybe it's the stripes or something. But isn't the colour palette gorgeous? I love this one. You'll see these in a moment bigger when you see them in the half metres. But that's a beautiful print, isn't it? It's almost a bit like, who knows, maybe dinosaurs were this colour. Because we don't know, do we? Maybe they were rainbow colours. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that one. You've got the really gorgeous Triceratops. So it's, it's Tula Pink's way of bringing all of her dinosaurs, all of her favourite animals in, but putting her colour spin on it. 
I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. This is the UK launch. It hasn't been able to be sold anywhere in the UK until today, and we are lucky enough to be able to have it for you today, and with a little discount as well. Fifteen ninety nine. That's gorgeous. Right, there are, there are fewer than 100 of these left now. And that does sound like a lot, but we had a big stock of them because when we launch a fabric range, we know it's going to be popular. So we had loads of stock of them. And we're taking it lower. This is the, um, st I think that's the storm colourway and the mint colourway. Aren't they gorgeous? So even if you just thought, well, I'll just make something with the spots. You know, you could do the little spots or you could you. You, or you could intersperse them, couldn't you? Use your planes as well. So you could use these as the centre and then use your planes around them. So many different designs and patterns that you can make um, with charm squares. These are lovely, aren't they? That's the blush colourway. That looks a bit pineapple-y, doesn't it? Gorgeous. I think this might be the um, pterodactyl one. Beautiful. Oh, there's more dinosaur eggs. And those are, those are just the, um, the spots. I like these starry ones. They're nice, aren't they? And see, when you have a look through your charm pack, you'll have to lay it all out and think, well, am I going to stick with one colourway to put those together or shall I put those in as well? Get yourself a couple of charm packs and you can make an even um, bigger design. So maybe you want to make um, a cock quilt or a baby quilt or a toddler quilt. You know, how lovely would that be? Or you want to make an even bigger quilt. Actually, I've got a few patterns in the 10 o'clock hour. I've got three patterns that all use charm squares. So if you want some ideas of what you could do with your new charm pack, then I have got some ideas for you there. Now, if you're just joining us, morning, morning, we are launching the Tulipink Raw Fabric Range, which are is featuring dinosaurs because as Tula says she always loved them as a child and doesn't see why adults shouldn't love them too so she decided to put dinosaurs with her special spin on it and you know Tula's spin is always colour colour and print isn't it oh look there's the pterodactyl's wings on that one it is gorgeous isn't it so get these in your bag remember have a think about what you're going to make with them you might need to buy two or three packs or if you just love them just pop one in your basket um, and then you'll be sorted. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Loads and loads of you are coming through for that. Right, I, we will come back to the, um, the raw range. We're just going to do today's menu so you can see what's coming up and then we'll come back and I will show you the rest of the prints in all of their glory. So this is what is coming up on today's show. Now at eight o'clock, we've got obviously the Tulipink Raw Fabric Launch, UK launch, hasn't been sold anywhere else until today. And we're lucky enough to be able to have it for the launch. At nine o'clock, we've got the lovely Sandy Millichip in, um, who is going to be demonstrating the gorgeous Tim Holtz Suburban Skies Quilt Kit. Now we haven't been able to have this for over two years. Massively popular. We had it um, over two years ago and it sold out so quickly and it's taken us that long to be able to get it back. It is gorgeous. Now, I was chatting to Sandy earlier. This is brilliant for beginners. Really, really good. It's a very, very impressive quilt. But if you're a beginner to quilting and you want to make something that looks really impressive but isn't really difficult, then this is for you. Now, although we sold this two years ago, obviously fabric has gone up a lot in price since then, but we're gonna match the price for you. Because why not? Why not? Um, Sandy's going to be showing you um, in detail about the sort of the cutting out and the organising it. So if you find that when you're quilt making or if you're new to it, you think, oh, I get really confused when I'm doing all my cutting and I don't know which is the best way to organise so I know I use the right pieces, that's what she's going to concentrate on. Because it is, I, it, to me, it's a wall art piece. For me, I feel like this is what, I mean, obviously it, you can put it on your bed, but for me, I think I'd want to hang that on that wall, on the wall. It's a real statement piece and it is absolute quintessential Tim Holtz as well. Um, now, 10 o'clock, I'm going to be demonstrating the flower shop full quilt. So I, the flower shop was a block of the month that we did last year with our Amber Makes. And on my birthday, on February the 13th, we did the full quilt show and we sold out of all of the um, panels to, of all of the flower panels and the quilt finishing and the instructions. So we've brought it all back. 
We also had um, five inch charm squares of all of the flowers. They sold out. We've managed to get those reprinted. And then we have all of the individual kits as well. So in particular, the January snowdrops and the August sunflowers sold out very quickly. I've managed to get those back as well. So whether you want to buy the panel of all of the 12 um, flowers or whether you want to buy the whole quilt kit or if you just want to buy um, the September hydrangeas we've got all of the kits for you all of the charm squares as well as full kit and i've had so many people saying to me i want to buy all of the flowers have you got them well we've managed to get them all back today and we've got the full quilt kit so if you want to get ahead because we did sell out really fast last time then do get those into your basket now at 11 o'clock sandy will be back with me with her brand new design the daisy folding handbag it is fabulous Here's one that's folded up. It's a brilliant bag. It's absolute classic. It's very designer, isn't it? It folds up. That's, that's what it looks like folded. And that's what it looks like opened up. So it's a beautiful little bag that you can pop your leather handles on and then you can fold it all up so you can pop it in your suitcase. We've got it in four different designs. That's what it looks like all folded up. It is gorgeous. It has a zip across the top. Um, you can either use buttons, magnetic fasteners. We've got all of the handles in a whole variety of colours and finishes for you as well. Um, brand new design from her. So, and you know what it's like with Sandy's kits. They go very fast. But luckily, everything is on pre-order. We'll show you that in a moment so that you can get ahead. You don't, I don't, really don't want you to miss out on that. And then at 12 o'clock, it's Monday. So it's Yarn Lane. We've got the fantastic Julian uh, from Jimmy Jumbo. Brand new. She's got brand new and exclusive to Sewing Street products. Brand new knitting needles. And she's got patterns and yarn and kits and everything. So if you love Julie's needles, that will be brilliant. Right, how to get in touch with me, love to hear from you today. If you've got any questions, comments, um, messages, anything, you can either message the studio um, by emailing us, studio at sewingstreet.com, or you can message us via Facebook. Um, you can just go onto our Sewing Street TV. Uh, morning, Laurie. Laurie said good morning. Nice to see you this morning, Laurie. So message us with questions or comments or tell me how your day's going what are you making today always love to know what everyone's making so do message me i'm either on facebook or on the email um shopping shopping two ways to shop one way is on the phone 0800 001 4433 uk call send it just upstairs actually it's free so if you like to speak to a real person to do your order or if you've got a question or you've got confused or you put the wrong thing in your basket or you can't remember what the code is Give them a ring. It's a free phone number. They'll be able to help you. Um, or the easiest way to shop really is on sewingstreet.com. So you go onto the website, put in www.sewingstreet.com. At the top, in green, you see it says watch live. Click on that and you'll be able to watch live. And then if you scroll down below there, that's where you can um, message. If you scroll down there, everything that we're selling on today's show is already there. Now, the mega bundle of the brand new Tula Pink Raw Collection fabric is already going because you get half a metre free and you get all of them. Um, we've also got all of the fabrics individually by the half um, metre. We've also got extra wide backings. Oh, that's nice. Oh, looking forward to seeing that one. Beautiful. So we've got borders. Oh, the extra wide backings are beautiful because uh, the, the Tula extra wide backings are very nice because it's a sateen. So it's cotton, but it's got a very smooth sateen feel finish. Um, lots and lots of um, lots of different pieces, bits and pieces. There's all the Tim Holtz. There's that kit. Now, we will be reducing that because unbelievably, we're matching the price that it was two years ago. So... It sold out very quickly last time and it has taken us two years to get it back and we will be matching that price. Don't worry, if you check out and now, you will be charged the lower price. Now, here's all the flower shops. So all the individual 
Um, all of the individual kits are there, as well as the full quilt kit. We've got charm squares for each of the months. January and August in particular, we've got those back in stock because they sold out. I've got all of the products here to show you. The 12 blocks fabric panel, that one there, 19.99. that's the one that we sold out of a couple of times, including the charm squares. So you can get ahead with those. Also, we've got three sets of charm square instructions, which might be useful if you've bought your Tula Pink charm squares. Um, here's Sandy's amazing daisy folding handbag. Um, and then also all the handles are in there as well. So I've got a really rotten cold today. So I do apologise for excessive sneezing and blowing my nose. But it's just, you know, when you get to that point of your cold where it hits the peak and your nose is just, oh, I just want to put my head down on the desk. But I'm not going to do that because Sandy's giving me chocolate and that has helped. I had a conversation this morning. Is it anodine, nurofen or paracetamol that's best if you've got a cold or shall I take all three? Um, any tips? Any tips? I've got a rotten cold. Oh dear. So I do apologise in advance for the sneezing and the blowing of my nose but it's just, oh. but, but don't worry. I've told everyone to keep away. Keep away. Don't, don't come near me because you really don't want to catch this. Anyway, right. Early bird, if you have just um, tuned in, early bird. It's a pound of 42, 42 charm squares. Brand, brand new, raw collection. Brand new today. Da, da, da. Look at all of these. Gorgeous, aren't they? 42 five inch squares, save a pound. This brand new today, it hasn't been available anywhere in the UK until today of the UK launch. We've got all of the fabrics in the range, but if you, but if you want a little sample of all of the five inch squares from it, because you love Tula, um, even if you haven't decided what you're gonna do with them yet, very nice to have, isn't it? Love a charm pack. 15.99. Now, it's been selling fast, so if you want one of them, you need to get... And I'm surprised, surprised we've taken any money off it. It is the UK launch. When Hannah says it's our early bird, I was like, really? But hey, but hey, little treat for you. If you've ne maybe you've never bought Tula Pink before and you just want a small sample, this is quite a good way to start your Tula Pink collection with the brand new Raw. It's brilliant. Maybe dinosaurs didn't Raw. Maybe they just sort of whispered. Who knows? Maybe there were rainbow colours. Everyone thinks they're green and brown, but you just don't know, do you? I mean, it's not like they could hide. They didn't need to be camouflaged, did they? Imagine going, oh, I haven't seen a dinosaur around here lately, have you? It was just about 10 double-deckers high. So maybe there were bright colours because they couldn't hide anyway. Who knows? Right, let's talk about the Mega Bundle and then you can see them all. So this is all of the fabrics from the range. We have got half a metre of each of them. There are 12 and we're giving you half a metre for free. If you've already checked out, don't worry, you will be pay, paying £98.89 because that's your half metre free. Now, these are all your regular width, 44 inch, 112 centimetres wide. So not, we haven't put any of the extra wide ones in here. These are your normal width. These are quilting weight fabric. Now they're free spirit fabrics, which means they're very good quality. You'll find when you cut and sew and press them, they're very smooth and they're beautiful to sew with. £98.89, split pay. So if you'd rather split the pay, two equal payments of, oh, it's gone, £49.44. It always happens, just as I'm about to say it, it goes. For, I think it said £49.44. You pay one payment today. They are, there it is. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> oh, Cass just pointed out it's always on the other screen. Who knew? Who knew? Yes. So let's have a good look at them. And then we'll have a look at them properly because we have also got them available by the half metre. Um, so... They are, there are different colourways. There's the blush, mint and storm. This is the T-Rex. Look at him. I'm going to put them in there, the colourways. Love, Northern Lights. Uh, 
I'll open these up and you need to see these because these are the border prints. Border prints are gorgeous. So as you can see, you're getting the, um, the two different colorways for each one. And I'll open them up for you in a moment. So you're getting the two colorways for each one in here. Shall we have a look at them? I want to look at this one. Look, look at this one in all its glory. Look, isn't he gorgeous? It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the topiary. I think he's called something like that. I think he might be called topiary something. But I love the way he's in a pot. The tree Rex, because look, he's in a little pot and there he is in his tree. And he's just looking out. So you know what? These are ideal for fussy cutting, aren't they? You could cut that out and even applique it to the centre of something. Or if you wanted to make yourself a bag with it, wouldn't that be gorgeous having him? Because he is, he's like the fun and the joy of a dinosaur, because they are lovely, aren't they? But in Tulipig's amazing, um, I'm wondering, it's, it's almost like over the top, but it's not because it's just gorgeous, isn't it? But you imagine make, or making a quilt with these and it's just completely normal. And then suddenly you look at it and go, there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex coming out of there. He's great. I like the fact he has yellow spots as well. Beautiful though, isn't it? Now that's one of them. That's one of them. I'll have a look at him and do you want to see him in the other colourway? This is in, is this one Storm, I think. Look at that one. Whoa. So same design, but this time you've got pink, you've got the mint background and it's all pinks and purples. I love him in that colourway. You do have to have both of them. This is the great thing about buying the mega bundles. You don't have to choose because you've just got them all there. That's lovely. I love him. Right, I want to go to do the um, oh, the border prints now. These are amazing. Meteor shower, because isn't that how they died? Or one of the theories. Who knows? Who knows? We'll never know. Well, we might actually. One day we might know. Now we've got this available. We've got this available by the half metre as well. It's not cut um, as a panel, it's just a border print. So what you've got is on the bottom, you've got the dinosaur scene with all of them in the um, primordial soup. Is that what it's called? And then you've got the meteor shower. And then at the other end, you've got the dinosaurs again. Are they Um, so would they, if you bought, if you've got this just in the bundle, then you've got that gorgeous half metre, but wouldn't it be great if you were going to make a dress? Little skirt, round the, that round the bottom. That is fabulous, isn't it? Or, you know, you can cut that piece off and use it, because obviously if, if you buy it by the half metre, you want more of it. You could cut that bit off and have that as a border on something. It's gorgeous, isn't it? but you get half a metre in this bundle. Now, the Meteor Shower is also available in blush. Look at this one. It's a bit more than a blush, though. Now, if you've checked, if you've checked out on this bundle, well done. We are now in our teens of the stock we have left. So this is Meteor Shower, but in pinks. It's gorgeous. Loads of you have been shopping ahead for these, but don't worry, we'll be... We will be showing them again one by one because I know there's lots of decisions to make. When it's a brand new launch, you want to see all of them before you decide. And you won't have seen it elsewhere. You might have seen it on people's websites, but not properly because it's not been available for sale. I love this. I mean, maybe the dinosaurs were pink and orange. What a lovely thought. I love that. I love the meteor shower in this bright pink. Gorgeous. Right, I like this one. Let's have a look at the pterodactyl. I think this one is really clever. I love a pterodactyl. Everyone has their favourite dinosaur, don't they? My favourite dinosaur is the pterodactyl. Hannah, what's your favourite one? Because I like the pterodactyl because I think he's a quite amazing. It's because he's a bird dinosaur, isn't he? But when you look at this to start with, you think, well, where is he? And then look, there he is flying amongst the big flowers and maybe they did have flowers this big 
because I think pterodactyls were quite big. Weren't they like about six metre wingspan or something? Massive. And then amongst the flowers. But I think this one is really clever because you've got that little nod to the dinosaur. You've got the smiling pterodactyl. But he's hidden amongst the rest of the print. And I think that's what's quite clever about the whole fabric collection is that, yes, it's all about dinosaurs, but they are merged into the intricacy of the print. So they're there, but they're not there. Love that one. Um, we've also got that one in this other colourway. This one has a grey background. This is all in the mega bundle, by the way. We haven't finished yet. All of it, all of it. So if you can't decide... Right, only 14 of the mega bundle left. Only 14 of this one left. And I don't, if we can get any, I don't know when we'll be able to get any more. So if you... Actually, it does stand out more. Maybe it's because I've shown him to you now, Hannah. Look. <laughs> he does look like the pterodactyl from the Flintstones. He's a very smiley pterodactyl. He's probably just, he's probably just caught a mouse or something. He's just had his dinner. I wonder what pterodactyls ate. I bet they didn't eat brontosauruses. Or very, very large mice. Gorgeous, isn't it? This has got a real pale grey moonlight sort of background this vibrant love that one loads of you loving the collection not surprised um where is see i've got all mixed up now i'm looking for the um triceratops where is he oh well let's just do this one oh, <laughs> this one this is brilliant this is brilliant look at this one Look at them. They've got stars on these because they may have done. So again, oh, gift wrapped, this one is. Gift wrap because it's like gifts. So look, it's what's lovely about it is the design is very intricate. But when you look closely, there is one. Look, there's one there. Look. But this is what Tula does. She always, and the glory of the Tula fabric is every time you look at it, you find something else. There's always lots and lots of little things hidden amongst them. But aren't they lovely? I love the fact they've got stars all over them. Beautiful. And that one's got the mint green background. I'm just making sure I've been through them all. Let's put them there. Then I'll know. Oh, no, put them that side. Right, there's that one. And then this, that same fabric... Right, single figures of this bundle left. Let me turn him around. And in this one, it's almost because this is just two colour, they're even more hidden. Isn't that lovely? It is definitely a grown up take on dinosaurs, isn't it? So you can ha you have your little dinosaur passion without it being too obvious. Hidden dinosaur passion. And I this, he's my favourite one. Look, he's almost, I think this one's laughing. But I love the way it's it's almost like a kaleidoscope of print with the dinos starry dinosaurs in amongst it. And, you know, and obviously the fabrics go together. So if you get the mega bundle, so, for example, if you look at this gift wrap, doesn't that look beautiful with, with um, the cosmic one, the meteor showers? They look lovely together, don't they? You can shop ahead for the half metres or if you've got the mega bundle, but there's one in particular you think, well, I'd like a bit more of that, then you can do that. Um, let's do this one next. Um, the design of Raptor is like Willie Moe's strawberry thief. <laughs> it's a bit, isn't it? Yeah, just big strawberries. Yeah, it is actually. It's got that big sort of like open mouth, hasn't it? There we go. Now, this is gorgeous, isn't it? This is called Wild Vine. This one is flying out on pre-order. Now, we've also got this print as an extra wide backing as well. So look at, look at that. It starts off with these sort of ready pinks and then moves up. I mean, Tula always does one of these in a rainbow, doesn't she? Goes up through the limes and the greens to the teals to the purples and then back to the red at the centre and then it goes back down. There we go. Again, all the way. That is a beautiful print. And we do have it in the extra wide, which I will show you in a minute. Remember, this is in the mega bundle. 
which we are now in very low figures for. So if you want to get that, you need to check out. Only five of the mega bundle left. Um, that beautiful wild vine also got that in the ivory background. So this is the same fabric, but in the um, with the white background. It is gorgeous, isn't it? And remember, um, these do go with all the colours in here, will match with all of the colours. And because Tula does have a palette, they will go with other Tula collections. So you can mix and match them. I mean, they'd look nice with the pet one, wouldn't they? What was the pets called? Besties. Besties. I think the dinosaurs and the besties would look good. Because maybe they would be. And then these are the final two that are in this mega bundle. And this one's called Northern Lights. So this is your kind of, your plain. Whoa, look at that. This is your, like your sort of your background plain print that goes with any of the fabrics in the range. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, it's very, it's very Alison Glass, isn't it? Yeah, it would go with a lot of your Jenny Jackson designs, wouldn't it? I love the fact when I look at it, I can just see lots of stars and crosses. But when I look at it overhead, I can see all these big zigzags. But this would be lovely to use for a binding for something, wouldn't it? Because then you get all the colours. So if you just had the edge of it to bind, you just get all of those colours all the way along. I think that's beautiful. Gorgeous. And then also Northern Lights, but with a pink background. There we go. That's lovely. This, Hannah says that's more subtle. Do you think that's subtle? I think that's not very subtle. That's what the two of them look like. So that's almost like your bluey and then that's your pinky colour. Fab, isn't it? But it will go with all of them. So those are all of the fabrics that are in the mega bundle. And, the, all, and we have all of those by the half metre. But remember, if you buy the mega bundle, you will get half a metre free. So that's all of the fabrics that you are going to get. 12 half metres, but by buying the mega bundle, you get all of them and you get half a metre for free. Even better. Right, carry on checking out. We only have five left. So if you want one of those, you need to be very quick so that you get them. Right. <laughs> right, I'll just go back through the five inch charm pack because um, I know there's a lot of you who have only just tuned in. Now, I'm still surprised we did this as an early bird because these are all of the fabrics from the range. Gorgeous. And we took a pound off. So we haven't got, these are all the fabrics in the collection. We haven't got the whole collection by the half metre, but if you want a little bit of everything, they're all here. Look, these are all of them. So now you can see, look, there's the pterodactyl. Now I've shown you them, you know which is which. We, see, we don't have the spots. But it's nice, actually, when they're cut out like a little snapshot like this, you see other items with it, don't you? There's the triceratops. That's the meteor shower. See, once you see them, then you, well, now I've shown you the, the whole one, you can see where all the different designs come in. We haven't got all of them, but they are all in here. So if you want a bit of the whole collection, then this, you know, maybe fall in love with the collection. £98 out of your budget, but you think, mm, I'm going to have just a little bit. And it's lovely, isn't it? Because with each of them, because they're cut, you will see just like little elements. Look, there's a pterodactyl's face. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. So this is your way of owning a little bit of the new collection if you don't want the whole thing. Or if there's one half metre you love in particular, get that one and then get the charm pack to go with it. They are beautiful, aren't they? Really, really lovely. I love the colours and they all go together so well. They're just amazing. So there we go. 15 99 just 15 99 so we've taken a pound off to celebrate the fact it's a new collection. I don't know why we did it on a brand new collection, but there we are. There we are. Um, brand new Tula, so if you want to get that one and you want a little collection of the brand new fabric range, and that is all of the fabrics in the collection there. 42 five inch squares. It's all um, quilted white cotton as well. Amazing, amazing. Right, so let's do the fabric by the 
by the half metre. Um, this one. Right, so this would, of, uh, these are available by the half metre. So what I mean by that is if you want more than a half metre, it will be cut to order. So, and it will be cut as a whole piece. So, which for this one, most people on pre-order have bought multiple units of this. So say you wanted to make a Roman blind, because that would look nice along the bottom. You might need more than a half metre unless you've got a very narrow window. Um, this, that border you can see runs along with the selvage. But remember, because it, that border does repeat at either end, you could make a cushion, couldn't you, from just half a metre? It's folded them in half. You could have that border print on the bottom, the front and the back, couldn't you? Or make two cushions and you just get some plain fabric for the back. But eight ninety nine for half a metre. So if you want, say, if you want a metre and a half, put three units in your basket and it will be cut to order, which means you can have that whole border. Or maybe you're making a quilt and you just want to put this across the bottom of it or as a board around the edges. Because what you could do is if you mitered the corners of the edges, then they would join really nicely all the way around. That would look fab, wouldn't it? So eight ninety nine dollars for um, the meteor showers in Storm. Now, we've also got it in, in Blush, I think it's called. Blush. That's a hell of a blush, isn't it? It's a very, very, very deep blush. Love that one. Oh, thank you for everyone who's messed about my cold. Any top tips? I tried lemon sip yesterday. That didn't work either. Top tips. Beecham's all in one. Medicine is my go-to. Oh, I haven't got that, Ruth. I haven't got that one. Beecham's. Honey, lemon and ginger. And yeah, well, I've done honey and lemon, but not the ginger. That's a good idea. Paracetamol, lots of fluids. Thank you for turning up for work. We just love you, Maggie. Oh, thank you, Maggie. I know. Oh, And don't forget the TLC. Yes, absolutely. Well, I did have some of that over the weekend. as I was feeling very sorry for myself. Um, ginger, there's going because I do like ginger. I haven't tried that. Actually, I did get my husband to make me a hot toddy, so I did do that hot whiskey, hot water and brown sugar. That was very nice. I don't know whether it worked, but it tasted very nice. I'm going to get the, the, the all-in-one, though. I haven't tried that one. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that's it on the other side. I love that. You can make a little blouse, couldn't you? It'd be very bright, though. Wouldn't that, I think that would make... I think if you made a little blouse, wouldn't that look lovely across the bottom of it? They'd see you coming, wouldn't they? You can get lost in a crowd in that. But, yeah, it could be, like, um, storage boxes, couldn't it? Or just um, drawstring bag. Wouldn't that make a lovely drawstring bag? Wouldn't that be nice? You know, even if you just for, to take on holiday, put your washing in. That'd just be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Or tote bag. Totes, totes amazing, that would be, wouldn't it? Because actually it doesn't even need to be that big. So you could use part of this. So you could have that for the front and the bag, make it a bit more, and you could use the top bit of it for the handles. That's a statement, isn't it? But actually, I love using Tula for lining as well because when you've, when you've made a bag, um, to put something really bright and cheerful in the lining or as a pocket is great, isn't it? You can even cut it up and frame it. I think there's little pictures on the walls, couldn't you? Um, the big dinosaur, this one. The T-Rex one. Tree Rex. Right, let's start with this one. I think this one is now. This... Is this the most popular? The border print was the most popular. Loads of you have been shopping for this. Um, this is, is this mint? Oh no, you've got blood. No, I don't think that one's blush. No, oh, okay. You will get this one. Oh, and that one's called mist. Oh, maybe it is then. Who knows? This is the one you'll get for blush. Um, well, it, actually, it might be because it's got the pink background, so it might be to do with the background. Oh, OK. Right, so this is blush because it's got the light pink background. <laughs> I thought I thought it was uh, we'd made the mistake, but no, we haven't actually. This is, this is actually right. This is... Um, I love that one. No, I mean, honestly, they, 
If you want a half meter of something totally original, this is it, isn't it? I think that is fantastic. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, you could do like a really traditional, um, like sawtooth star block. And one of them, you put that in. Or I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's got someone's birthday coming up. I don't know what to buy them. Make them a little tote bag from this. And yeah, and put, yes. And then you could do like that, Hannah. And then Hannah says you have to embroider your raw sum on it. I just think, just make them a tote bag out of that. I mean, that just makes you smile, doesn't it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are, that would make you smile. Yeah, your dino might. That's a great one, Hannah. Mm. That's gorgeous. I just think that's just a bit of fun, couldn't it? Yeah, or a glasses case for someone. Do you think he saw us? Hannah is full of dinosaur jokes this morning. Do you think he saw us? Yeah, that's great. Be quite a big glasses case, though, wouldn't it? Really? Maybe ski goggles. <laughs> I think maybe a large glass is here. I just think it's a, it's just fun, isn't it? It's fun. Even if you just have half a metre of it, it is fun. I mean, but you know, you're still 44 inches wide. You get a lot for half a metre. See, look, look all that, all that. That's what it looks like. There we go, look. So that's blush. Uh, morning, it must be catching. I feel grotty today. Hubby has hot milk with a good glug of whis whiskey and straight to bed. From Angela. Angela, that's a good idea. So when I get home, hot milk with whiskey in. God, what does that taste like? Hot milk. That sounds nice. And then go to bed. Even better. Telly. I was thinking as I was driving up this morning at 4am, I just want to lie on my sofa and watch rubbish on the telly. You can't beat. You can't beat a day of watching. So, but obviously I couldn't watch Sony Street because it's not rubbish enough. I watched, I watched a film on Netflix at the weekend. Oh. No, I, it was called Irish Wish. Dear, dear me. I, honestly, if you're not feeling very well and you want to watch rubbish on the telly, it was like a Christmas movie, not Christmas. It was like, it's brand new, called Irish Wish. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. It could be called a guilty pleasure. You wouldn't want to admit to anyone that you enjoyed it, but it was absolute rubbish. Loved it. Loved it. I highly recommend that. If you've got an hour and a half where you just want to just watch something really easy, watch Irish Wish. And then and don't blame me. <laughs> this is great. I love this. I would like both of them, actually. I love how Tula made the edges have half an egg rather than half a diner. Yes, I think you're right, Darshna. That's a good point because you don't want half a dinosaur do you because you see the thing is with Tula and I actually have met Tula amazingly I met her in um I met her in Houston when I went to the quilt show and I've got a great photo because I went with Ian the lovely Ian Monroe and he took a photo of me and Tula and Tula is so tall honestly so tall I look like a gnome next to her. So we've got this picture of the two of us standing and she's really bright and colourful and she is honestly twice as tall as me. It's the funniest photo. But anyway, and her mum was, her mum was there. I was just seeing if they match up. Her mum was there as well. So her mum taught her how to quilt patch and her mum used to have a patchwork and quilting shop and she used to work in it. And so that's what she did. She, her background was that. Then she went to art college and did drawing and then got into the design. But she designs from the point of view of someone who sews and so so when you look at this you see she has done it so that you have got half that's a good point I hadn't noticed that because other you see if someone who doesn't sew and just designs fabric you'd have had half a dinosaur and who wants half a dinosaur ha <laughs> I was going to ask you if you stood in the box but didn't want to offend no I didn't honestly actually we'll ask Ian when he comes in because he'll still have the photo can you send us the photo Ian of me and Tula. It's the funniest photo because we look ridiculous. I've probably got it on my phone. I'll see if I can find it for you in the break. It's hilarious. Um, there we go. Oh, now um, we've got some images of some quilt kits that Tula has released with the collection. We haven't got the quilt kits, but this just shows you. <gasps> wow. I love that one on the, um, the meteor shower. That's amazing. 
But interesting, that one on the right, that's just the sort of crosses, it does show how you can use these, these fabrics in real sort of grown up quilts, can't you? Oh, I like that. I do, yes, yeah, so they've used the Tyrannosaurus Rex because the fabric is printed like that. It, that tr no, it's the Triceratops, it is printed like that. Oh, that is lovely, sh wow. I do, what's your favourite? My favourite is that bottom left one with the meteor shell. That is amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous. We don't sell those, which is a shame, really, but it shows you what you can do, doesn't it? Very impressive. Um, good morning. I hope your sniffles soon go. I can't believe you admitted to watching Irish Wish. <laughs> so bad, it's hilarious and good from Rosie and Nottingham. Oh, you've watched it too. Has anyone else watched it? Oh, it is honestly, I just, I'm not even going to tell you what it's just, just, yeah, but it's brilliant. It is, it's so bad, it's good. I kind of thought it came on Netflix, new, I thought, oh, new must mean good. I was sort of glad I watched it on my own, really. But, you know, I love a Christmas movie. It was as bad as, a, as those Christmas movies, but honestly, great watching. Mm, I think other people should try it. W watch it. Let me know <laughs> if you laughed at about how rubbish it was. Um, right, let's do pterodactyls. Just because I love them. I think it's very important to discuss good stuff to watch on the TV. If you watch The Gentleman, now that was good. Mm. It was a film, but now it's a series on Netflix. Really good. Um, the code. Mm, that might be tricky because I've left my glasses outside. Oh, well, this has got, oh, well, this has got sort of a cream background. Ah, oh, that's the code on the other one. No idea. I haven't got my glasses on. Maybe a two and a three. <laughs> I've left my glasses in my bag. Eight, oh, it's an eight and a nine. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was a two and a three. <laughs> this one is blush. Yes, I guess it is. It's got like a very pale pink background. I think that is beautiful. Now, if you were an EPP, -er, how nice would that be? Because there's so much detail in here. Get yourself a transparent, a clear hexi for, so you can see for fussy cutting. You could have his little head in one of them. Even the centre of that flower would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? This would be a, make the most amazing, almost like kaleidoscope EPP. I think that's beautiful. Again, dress in dressmaking because the pterodactyl wouldn't stand out to start with, would it? And then people would look at your dress and go, hmm. Shirt. I think that's just gorgeous. I bet you, you wouldn't see anybody else with a shirt in that. Except for everyone watching Sewing Street at the moment now, because we're all going to make one. Um, that's the one with the blush. It's called Wing It. And then the next one is the same, but it has like a very pale grey background. Half of the stock of this one is gone. Completely different. Let me just show you them together because I think sometimes you sort of need to see what they look like. That's the blush one. So the colours are more greens and yellows. I like this one best. I think he looks like a rainbow pterodactyl. Wouldn't it be great if all the dinosaurs had been that colour? Although if they were that colour, they wouldn't have thought it was very interesting. They just, just thought everybody was that colour. They would have just been normal, wouldn't it? They wouldn't, well, who would want to have brown and green dinosaurs? I think that is stunning, absolutely stunning. I mean, you can see she is such an artist, isn't she? There's all the, the attention to the detail. And because this is Free Spirit, it's printed by Free Spirit, it's such good quality. So all of the tiny, tiny details really show up. And that's how you tell a quality fa fabric, is that when you can get that level of detail. And it is beautiful, isn't it? It's intricate. It's a... It's a bit of a work of art. You could even just frame that. Love that one. Make a tablecloth. Imagine making a whole tablecloth of that. Dinosaur tablecloth, why not? Right, that's those two. Um, oh, let's do this lovely one. The mad dinosaurs. Now, is this mint, this one? 
gift wrapped, R-A-P-T, gift wrapped in mint. Again, this is so designer, isn't it? It's so intricate. You know, e every space you've got um, leaves in here, but they're all flowing in different directions and they almost look like the leaves are a bit dinosaur footprinty, aren't they? And look at the, in the detail inside the leaves. It's almost like a tattoo, isn't it? You know, there's really detailed... That is fabulous, isn't it? I, have, I will find you that picture. Show, show it to you in the next hour. I'm sure I must still have it because it's very funny. Um, that is gorgeous. And even if you just cut him out, you could put him as a little pocket, couldn't you? On your jeans. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Say that on top of your pocket. Love him. Right, we've also got it in um, blush. Let me turn him round. There we go. There's just so much detail in it, isn't there? But you can see now how the colours go together in different palettes. If you want just a few of the fabrics, you can just see just a few. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just got to blow my nose again. Oh, it's better than it running. Otherwise, sneeze. I like that one. I think that's amazing. It's just so detailed. You're getting a lot for your money on that. Love that one. Right, then Northern Lights are the final two. Oh, no, they're not, actually, because we've got another two. Yes, forgot that one. Let's do Northern Lights. In I think this one is blush. That's what I'm going with because it's got a pinky background. Now, over half of the stock of this gone free order. So if we, oh yeah, if we zoom in on this, you can see, look, Oh, thank you, Charlie. It's all like little crosses and spots. But then when you come out, it then turns into some mad 70s disco vibe. Ugh. Gorgeous. But if you cut it up into small pieces, wouldn't it be brilliant even if you um, cut it into small squares and then sewed it all back together and put a solid between them? It would completely change, wouldn't it? So when you get in close, you can see all the crosses. And when you go further out, it becomes 70s disco vibe. It's almost like one of those sequin fabrics, isn't it? Movement. Chew. <laughs> right. Very slightly different, only the same. But it's got a different colour background. So again, look, you can see the background. Right, I'm going to hold this one up so you can see. Look, so that's what you're getting for your 8 99 That's your half a metre, but obviously if you want more... Then it will be cut towards you and you will be sent it as a whole cut piece. It's fabulous, isn't it? I love that. You can make yourself some trousers. Woo! Gorgeous. Right, two more that we've got by the half metre. So we'll start with the blush one. This is the flowers. I think this is amazing. You see, I mean, these fabrics are gorgeous to buy as a collection, but they do work well just on their own as well. I think that is a beautiful fabric. It's so detailed, so intricate, and I love the fact that the colour palette changes all the way through the rainbow. Red moving into yellow and orange and citrine and green and turquoisey teal and purples and pinks and then back to red in the centre. So you're getting your rainbow twice because the red goes across the centre and then goes back to the red again. I think that is beautiful. Wild vine in blush. So it's got a very pale pink background. That is stunning, isn't it? And then the same fabric, but in a different background. Is this one mint? Mist, mist. Beautiful, isn't it? 
see if you love if you love the collection and you like to have a little bit from the collection but you don't want the dinosaurs this is the one isn't it i think that is gorgeous and it'll work with all of her other collections as well but i think the rainbow palette works particularly well in this and it's really it works well as a whole piece of fabric but it's very good if you want to cut it up for smaller things because you've the colors so if you were going to patchwork with it because you've got all of the different colors you're getting a lot of value for money in terms of color with that one Right, should we go on to the extra wides? Oh, right, well, sorry. We will go on to the extra wides, but we're going to just do the, the mega bundle update. So the mega bundle, you get half a metre of all of the ones I've just shown you. There are 12 in total, so you get six metres, but you'll only be paying for um, five and a half because you get half a metre for free. £98.89. Now, we have more people who've got this in baskets than is available. Uh, we can do it on split pay of two equals payments of £49.44. So you pay £49.44 now. We send you the whole bundle and then you pay the other amount the next month. That is optional, though. You don't have to do that. It's only if you want to spread the cost of your payments, but you don't have to do it. If you would rather um, pay it all up front, when you come to order, whether that's on the phone or on the website, at that point you can choose. So it's entirely up to you. So here's, the Im here's some images of some of the quilt kits. These are some of the quilt kits that they've released with the collection. We haven't got them, but I just wanted to show you what you can do. So if you look at that quilt on the right, those, they, all those fabrics, you can see you've got um, that, the one, that, the Northern Lights one. It works really well. I mean, it's just really simple design, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Right, these are, oh, wow. These are from um, Tula Pink's Instagram that other people have made with their pan. What I wouldn't give for this jacket. Oh, absolutely. They see, I was thinking of skirts and dresses, but look at that. Actually, look at it as a weekend bag. And isn't it great because with that weekend bag, you see, it mainly looks like a meteor shower. But then when you look closer, you've got the dinosaurs. Oh, the jacket is brilliant. It works so nicely as the little backpack as well, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I like the pattern with the books. It works really well for the covers of those, isn't it? How fabulous. That's just an idea because obviously, we, you know, you've all got your own patterns. That's from her Instagram. Have a look on it if you want some ideas of what people do do. Because if you go through her Instagram, there's loads of pictures of different ones. Right, I'm allowed to extra row back in now. Right. Oh, see, this is, this is lovely. It's 100% cotton, but it's called sateen. But it has... Um, it's finished in a special way, so it's very, very smooth. Now, this is the same as the vine, but it's a bigger scale because obviously it's wider. It's hard to tell on the website that it's a bigger scale, but it is because look, I'll show you. So look, that's the extra wide. That's the, that's the normal. So it's the same, only on a bigger scale. And um, Hannah, my glamorous assistant, it's not feeling very glamorous today. No, no, I'm not feeling very glamorous. You could you join me. Yeah, I don't feel very glamorous today. I Look, there we go. And Hannah feels full of chocolate. Look at those. That is gorgeous. Do you know what? Wouldn't that make the loveliest duvet cover? Because it's so wide, it's big enough to make a king size duvet cover. You just need lots of it. I mean, and it is, it's really hard because it is cotton, but it feels, it's, it feels almost satiny. Cafe extra wides are the same. That, oh yeah, same as Cafe extra wides. It's beautiful. What would you make with it, Hannah? Um, I would actually like, mm. obviously it's back, well, like a weekend bag though. Oh yes, I'm thinking dress. Oh, I yeah, oh, maxi I dress. Look. I'm doing. Because this can be used for dressmaking as well. If I put it on the table, you can see how that it's very fluid, but it is beautiful, isn't it? So it is 274 centimetres, which is 108 inches wide. Now, look at the price of that. This is amazing. So it is more than double the width, but it's 14.99. So it's less than half the price, but more than double the width. Look at it. Look at it. 
I mean, that, that finishes off a quilt. <coughs> Sorry, bless me. Bless me. Oh, I, yeah, thankfully, yeah, I think we'll be sanitising the whole studio. I love that. It is beautiful, isn't it? But think because of you, because of the width of it, and obviously, if you buy, more, if you buy more than half a meter, it will be sent as a whole cut piece on the back of a quilt. It will be super smooth. You could just use it to make a quilt. Don't even bother with the patchwork. Use it for the front of your quilt and just quilt through it. I mean, it's lovely just as it is. Loads of you've got this in baskets, right? There is another colorway though. So this is the blush one. So let me just put this one out. They are quite the same. They're the same print, but just different color backgrounds. So let me just show you that one. Same width, obviously, but that's the blush one. That's the one that's on the screen at the moment. And then the other colorways, this mist. You can tell me it's called ivory or something. Right, that's the other one. So you can see that they're the same. I've used these satin wines for making shirts. Oh, Lucy, that's a good idea. And they came out beautifully. That's a brilliant idea because they, or, they, although they are cotton, they are so soft, they would make a beautiful shirt. Actually, wouldn't they make nice pyjama bottoms? Lounge pants for lounging. Watching rubbish on the telly. Gorgeous, aren't they? I tell you, wouldn't they make a nice sort of, um, dre not dressing gown, what's it called, you know, when you have a, a coat that's not a house coat that makes me think of cleaning um like um a dressing gown that's made of cotton a robe a robe you know a robe for when you're on holiday and you swan down to breakfast in the morning gorgeous aren't they really well i i can't get over the price of that 40.99 and now if you're and remember because they're over double the width they're not they're less than half the price, don't understand that. Amazing, amazing, worth getting anyway. They would make beautiful shirts. So unfortunately, you have to make a decision on colour, but you could use one for the front and one for the back. Or why don't you just get someone and make a couple of pillowcases? Nice. Right, we've got a little bundle here. Now this is from Tula's Besties range, but they are the colour palette works really well with the raw range. So two meters, so you're getting half a meter each of these. So they're heart, little hearts, and then you've got that beautiful deep yellow, periwinkle blue, jade and citrine. So these colors work really well, you see? Work really well with this fabric collection. We're gonna reduce the price that 29.99. So even if you've just bought half a meter of the rest of the fabric and you want some planes-ish to go with it, that's kind of as far as solid as Tula Pink gets, isn't it? This range works really well. So reduce the price to 29.99 and that's four half metres. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Because our collections mix and match. I've got loads of fabric for all different collections. I forget which is which in the end, they just all go together. Now we do have a couple of the um, mega bundle left, but there are more of you who've got that in baskets than we've actually got in stock. So you need to get checked out on that. Um, we'll just finish off the early bird again, if you've only just tuned in. Very special early bird. This is um, the five inch charm pack. You've got a four, there's 42 five inch squares, one, two of each of the fabrics that are in the collection. Um, and we've taken a pound off. Should, should be 16.99. But as a special treat to you today, $15.99. So if you just want yourself a little bit of all of the collection in small pieces, this is for you. Isn't it lovely? You've got all of the, th you've got Meteor Shower, you've got Northern Lights, Dinosaur Eggs. We didn't have that one by the half meter. So you've got all of them in there. Just $15.99 and that's your little bit of the collection. Get it home and then you can think, oh, maybe I want a bit more of the other. But please do check on that because we have got, we are oversubscribed on the mega bundle and we're low in stock on a lot of the other fabrics. If you want it, join the break, check out and get yourself some. I'll be back with you in a few minutes time with Sandy, who's going to demonstrate how to make the gorgeous Tim Holtz quilt at an amazing price. We have 
kept the price the same as it was two years ago, which is not bad, is it? Anyway, don't go anywhere. I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing! Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye! Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only 1p and p with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge 1 p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? 
Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Welcome back to Sewing Street. So we are going to um, show you how to make this amazing turn holes quilt. Now, interesting thing about this, we had this on air two years ago and it sold out just like that, really quick, because it's beautiful. It's completely Tim Holtz. We don't have many Tim Holtz quilt kits, to be honest, um, and we haven't been able to get it back for two years. Now, fabric prices have gone up in the last two years, sadly, as so has butter. Yes, <laughs> Hannah and I had a very long conversation about why has butter gone up so much? So normally um, we would have to increase the price because the fabric prices really have gone up. I think it's the price of cotton. But we're not going to. We are going to match the price. So that price, 169.99, that's what it should be. But it's not. What are we going to reduce it to, Hannah? We are going to reduce it to, wow, a hundred and fourteen ninety nine, which is exactly the price that we sold it two years ago, and it sold out. That's how kind we are to you. Um, and what I love about this quilt is that we do all sorts of quilts. We do flowery ones, geometric, modern, or all, all different sorts. But Tim Holtz is in his own little league. Um, it's hard to describe. His fabric is it's like a work of art. It's layer upon layer upon layer of different prints and textures and patterns. And his quilt designs as well are also quite modern. They're a bit edgy, I think. What do you think, Sandy? I love it. Absolutely would you say edgy? Love it. Yeah, I would. Very, yeah. It's, I suppose it is edgy. It but is. But it's, it would fit in with anybody's scheme as well, though, I think. It's not that edgy that you've got to have, like, a minimalistic house no, or no, something not like at that. No, no, not at all. But it, it is, it's, it's just very different. It's a statement. It's a statement. It's definitely a statement. I love it. Absolutely I like the it. fact that all the background is text. Yes. So I do, we'll, we'll, we'll focus in on it in a bit. You can see, obviously, it's be behind Sandy, but all the background of it is text. Just to let you know, quarter of the stock's gone already. Anyway, let's have a look what's in the kit. And Reva says, not only is butter much more expensive, the packs are smaller. Yes. Are they? They probably, they do look smaller. Are they? That's dreadful. Like, is it chocolate bars as well? Those go smaller, don't they? Yeah, the well, packs they and then the price go do. up. Yeah. But not only have we matched the price, it's not smaller. Not like butter. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I can't believe the butter. I, I mean, it's unbelievable, <laughs> the price. And bread. And bread. I'm gluten-free and Andrew bought me a loaf the other day. He said, do you know how much your loaf cost you? Really? Four pounds. Four pounds? For a loaf no of No way. You're going to have to get a bread maker. I know. We have got one, but it still doesn't make gluten-free bread that uh, Doesn't well. it? Well, gluten-free mm. bread's not that nice anyway, but, no. but four. That's ridiculous. He said, my mother would be turning in a grave. <laughs> yes. Can you imagine how butter much a sandwich I costs know, yes, to put I butter know. on it? Ridiculous. Anyway, look, this, this is not smaller. Same, we haven't reduced the size of it, um, but we've kept the price the same. So what you're going to get in your kit, not only does it come beautifully um, gift boxed, but it also has a picture. Love a picture, because then you can actually see what you're making. That really helps. Full instructions, which we'll go through in a minute, but more importantly, wrapped in tissue paper. Very nice if you're going to give it as a gift. You see, I think, for me, this is such a work of art. I think I'd actually have this hanging on the wall, but it would look really nice on your bed. Finish size. One moment now, I found my glasses. Um, 60 by 72 inches. That's the finished size of it. All wrapped in ribbon. Now, what you're getting, so there is enough fabric to do the whole quilt and the binding. And the binding as and well. And the binding. Yes. Obviously, you'll need your wadding and your backing fabric yeah. as per normal. Um, we have actually got some Tim Holtz backing. Is it beginner friendly? Well, collector from Northumberland, funny you should ask. I think it is very beginner friendly. There's no half square triangles. There's no Y seams. It's just, there's not even much matching up on it. I think the hardest part is cutting it out, but not even cutting it out, just organising it. Organising, but that's what you're going to yeah. do. And then sewing it up is an absolute dog. Well, you Sandy's won't be able to going stop. to give us a organising your fabric masterclass in just a moment. <laughs> Yes, yeah, see, it does, yeah it, you, you look at it and go, oh, yes, this isn't very yeah. regular. 
Well, I looked at it and thought, I can't see how you get the blocks. You can't see there's blocks in there. No, I can't. Um, and it was really, and I thought, oh, no, this is going to be hard. And then once you cut it out and you get onto the first block, you think, oh, wow, this is right. so easy. So and then once you just, you've got the organising yes. your fabric masterclass sorted out in a moment, which what we're going to do, it is beginner yes. friendly. Um, but look at the fabrics. Now, if you've never seen Tim Holtz before, now, this is just one of the, this is a plain fabric. Uh, but but do you see what I mean about Tim Holtz? It looks like it's been rubbed off and then a few dots on top and layers. And that's just the plain brown. In fact, that's the binding. It's just, that's just the binding. That's just the yes, binding. just the binding. But then look at these. I mean, look at that. Be look at the colours. I didn't want to cut into half of them. They're just oh, so I mean, beautiful. Look at it. You've got like, it's like copper, but then... Co yeah, it's like um, rusted copper, yes, isn't it? yeah. But then in it, you've music. got text, you've got mu. If you look here, look, you've got musical scores, you've got colours. It's layer upon layer. It's like a scrapbook of layers and colours, yes. isn't it? Yeah, they're beautiful. I absolutely love Tim Holtz fabric. That's one of them. There's another one. Look at the colours in it. Love this one. So this is how you're getting all of those bright colours. Yeah. It is like a piece of modern art, isn't it? It is. It's almost like a jigsaw. Yeah, I that's been just, just slotted in. And if you've noticed, it doesn't matter if they're upside down or sideways yeah. because some of you the text goes. You could have that in a, like a really modern office, couldn't yes. you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I think it's just stunning. I love, love that one. <coughs> Then we've got a purpley one. Now all of these colours work really well together because they've all they've all got the same feel to them. You've got text. I mean, and when you look at it, this one says That's lovely. That's got Hotel Burgundy and Hotel Burgundy, that, yeah. Rue something. Yeah. And then you've got on the here, you've got a few like of some receipts. Someone's bill yeah. adding up. Look at this one. It's great quality fabric as well, by the way. It's free spirit fabric. But this one, you've got like a floral print. Yes. You've got some words. You've got um, numbers. Yeah. Lunch. That's just like someone's receipt, isn't it? Beautiful. And then you've got this gorgeous orangey, bluey. Is that the one that says... From official records, content. private plans and actual surveys. All sorts of... And, and the thing is, is when you cut it out, I guess, you get little snippets of these yes. words yeah and then this is the background i'm going to open this out because this is gorgeous so this is where i was saying in the background of the design look at this loads to of this hold it with you. yeah there's loads of this isn't there oh yeah tons of it so look that's the that's the fabric that's used in the background can you see how there's loads of that so it says Bought of H.J. Jones, important razor of chrysanthemums. <laughs> Obviously. Rycroft Nursery, Hither Green, Lewisham. And you've got silver medals <coughs> for chrysanthemums up Sorry. there, bless you. <laughs> Beautiful. So un at the bottom, underneath all of that text, they're just like, they're um, flowers. So if you live in Lewisham... National Chrysanthemum Society, Scottish Horticultural Society, Royal Horticultural Society. So, because Tim Holtz is American, but these are all um, in UK things, aren't they? For pelagoniums. Oh, there's a photo. Hi, all. Here's my Tim Holtz quilt. I love making it, and it was an easy make, but looks gorgeous for Meg in Wakefield. It's, it is so easy and when you look at it, I think if you are a beginner and you sort of go to it and you think, God, I'll never do it, but you do. And then if you, if you, that was a gift for somebody, oh. you could actually make that up really quickly. Yes, um, yeah. And then and gifted that to somebody. They'd think you'd spent And I guess as far as quilting that. goes, you could do that under your machine because yes. you could just do it in lines. Yes, yeah, you could just... Has it been done in lines? It has been done in lines, yeah, just sort of squares, so little... Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's just squares. So you could even just go round the squares that so you've got. You even. Could, so you it could. It doesn't yeah. need to be um, long arm. I mean, you could have it long arm quilted, but yeah. it doesn't need to be. You could do that under your machine. Yeah. I think that is a stunner. Now, there are less than twenty left. 
$114.99. It should be $169.99, but we sold it two years ago and we decided, not sure why, that we would keep it at the same price due to our um, outrage about the price of butter, that we wouldn't do what they are doing and we would keep the price the same. But actually, you know, this it's taken us two years to be able to get them to get the manufacturer to get the fabric printed for them to be able to pack the kit for us and the price of cotton and fabric and everything has gone up anyway but we are keeping the price the same so we're absorbing the increase in costs so that you can make this thing of beauty fewer than 20 and i would be surprised if we ever get these again i can never say never because they might have said that two years ago but i think it's highly unlikely that we will ever get it back so this might be and probably is your one and only chance to get this kit 114.99 right the only it's very beginner friendly which you'll see in a moment the only thing that sandy said is that you do need to concentrate on being organized with your family but luckily she's going to do a little master class for us yeah <laughs> right so right. we get the instructions yes i've got oh you want so, the fabric i've don't got you? yeah i've got just one piece of the fabric will be oh fine. i have all of them oh right okay <laughs> i've told you she can't cut them though no no you need that one no i've cut all mine so what i would do is first of all obviously i would definitely read your instructions Right. Oh, yeah, because there's a lot of... There's lots of instructions, and they are very, very well written as well. So you'll you okay. find, as long as you have a look through them first, you think, hmm, yeah, I know and what I'm doing now. a picture. Of all the... And it also tells you what they're called. So on your sort of salvage oh. edge, it will tell you what they're called Right, so well. very simple that yeah. you can see, so, you know which each are called. So you could... I would label them. The label. first thing I would do is get all your fabric and label them A to Right, so a just a white. piece of paper. A to H. 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 <laughs> Post-it notes. Yes. Or I, I usually get a little bit of paper, scribble it on and pin it on yeah. or something. Yeah. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Right, okay. Then you need to go into the cutting. So I've got my cutting sheet here. Right, I'll put mine so back in the kit. You, I think um, the burgundy is A. Yeah, yes. there we go. So we'll go with this one. Shall I take there those we go. from yeah. you? I can fold them up nicely. So, Even and it, again, it tells you, first of all, I think you need to cut the plain one because you cut all your sashing strips out of that first. So that's the very first thing you need to do, cut right. your sashing strips out, which are the ones that will put all these blocks together so your block finishes here and here and then you have sashing strips okay to all together right so it's made up of strips really so in each strip you have uh, block a block b c d e and f right and then in a you have three blocks right okay and then those three join to three b right three c join to three d so I guess kit. actually, once you've got this kit and made it, you could use the pattern oh, yes. for other fabrics. Yeah, definitely. So if you've got favourite fabrics, oh, it would look beautiful in, yes. in even just planes or those tulip pink ones you it had. Would or look, batiks. Yes, beautiful. But the only way you can get this pattern is in the kit. And I think once you've made it once, you'd want to make yeah, it Yeah, I think so. And then you yeah. could make it any size and you could yes. use different fabrics. Because yeah. you could always add another so you could start a game with this because i think the thing is when you buy a kit you think well that's it once it isn't no because you've got that pattern yes, haven't yeah. you? so you could sort of make a and b and then just add another one onto there and then put another strip right, on the side course, or yes. you could make just a and add it onto the bottom but and it then would go work along so well so you can make it wider fabrics, or it? longer yes Okay. Right. So then with your cutting out, you do your, your plain one first and cut out your sashing strips so and all, all the bits. pieces. So just and follow it. I mean, and is yes. it all cut width of fabric? It is all on? cut width of fabric. So you put your width of fabric and it tells you. So they've all got piece numbers on them. So oh, is that go, a cutting layout? Yeah. So you've got your cutting layout for each one. And they go from, I think, 1 to 29. That's unusual because you don't always get a cutting layout, do you? So you could actually draw them on first right. so if you wanted to yeah. draw them on so it tells you underneath what size they are and it shows you where you should put them Ooh, as well you see what you've got left over yes yeah and sometimes if you if you're good you could put those little ones just <laughs> underneath yeah, and yeah. so you, you end up with a little bit more fabric so you do end up with some fabric left over not an awful lot with it but mm. it's not Sometimes, you know, when you're doing a quilt and you think, oh, if I get that wrong, I've got no material. Yeah, because I do cause like a you... straightening up allowance. Yes, I, I do, do a lot well. of straightening yeah. up. Well, because the problem is um, straightening up, how do I say, what does that mean? Um, so when you cut fabric across the width, sometimes when you cut several pieces, you need to straighten it back up. Yes. And if the fabric you're cutting across the width fits exactly, there's no margin for error. 
and it all. has such like little tiny gaps in between anyway I think because so sometimes when you I don't know I don't know how it happens you'll cut a couple of strips yes. and then it's it starts yeah mm. yeah it does and then you sort of straighten it it's up and start out. again is that it should we go home now or should we carry on? No, we're carrying on. <laughs> we're carrying on. But the kids are sold yeah. out. I don't blame I'm not you. It's surprised. beautiful. So I would, if you're very, if you're an absolute beginner, I would draw the sizes on first with a heat erasable pen. Right. And make sure you've got them all in the right place yeah. and then go back and okay. cut them out. Yeah. If you're a more competent beginner, maybe try cutting the first one out. Yeah, and, see. and I guess because you've got the cutting out layout, these, yeah. then you can sort of double check all yes. the time yeah. as well, can't you? And when you cut it out, sometimes, this, you know, your writing will be one side, sometimes it'll be the other. So you don't even need to make sure that it's the right way up. You know, so with some, you've got to make sure you right. know, if you've got sort of... Do you best press yours before? I do. Yeah. So I would best press it first before you start cutting it out. Is it makes press. cutting I it out do. easier. It makes sewing it up I easier. Always, so best press is a synthetic starch, really. Yeah. Um, it's it smells great. Nice. Mm -hmm. Smells nice too. It smells amazing. We've got lots of different flavours as well. This is the one that I buy, lavender vanilla. I love that. Um, it, you spray the fabric and then you press it and it not only removes creases, which is quite handy, yeah. but it gives it a certain stiff, not stiffness, that's the wrong word, is it? A bit of a structure almost to it, to yeah. the material, because it, it enables you to cut it neater. Mm. And when you're sewing it up as well, it seems to go under your machine better, doesn't it? Well, yeah, and it doesn't feel horrible when oh, you no, cut it. Oh, no, it's not the old-fashioned no. starch. No, it's it? not like that. And it washes out as well. But um, I was working with some Liberty at the weekend, which is, I mean, it was Liberty quilting weight, yes. but it really helped because I was doing lots of triangles and bias cutting and it really gave it stability. Yes. It was lovely. And actually, once I'd finished each quilt block, I sprayed it with the best press to get them all nice and yes. square as well. Yeah, you do. I do. I love it. So it, spray it on before you spray cut. Spray it on before you cut, yeah. Right. And I wouldn't bother, sometimes people wash it, but I wouldn't bother washing it beforehand. I would just spray I it. I never I wash never wash with a quilt. No, no, never. No. I like the effect it has I when wash washed it afterwards. Yeah, because it's sort of... Mm, but never, in, but never before. before. So, yes, yeah, so each piece, so it, it has each piece, but then on it, it's so like you've got like two A's that you would cut first. Sorry, eights. I need my glasses. You've got mm. two eights. I would then put, I put all these little labels on, so I put what fabric it is. So this is fabric A. Then you've got what size it is and what piece number it is. So that's actually a piece eight. So that's oh, the first one okay. you've cut out. And I label it. And then what I, <laughs> this is what I did, I'm so organised. On my table, I put out 27 paper plates <laughs> with the numbers 1 to 27 on it, or 1 to 29 on it. Right. And then every time you cut a piece, I label it so you know it's number A mm. and a number 8. And you put it on the plate A. Right, okay. Eight, so you've got yes. eight. So when you've done all that, you've got, because you've got lots of different eights, so you might have, have it in a B fabric, you might have it in an F fabric. Oh, I see. So, but you, they call in a minute for the piece numbers. Right, So okay. if you've got those, those so paper got them plates. All on plates, So yes. on plate one, you might have A fabric, yeah, um, and great B fabric, idea. but pieces one. So that's what I did. So those were all my plates. Then when you've cut them all out, so, is there a paper plate kit? The Sandy's paper plate. Do you know, maybe I should with numbers on it. Yeah, yes. numbered plates. Maybe that's the next one that'll be in my website. It's a brilliant <laughs> yes. idea. I mean, they're so cheap to buy, and then you can keep using. I use mine for quilts all the time, so you yeah, can just sort true, of cross it you, off and yeah. put a different number on it or whatever. So I, I l enabled, lum numbered them all up. Put right. Them out. Then, so you've got them all there, and then I got little plastic bags next time, mm. and I put. A1, A2, A3. Fabulous. And you've got B1, B2, B3. And I clipped those together. It's so like here you've got F1, F2 and F3. And I know those are all so together. So when you cut them out, you put them on the plate. So they're, they're cut out and they're on the plate. Mm. Then I come back to each little block. <laughs> that I got Andrew with me this one. I said, right, call me out some numbers. So he's going, right, you want number one, which is the first pattern piece you this know. is a team build yeah was Number he happy to do this he was really give him a cup of little whiskey or something yeah you know, to keep him quite happy so hopefully that they're all in the right place yeah, he might and i did those yeah up, did well you know. luckily the last plate went and the last number went but yeah so then you would make up that little block then put them all in your bag a1 then you make up all the next little right. ones. Right. So really, there are yeah, like you say, there's no seam matching, is no, there? No, none at all. Absolutely. Here you can see it's got a number seventeen, and then you've got your little guide because on here you know that that's fabric C. 
So the purple is fabric yeah, C, it's and you've colored. labelled your, your colour. So as long as right. all these pieces, you've got what fabric. Yeah. So the cutting out piece correctly is the, yeah. is the thing, and, and would, the labelling. And I would try and do that in one session if you could. Okay. Because coming back to it, it's harder. Whereas cut it all out and then you can come back and do your blocks as long yeah, as nobody yeah. minds you having paper plates all over well you. i suppose as long as you've sorted it out you know you haven't missed this one this is it yeah and then you can sort it all in bags you, you might get to the final section and go oh this? i've missed it yeah or well, i've yes. used it in the wrong place i yes. guess it's a good double check yes. isn't it so yeah so you yeah i mean it's interesting it well how do you organize yours because everyone has a yes. slightly different way of oh, organizing God. i have yeah. bits of what well, just torn off bits of paper and fabric clips That's and right. things written yeah. on and I, I just got like little sticky notes and just put them all on all of yes. them and then sort of clip them together because like this one might say or oh, on your cutting sheet it might have two eights so I pinned two of those together so then you know yeah. you have to put it yes, on. That's so true. you just need the one. So I made all the labels up first so I made all labels for that fabric A. Yes. Then cut them out and then again you know that you've cut out the right and number. And I always put them all then in a box. Yes. So that they're not movable. That's right. Or yes. Yeah fly away or anything well this is it i just clip them together and put them all on the plates they're all out on the dining room table for a little while and then i put them all into the bags right and okay then, so that's it so it's quite easy if you're organized with yeah it. yeah and so again, you might have a better idea so really the cutting out it needs to be part of the, the enjoyable process it needs to be right today i'm just going to cut out well often if i'm doing a demo for sewing string mm. they'll give me a quote a quilt and they'll mm. say oh do two blocks and i will maybe just cut out two blocks and then sort of go back and I'll cut the rest later. But with this one, I cut it all out. Yay. I wanted to cut it all out because it's quite difficult to sort of go, right, okay, so let me have a look at number F or something. Oh, I need one of those, one of those, one of those. And then you're cutting out little bits out of this material. It's much easier to get that piece of material that you've got and then cut it all okay. out. So yeah, I see what you mean. So it's just easier to cut the it's whole thing much out. Easier I actually just... really like cutting out it those. Was very I know relaxing. not everyone does, but as long as you're not in a rush, yeah. it's actually quite a nice thing. Isn't it was it? a very wet Sunday afternoon. Oh, perfect. Very wet. I had my coffee there and I sort mm. of read all the book. I thought, right, I know how I'm going to do yes, this. Laid all my plates out. out and cut it out. And it took three or four hours to cut it all out, but it was a lovely couple of hours. Now, doing Hannah's all got that. found some container oh. labels. Oh. This is perfect. <gasps> Brilliant. They yes. sticky labels, they have got monsters on. That's okay, you can have a different I monster for each fabric. Deal. Yeah. You get 12 of these, yeah. £1.89. But they'd be ideal for your quilts. Yes, yeah. Oh, she didn't oh she's crashed them to a pound. For a pound? Fantastic. 12 stickers for a pound. Well, they're labels, aren't they? Yeah. But so they would be ideal, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. And that's and all you, you need. Them. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Just Brilliant, Hannah. There we go. I'll well, I'll that put that one back. I cut okay. into it. I'm going to so, fold this one up. So what do we do next? So then I've taken out, so I'm doing E here. So I'll put my F back and my paper plates. And your paper plates. I'll take the paper plates. I love the paper I, plates idea. I saw it on a, a, an Instagram or something one time and I thought, paper plates? Yeah, I end up having to go, right, yeah. I have things like, right, they're on the ironing board, That's they're on guess. that, they're on that. Um, what does Terry say? Good oh. morning. I use resealable bags to organise my pieces. Also really enjoy that. Wish, wish. I've got to watch that now. <laughs> it is going to become a wet weekend, must watch. Yeah, you've got to watch, everyone's got to watch it, just so you can all go, oh, that was dreadful. Is there anybody famous in it or is it? I, no, it's not a dreadful film. I've got a feeling that it has got someone like Jane Seymour in it. Really? Yeah, can you have a look, Hannah? Who's in Irish? Could you have a look? I feel like it has. It's not. It's <gasps> just, you know, sometimes you yes. want a really lightweight film. Yeah. That's slightly cheesy. But they're quite good, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. I absolutely loved yeah. it. Yeah. Loved it. You know, I mean, it wouldn't ever win an Oscar, I don't no. think. It's got Lindsay Lohan in oh, it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Quality. Can't be that. So, no, it's no. just, it's perfect yeah. for that kind of easy watch. Sunday afternoon when you're not feeling well. Absolutely. You need to watch right, yeah. Irish Wish. <laughs> Right. So this is E1 that we're doing. So, so which block uh, is this? This is A, B, C, D, E. So it's the top one here that we're doing. So you okay. can see where that one is. So yes. we're doing that top bit up to about here. You see, you wouldn't, this is what I didn't realise, that these colours, yeah. these are joined. Yes. But because of the way the fabrics are designed, you wouldn't know. Because no. this looks like one piece. Yeah. But it isn't. 
that is. That um, one. That one is. Right. This one isn't. Uh -huh. So that looks yes. like it's been put over the top of that square. Yeah. But so you've got a bit yeah. there and then a bit on the bottom. From the yes. distance, that doesn't look no, that it's been joined up. Does it looks it? like that's been sewn into yes. the corner. Yeah. But I guess it works so well with these fabrics. Yes. Yeah. Because, because they just, are yeah. multi-directional. And you don't really need to match anything up either no nothing at all so it, nothing it's just matched. such a quick so once you've so i can should cut it all out and i really would recommend that you cut it all out in one go yeah um, and just enjoy it just enjoy the cutting out it's and because this fabric is done so it is yes. printed multi-directional yes. it works because it's upside down here but yeah. it doesn't matter that you've got it upside down because it's at all because how yeah it's... how it's printed and you know it's fine yeah you've got slight little receipts here and all sorts it's fab i love tim holtz gorgeous right so how do right. we join a block together so we've got it out now it only tells you how to join the first one and then you have to sort of follow on from that so i've laid this out i'm going to put it on my mat here now oh you are suffering aren't you bless you right you need another hot whiskey when you get home don't you i think <laughs> yeah i've had my two um Aladdin. Yes. That's not bad. That's for you feel a bit better with that. There Someone said hot milk and whiskey. Yes. I haven't tried that. <gasps> yeah. I don't like hot milk though. Don't mind hot milk, lovely. My mum used to make me have hot milk when I was little. Like, she used to make me have hot milk. I oh, don't like really? it. Yes. Oh, I, like I always remember the Dave Allen. Did you ever used to watch Dave Allen? Oh yes. And he had Oh I love sketch, Dave Allen. And he was saying you didn't like hot milk and he said his mum was going, no, you've got to have some hot milk. He said, and he used to put it in the pan. And you know, when it boils, it rises mm. up. And he's going, I'll be good. I won't drink that much. I promise I don't. And he said he could see this milk rising up in the pan. And it always used to make oh, me chuckle. Oh, so I love Dave Allen. He was oh, just brilliant. My dad loved him so much. I mean, I can just see my dad now laughing. He used like to go in a pub near us. Really? Yeah. He was so... Oh, yeah, he was very close to the mark, to wasn't he? That. I don't think he'd be allowed on telly anymore. I don't think he would, no. He was brilliant, though, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He was absolutely brilliant. Yes, I have lost a little tiny... Oh, it's here. <gasps> I was going after all my bits of saying, <laughs> it's so organised. So, they, so you can, you've got your sheet, you've got your layout, mm. and you'd lay it all out. Then literally, you just have to think, right, how can I put it together? So you know that that piece will go on to there because they right. match. Right, okay. So we'll sew those two together there. And then these two need to sew together to make it across the top. So you'd sew those two together. Okay, yeah. Then this so you kind one, of... you'd sew on there because it would match. Now, you see, if you hadn't sewn that one on, you couldn't sew this piece on yeah, because so it's going to hang yes, off. Yes. You couldn't sew those to those yeah. because it's not so being joined if up. If you lay out one block, yeah. it's quite easy this is to it. work it so out, So you isn't need it? to sort of look at it and think, right, how am I going to sew? And normally it's like, at the side, sewing up those, sew these mm. together, sew those, sew this piece, sew that piece together, and then sew them together. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. And I'll show you how quick you can sew a block up. I didn't. And so you sort of so you put aside like an afternoon how I'm going to cut it. Or, yes. And yeah. then these blocks you can just make yeah. here and absolutely here and because there. you've got them all in your bags. So, so I guess if yeah. you are once you've got your quilt kit, you've got you need to make it again. Oh you yes. Need a, you yeah. do need a multi-directional fabric, don't you? Yes. Really. Yeah. Or a plain or, or a plain. like a batik or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, batik would work. Yeah, it wouldn't work with a single direction because of it all being yeah. chopped up. Do you feel up to ironing? Oh, I can do ironing. You know, I'll give you that little bit to I've iron. got to do some sewing in a minute. Oh, I think oh, I could do. Yeah. Do I you want me to come and quite, iron for you whilst you're like sewing? a little bit of pressing. Would you like it open or to one side, madam? Open, madam? please. Okay. Yes. I like to put mine open. Do you? Do you put yours to the side? Or Mostly because I'm a bit lazy. Oh, are you? It's a bit quicker. I know. Um, no, what I do is I do it to one side, but then if I've got several layers, so like this one I would do to one side because there's only two. Yes. But if I've got more layers, I'll then go open. Yeah. And I, if I've got a very long stretch, I will tend to just put it to one side. So when I'm joining them together, right, I will then tend to just iron it to one side, either up or down. Yeah. Or, or, so or it or just depends how I'm feeling really. Yes. Yes. How small the seams are looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I think, oh, I just can't be bothered, so I just go like that because it's quicker. But then other times, actually, this is quite a nice fluid fabric, so it presses open a bit yeah. easier. Some yeah. fabrics that are a bit stiffer, they're hard to get apart, yes. aren't they? Yes, yeah. So. And again, with your best press, it'll just make it easier as well, doesn't it? 
No, at the top, yeah. That's yeah, it right, does yes. need to be multi-directional. Yes, yeah. It's a very clever you... design. Oh, it's it? very clever. And I guess you, it doesn't take long to work out. I suppose they could have told you what order, but then that would... Yes, yeah. But that no, they just... Easy. Yes, yeah. And they, t they show you sort of on the first block which way to, to um, sew it. And then you just think, oh, I know what I'm doing. And it, you can work it out so quickly. So I guess with this as well, you've got all these different colours. Yes. So what thread would you use? Now, I'm just using a plain. I've so one of these? One of those are great. That's the pack that I have. Right. So, so the, yeah. the necessities would be great. Yes. So a uh, pale... Now, look, there's 1,300 metres on each spool. There, it's 50 weight thread. So this is your normal um, quilting yes. sewing weight yeah. thread. And that's, what, I, that's one what I've got already. in here. Yeah. Um, why do you like these then? I love them because they've not got much lint on them. They true, are true. a lot thinner than a lot of threads. So they I are I know, two and I don't ply. understand that because they're 50 weight, but they're still... But they're two ply. Yeah, they just sort of so, feel finer. Yeah, so they, they? Are, they are finer. It's to do with the... Long uh, staples. Is it the long staples? Yes. <laughs> and, um, and, but a lot of threads are three ply. 50 right. weight, oh, so you don't okay. get as much in it I because it's mean. done on the weight of the length of it. Right. So okay. with these, they're thinner and you get more on your, your reel as well. Mm. They go through all sorts of processes when they've been made as well. And they go through like oil baths, they go through singeing to take a lot of the lint off them as well. So that they really keep your machine quite nice as well. Yeah, they're lovely and fine. I, I really like them. Now, I know there's... A, I have a few people say that they struggle sometimes using them in specific machines so what i would say if you do is use whatever thread you like using in your bobbin but yeah. use an orofil in the top, top. then yes. you get that fineness yes you can also use the orofil 80 weight for quilting okay and also because it's only a two ply cotton when you're pressing it it will sink into your material a bit better yeah. so it doesn't sort of you don't have bulk in the seams and if you use an 80 weight you get even less in it's there just as well. i mean i i like yes. it because i think it, it does sit within it's, the fabric yes, better yeah. and that's because it's the two ply oh i yeah. see so even though and that's why i know the dearer but you get more on your i know thread. i think what you have to do is work out per meter, meter. what you actually and it get. lasts longer so if you're winding a bobbin with these you can wind so many and more bobbins because it's finer, because it's finer. Oh, okay. and you don't get that lint going through your machine so you don't have to clean it out quite as right. much it doesn't okay uh, you know jam your machine up quite as much so i'm a very big oracle oh i love i love yeah. oracle yeah. thread i think it's beautiful and this is quite a good collection it's to a have. lovely collection to have yes. so yeah. you've got black dark cream white and gray so for this i would use either the cream or the gray one i've okay. got the cream on in at the moment but the grey you could use, obviously wouldn't use the black, and then I would use the same one in my bobbin as well. And that. then you could use one for the quilting, couldn't you? Yes, you, use yes. you could use the black for the quilting, which would look lovely, actually. Amazing, wouldn't it? I would possibly use one of the 40 weight or a okay. ones, because then that would just give you a... The stitches would stand out just, just a little, a little bit, more. bit more. Okay. Yeah. So possibly do that. Perfect. So There we go. Yeah. Oh, we've got a question. Um, does this have half seams? Great show from Maggie in Bristol. No, it's quarter of an inch. Yes, quarter of an inch seems. Quarter of an inch. Yep. Right. So Thank you, Maggie. Yes. I told you we Sorry. were going to get an expert organisation. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, it's your normal, normal yeah. quarter. Yeah. And I would also lower no, your... No, it's the normal one. Um, yeah, so Jill says, Morning, ladies, I'm a complete beginner and I bought the quilt kit. Could you confirm the seam line? Should yes, it's Jill. quarter of an inch. It's your yeah. standard. Yeah. Standard and I would quilting. also lower your stitch length to about, I've got mine on a 2.2 here, so that's normally what I would use. Right. And then you don't need to sort of bother with a forward and back at the beginning and end because it's quite a small stitch, so it's not going to okay. come um, undone particularly. So like this one, you see, you've got your seam there. You don't have to match it up to anything. I will match it up to that one when I join it on, but that's about the only yeah. one to match up. Yeah, but then even but if even you then, didn't. it doesn't matter. No. Because of this fabric, will be multi-directional. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations, everyone who's got this kit. I'm actually yes. a little bit envious. I think this may well have been one that I might have bought. Well, often, mm. you know, I'll make up lots of blocks for quilts and you, th and you end up not ending up making... I've got lots of half quilts. But yes. this, this one, I couldn't wait. And, uh, mm. and Kerry said to me, she said, 
can you just hold it a bit and then, you know, do a demo for it? So I was going, oh, OK, that's because I couldn't stop sewing it. I just absolutely loved it. it, it the, each block goes up so quickly. I would sort of like do my sewing for the day. And then in the evening, this was a bit like my hobby one. So I would get a couple of the bags yes. out and run up a couple of the blocks. Oh, I know, it's lovely. We are so, unable to get any more. Yeah. So well done to the people that have got... I don't even know whether we'll get any more. Actually, I'll give you a tip for pressing your seams open Ooh. because I discovered that this weekend because I was making this um, Liberty quilt that had loads of seams. Yeah. Is that they weren't staying flat very yes. well. So yeah. I just sprayed them with sprayed water. Sprayed them. Oh, right. Why haven't I not done that before? Why have I not done with seams? I mean, I spray lots yes, of things. Yeah. Rather than using the steam on the iron, I've just got a little spray bottle. Oh, and, spray. and it flattens a lot more. Just so oh. much easier. Well, I'm going to do that. And I, and, it was, and I think it's because I had a lot of seams that I need to press open. It was yes. a very... Um, there were many, many pieces in this quilt. And just a quick spritz. I, I cut my pressing time in half. Yes, I bet. I'm not sure why I've only just discovered that. There we go. Right. So that's right way that's around there. That's that one. Where so was that, that one? This goes there that we go. Way. That way there. Is it? Let's have a look. Which Where one are, are we making? We? We're making this one here. So we've done oh. that one. Yeah, that one and that one there. That's right. And that one and that one and, and that, that one. one. That one See, and that so one. you don't even need to match that up because it doesn't match up with it. I no, just know. It doesn't so matter, just know. does it? So you just pop it together and then sew this. And if you've got somebody with you that will do the seams, it makes it even quicker. Yes. <laughs> You could bribe maybe your daughter or something. Well, also, I find if you've got lots of seams like this and you, if they're not, if you haven't pressed them really flat, then they start twisting, yes. don't they, when you do yeah. the next one. So this is what I discovered because it was, I was having to press it for so long. Yes, that's a really good idea. A little yeah. spritz of water. And I tend to keep um, a wool mat at the side of me I did with one of the mat. small irons. Yeah. And I would sew up a seam, press sort of it turn own. around, press it open. Um, there we go. So that's that. Yeah, one. no, I... And we've got the wool mat, the small wool mat. I did Great press, that. I always yes. press my seams with wool mat, but they yeah. still weren't, I had to yeah. use a bit of water. Right. Last one. See you how quick that, that comes together. I know, it's amazing, yeah. isn't it? In fact, if you can just talk amongst yourselves, That's Sandra right. and I'll We're get this quilt finished. just going to carry on the quilt. That's right, yes. We'll have this finished. <laughs> and then I'll show you, what you how you put them all together there. So yeah, that's one block there we go and then you'd put the two together so you almost most of them you tend to make in two halves yes and then sew it together um, but you'll see you can work it out just so by looking at it which one is that that you've done it's this top one here oh. so it finishes across here so right that's your big piece a yes. there oh. and then you've got the, the three at the top oh, and that so one this, so, it, so that yes. fabric will come, so in come onto block. the next block Ooh. yeah it's fab isn't it yes it's amazing I must admit, it's one of the nicest quilts that I've sewn together. I just love it. Well, and I think anybody that's got it, you've yeah. got it. You have to show, send us pictures. Yes. I'm interested why there are different coloured stripes on our uh, pressing mat. Ooh, that looks like somebody's um, gone over it with something, doesn't it? Yeah, but what would have made coloured stripes on the pressing mat? Um, I don't mm. know. Interesting. Okay, and then there that is that block then finished. That's that block finished. There we go. And then if I just show these. These are all the blocks in. Yeah. Not the Sandy's done all of that's the blocks already. <laughs> I know, I couldn't stop sewing. I think this would be great hung, hung in your hallway. Yes. Wouldn't it? So that was D. So Can you imagine casually it? taking this to a picnic? Oh, I know, and just popping it. Going, oh, oh, could, that old thing. You could back it with, you know, the waxed um, We rip stop. Yes, or waxed couldn't canvas, couldn't you? Yes. Yeah, and you can, oh gosh, what, that old thing? Oh, just that. Oh, just yes. Yeah, just, yes. Yeah, that's right. So that's, and inside you're going, it's my that's right. Jim Holt's quilt. Do not know. You'd want everybody to see it when you'd sort of like fluff it up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, just lay this yeah. old thing out. Yes, so. Matilda, get your shoes off. That's right, yes. Don't sit on it. Get off. So this is C and D. Leave your sandwiches on the now, glass. Now, you can see that a lot of them on C and D are upside down. That's because you turn that one the other way. Oh. So when you sew those two together, so I've put C1, C2, or D there. So you'd sew C and D together 
but then you turn those two upside down. Right. Okay. So you've got A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, uh, OK. So, so it does. So that's why so multidirectional is good. Yes, because then. So, yeah, literally, we've got these together here. So I would then sew C and D together. So they're joined in long blocks. In long the blocks, sash yes. Goes between. Yeah. yeah, so you've got three in each one, two, mm. two big ones. So you make three small blocks. So you can see some of the blocks are slightly smaller than others as well. Wow. Because you can see that one finishes here. Then I think this one might have finished here and we've started this one here, which is slightly smaller at the bottom. But then so it's a then. really interesting quilt to make, yeah, isn't but it? How easy is it, I and know. how quick it? They and so you can the instructions. Should, should, nice. yeah. And so you can see that you can see how you put it. So this one again, you'd sew the side to it, you'd sew this side to it, you'd sew those top two to flip mm. it down. If you can't match up a length with each other, you know you've not sewn a bit <laughs> together. Yeah, you've got wrong. Yes. So then just put it back and think. Right. What do I need to make that the right yeah, size no, that to sew sense. it together? So then that's what you'd do. So as you can see with here, with this one we're making at the moment, you'd have to sew that one on together before you could sew these yeah, bottom yeah. ones on. It becomes quite and clear, And it does become it? very yeah. clear to do it, yes. So I see this is very beginner friendly. Yes. Um, well, that's been fab. We've actually got some um, extra wide backing as well. Yes. Shall I let you I'm just going to go over right. and show it. Um, is this the, is that the Tim Holt? Yes, it is. Oh, it's over here. Um, thank you for that, Sandy. That's I'll okay. let you finish that off. OK, I'll have it finished before the end of the Yeah, show. if you could. Yes, yeah, no problem. <laughs> right, so if you want to back your quilt, why not back it with Tim Holtz? And if you're going to back it, back it with Tim Holtz Extra Wide. Look at this. This would look amazing on the back of it. That would look fabulous. I think I've got to get that on my back. Now, look, 14 99 right? This is oh my God. 274 centimetres wide, 108 inches. So more than double the width. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell I'm you, just you think. need of, of extra wide. Um, oh, you only need 160 centimetres. So you will need to get two metres. Two metres of it. A, that's a shame because um, it's 160. So you're just over the 150. So. If you're using extra wide, you'll need to get four units of that. You will have some left over, though. You'll have 40 centimetres left over. You can make a cushion to go with it. That's lovely, isn't it? How long is this quilt finished, then? Oh, it's 152 by 182. Yeah, so you wouldn't need... Yeah, sadly, you do. So you need four, four you units need four of that, You need four units. Yes. Yeah. But you will, you will have a bit, you'll have like 40 centimetres left over, you can use something else. But isn't that lovely? And it would match, because you are going to have to get this, you know. I am. Aren't Andrew, you? can you just pop four units? Four units? Back, yes. I mean, it's cheap as chips. Yeah. You need to, you've got to have that to go with it, haven't you? Yeah. And I would, there's little bits of this left over. I would make a cushion front. Oh, d yeah. And then put that on the cushion. Well, front. and you could make the bag for your picnic rug to go in, couldn't you? Yes, you could. Yeah, when you go, oh, it. what, this old thing. Yeah, yes, that's had it right, years, yes. years. <laughs> Beautiful. Or, do you know what, you could use this for, this for anything. Um, again, remember, extra wide backing is not just for backing quilts. It can be used for homewares, so it can use be for cushions and bags. It can also be used for dressmaking. It's 100% cotton. Why not? People will go, you do you know you've got receipts all over you. Yes, yes I do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we just pop them on. That's actually perfect. It goes really well, doesn't it? It would go really well with the quilt. Anyway, that's a lovely um, Tim Holtz extra wide back. And we've also got a Henry Glass extra wide backing. Should you fancy that? Because the colours, we chose this one because of the colours. That would go nice with it as well, wouldn't it? There we go. That's the Henry Glass one. Now, this is 12 99 it's the same width, so again, you'll need four units, um, but it does go really well because it's got those neutral shades. Again, it is extra wide, 274 centimetres, which is 108 inches. Um, we've also got, what did you want me to do next, Hannah? Oh, of backing. Right. We've put together some bundles on normal width fabric, but we've put enough in here so that you can join them all together. 
So because you so how much is in the units? Hmm. No. We won't do those. <laughs> we'll, we'll do the thread. Ooh. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Let's not open the thread that's already open. <laughs> right, there we go. So, how about the Aurifil thread? This is ideal. I used and made a, quite a big quilt, like a big double bed. It was 84 inches square, actually. And I only used one reel. You it? would, yes, one. yeah. Which is amazing, isn't it? Because if you're using normal thread, you oh, get you through can a get couple. Through a couple. Yeah. But I didn't even use a whole one. And that was piecing and quilting. They're just so much value. I think they're probably better value buying those than the yeah. cheaper just, ones. If you look at the price per metre, they are great. And, the and the thread. thread. It's also because it's a long staple cotton, it lies flat as yes. well. So yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. I didn't realise about the two ply though. Yeah, it's two ply. Whereas a lot of ordinary threads are three ply. Right. But then you don't get as much because it's on the length, the weight is on the length. Right. So that's how they get the 50 weight. Okay. So it's done on length of, of the thread. So mm. if you've two ply, you get a longer get weight a longer. for 50 oh. weight on it. Okay. And you do a Well, there we are then. It. So in this pack, you get black, white, uh, quite a deep cream, but like a beigey cream and a grey. But this is a really good sort of basic, that's why it's called the necessities pack. Yes. You've been going for ages. Anyway, do you want me to do any others? Oh, you'll need wadding. Should we do wadding? Oh, yes. Love wadding. Now we've I'm going to sneeze. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I found it coming. Right. Oh. Now, I've got two waddings here. I've got the 80-20, so which means it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Now, this is nice and wide, so you will need four units of it, but it's nice and wide, so you won't need to piece. You don't. You can piece wadding best to avoid it because it's a bit... <laughs> It's a bit tiresome. Anyway, wadding comes really wide, so you don't need to. This is the one that I use all the time. Although I have to say, I used bamboo and cotton at the weekend. Very I like nice. bamboo and cotton. It's not. But I've all it? normally only used. Now the beauty of this is, don't wash your fabric before you stitch with it, unless unless you're using a very deep dye fabric, and then I would suggest you do because it might run into the other colours. But other than that, don't wash your fabric. Don't wash the, definitely don't wash the wadding. Don't wash the backing fabric. Make the whole quilt binding and everything. Then chuck it in the machine on a cold wash, cold water wash. A lot of people do put it in at 30 degrees, but the wadding companies recommend a cold water wash to start with. So I've never risked the 30 degree on the first wash, but I mean, maybe you can, but I always go for the cold water. Then when it's done, um, just put it on the line or hang it over the banisters if it's raining. And then what happens is it shrinks only by 5%, so not much, but just enough that um, all of the quilting and the water will just shrink just the tiniest bit so you get that almost antique look. It doesn't shrink and go puckered, but it looks like your quilt's been around a while. Which is lovely, isn't it? And that's why Gorgeous. sometimes you don't always need to, you know, and people like a, a, cent, you know, a millimetre yes. out with the, their joins and they mm. go, oh, it's not right. Once you've washed it. I know, and also and it sort your of goes quilting, up, if your quilting yeah, isn't totally even. It doesn't matter. That Once you've washed little, it, that's, yeah. If you haven't got, because I didn't even know I had a cold water wash on my machine. No, wait, is, it a, is that 20 or is it lower no, than No, it's that? actually cold. Cold. Oh, right. But so you could try, um, I mean, I know after that I have washed them at 30 degrees. Yes. But I haven't, it does say cold. My machine's actually got a cold water setting. Why would you have a washing cold? Anyway, anyway, I do it. But that's what I would do with the wadding. Anyway, thank you, Sam. Oh, I'm still um, sewing my quilt. I'm you still have your quilt. Can I finish it? I'll, I'll see you back in an hour. You will. Your brand new my bag. Brand new bag. The Daisy bag. I know. People have seen that one. Well, I've seen it already. But looking forward to you showing it to you. Um, I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time. It's the return of the Amber Makes Flower Shop, which we sold off last time. We've got the panels to make the whole quilt. We've got all the flowers. We've got all the individual panels and the charm squares and everything. So um, I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes' time. Hello, I am Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is, there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. 
there is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. 
Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, so this hour is all about the flower shop which I'm going to show you how to make in a moment. Now, the flower shop, if you never saw it, we launched as Amber Makes as our block of the month last year. We started in February and what we did was every single month we um, created a block, a picture, a design of a floral display featuring, featuring flowers of that month. Then what we did on every panel, you could make a different item. So, for example, in we launched with February, we made a cushion. In March, we made a bag. We made all different items. So each panel was a standalone item. I've got all of them here so I can show you. We had a different project. So we also put on the panel, we had this illustrated version of the flower and we had a bouquet. So you could save the illustrated versions to make into the quilt. So the loads and loads of you, you bought the panels, you made all the projects, or some of you um, just bought one because you just wanted to make that one bag. Others of you collected them all. And then at the end of the year, so we did it in um, February, after we'd done a whole year, we made the whole quilt. Now with the quilt, you have a finishing panel and the panel includes all of this. So you've got the wisteria, you've got the topiary, because at the bottom you can see you've got um, pots and the panel contains all of that to make the whole quilt. So when we did the whole flower shop quilt um, back in February, we sold out. So I did say at the time, because I've had loads of you messaging me, when are we going to bring it back? That at some point we would bring it back when we could get it all reprinted. So. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll show you the bundle of all of them. So remember what we did over the year is we sold panels with all of the pieces to make a specific project, including the illustrated flower. But then what we did at the very end is we did a panel with all 12 of them. So if you want to make the whole quilt, this is the kit that you need. Now, if you look at that price, 49.99. And let me show you what you're going to get for 49 99 Everything to make the whole quilt. It's amazing value, which is good because that's what I like. So what you get is the panel with all 12 illustrated blocks on. So this is, if this is the first time you've seen it and you want to buy the, everything for it, I'll show We have got other options for if we bought some of them. So you get all of them. Shall I lay them on the desk? It's a really big panel. And it's an amazing price. So there's January, which is your vase of snowdrops. February, which is um, grape hyacinths. March, which is daffodils. Now, as you can see, these are all, um, well, they're actually 13 inch squares. We made them a bit bigger so that you can cut them down to the, what size you want. Um, and then you cut, these are all cut out to make the quilt. So if you haven't followed it from the beginning, you can just get this kit and you can make the whole flower shop. And the idea is it's an attic window style quilt. 
because you can see the angles that are created means the windows go inwards so it looks like the front window of a flower shop it's easy to make let me say it is beginner really beginner friendly there is one angle to sew and all of that is just a square sewn on top of a rectangle it's really easy everything else is printed all of the strips are, are on the panel so it's it's easy peasy and I quilted that myself just on my machine. Then you've got April tulips, May peonies, June sweet peas, July roses, August sunflowers, September hydrangeas, October a pumpkin full of ooh, camellias I think, November was chrysanthemums and then December was Christmas roses. So big panel. You also get in the kit um, the quilt finishing panel, which is the very important part of it because all of this is printed. You need all of that. So this is the quilt finishing panel. I mean, look at the size of it. You will need wadding and backing because we, we, never, we never put those in our quilts. Um, you do get the binding in this as well. So if we look at the... I got the right way out. So what you've got on this panel is you've got the, the label for the flower shop because we put that in as a separate piece because I know that some of you might not want yours to say the flower shop on the top. So that is a separate piece that you applique on. So if you don't want it to be called a flower shop, you don't have to. And then all of the pieces that are used for the window frames and the window sills, they're that kind of wood effect because we decided that the front of our flower shop would be painted wood. So you've got the wood grain, but it's painted, but they are done so that you cut them out of here because that gives you that accuracy that you need when you're cutting small pieces. It's better if you cut them from a whole piece because they're a little bit more accurate. Um, then you've got all of the pieces that are used for these borders. And this is where you get that the look that you wouldn't be able to get if you were trying to use just plain normal fabrics because you need this illustration. So you've got the top border, you've got the bit of wisteria on the right and on the left. There's the bottom border so that you've got the, the pot, you've got the little crate and then you've got the borders and then the right and the left side and then there's the like the topiary trees <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Morning. Um, then you've got the topiary trees that go into the pots. So everything you need is on there. You've even got a quilt label. Um, also in the kit, you've got instructions, which tells you exactly how to make it. And also, because this is very beginner friendly, I've also filmed a full video tutorial so um, there's details about how to get it. It's on our Amber Makes website. There's also a QR code that you can scan. It's really easy. I've done full photographs to explain exactly how to do it. But if you want some more information about it, then if you go, the, um, there is a full tutorial where I walk you through every single section. So if you've never made a quilt before and you'd like to have a go at making the whole flower shop. Also on the, um, the panel with all the flowers are all the printed month names which I've sewn on but you don't have to but if you wanted to label I put them below each of the window sills then you can sew those on as well so 49.99 that is the whole quilt kit which um, is 64 by 45 inches right over half of the stock of this one has gone and it did sell out previously but i know that we have had so many people asking me when are you going to bring it back so it's taken a while because these are big big panels that have to be printed so if you um if you want to get it do get that checked out because it does come with everything you need um and the binding fabric is on the bottom of the finishing panel so and it's quite nice because the the um, binding fabric is that sort of wood effect as well Right, there are loads of you have got this in baskets, so if you want to get it, you need to get it checked out. Because it's taken me a while to persuade, it's taken, me a, it's taken me a couple of months to persuade them to reprint it. Mm. So, um, if you want to get it, I'm not sure when I'll get it done again. So look, there's all the, um, there's all the individual months for labelling it. So that's on the panel. 
Right, so that is the whole kit to make the whole quilt. Now, we've also got the finishing bits. So if you have collected the panels as you've gone along and you just want the finishing panel, or maybe you've, I know some of you have bought the finishing panel, but have used different blocks inside because you could just put any other fabric in there, couldn't you? Entirely up to you. It would look really nice with photographs in, wouldn't it, if you printed photographs in. If you want just the quilt finishing panel with instructions, again, the video tutorial, um, that's the finishing panel. Remember, I've just showed it to you in the other one. It's got all the, the bits and pieces you need for finishing. So if you want just that, 34 99 because I know a lot of you had bought the um, a few of the, some, most of the kits and had kept the, the blocks but you want just the finishing panel that's 34.99 right the other thing that we have is just the blocks on their own so many options it depends what you want to do really so many options blocks on their own that's this panel here so if you don't want to make the whole quilt but you just want to use the blocks. And I know a lot of you have done that. You've used them for making different things. Like, just think of that you could have 12 cushions or pretend 12 gifts. Make, make sure you've got a friend or a relative for every month of the year. Um, now this, I'm amazed at the price of this because it's 19.99 and on the panel, you get all of them. So all 12 blocks, they're 13 inches square. Obviously, when I've made the quilt, I've cut these down, but I wanted them to be printed a little bit bigger so that you could, if you were making um, something where you needed 12 inch finished blocks, you'd need to cut them 12 and a half inches square. So we've made them 12 inches square. They've also, they're all printed onto the shelves and they're printed into exactly the same place on the shelf because obviously you need that for putting them into the quilt but it does mean that they will all flow together so if you want just the panel on its own it's 19.99 but it's a big panel as you can see so you've got all 12 blocks and you get a couple of gift tags as well and if you are making them as gifts for people you have got all the months of the year here so you could applique those on just maybe just beneath it so that's all of the blocks. Um, now the next one, I'll put that there, are the little charms. These sold out as well. I said if we were going to do it again, if we were going to do it again, we had to do all of them. So we managed to get these back. So these are miniature versions. I did say actually last time, I never, I never got around to, we should do a miniature version one day one day i will but wouldn't it be nice to do a miniature version of the flower shop but it'd be tiny seams wouldn't it because these are five inches square maybe i'll do it one day um oh it's gonna blow my nose um so you've got all 12 of the illustrated blocks now i'll show you a minute on the panels as well when we sold the individual ones on the panels you've got an illustrated block but you also got a bouquet of the same flowers so we've put those on as well so you've got all of the months of the year but you've got them as um bouquets hand tied bouquets rather than the formal arrangements and then you've got another set of so you get two full sets of the formal arrangements. You get a complete set of the bouquets and then you then to fill in the rest because there's 40, you get four of those. You also get all of the months of the year twice. So they make really nice cards. I took one of them and sewed it onto, just by machine, I sewed it onto the front of a blank um, like craft card and really nice for cards. You get um, a couple of gift tags as well that you can use or you can just use them for any of your charm square makes, $14.99 and you get 40 of them. But it would make a beautiful miniature quilt, wouldn't it? One day, one day I'll do it. But it would be tiny, it would be little pieces. But it would, but, or you could make them into um, cushions, couldn't you? You could have borders around them. But I do love them. Lots and lots of you coming in for that one. So I would get checked out on that one. Right. Also, there was another couple of kits. Where's my box? Oh, there it is. Oh, actually, no, cats. January. 
Thank you. I should have put my trolley there. Now, all of the months of the individual panels are available except for December because it had sold out already. So this was January and this one is the, what has been sold out for a while. So I've been waiting to bring this one back as well. So this is this is what you get if you want to just make the January. I'll show you the panel in a minute, but this is what you get to make. So this is using the Snowdrops panel. It's got lovely illustrated um, bottom and you've got snowdrops on the side. It's um, lined as well. And it looks like when you hold it, look, see? Lovely snowdrops. It has a pocket on the back as well. And then snowdrops on the front. This is what the panel looks like. So this is how we did it. If you missed it during the year, this is how we did it um, each month. So on the panel for this one, just 17.99, you get the illustrate the um, the snowdrop illustration, and that's what goes on the front of the bag. You get the bouquet, which you don't actually need for this bag. That's just an extra an extra one that you can have. That you could, some people actually made their quilts using the hand tied bouquet. Some people made them using that. Then all the other pieces that you need, you will need to provide your own lining fabric, but I just use some plain green for that. And then you've got all the pieces. Now we sold out this one so fast that people, loads and loads of people have asked me, can we bring it back? So finally, so you've got the base of the bag. You've got the handles. Um, you've got that, that section there, that is the pocket that's on the back of the bag, which you could put on the inside if you wanted. You also get, obviously, if I can find it, full instructions with a video tutorial. So if you want to make the snowdrop tote, it, there's all the walkthrough pictures here. You get the QR code that you can scan, but if you don't want to do that, um, you can it, just go to the Amber Makes website and it's in our tutorial section. So that is the snowdrop tote. Right, now if we go through, I think this, I'm just, oh, can't have your favourites, can you? But I think it, I think it might have been one of my favourites. Um, oh, I have to read, I can't read that. Oh, oh, that's better. I've made this bag and it's gorgeous. I use the Snowdrop Charm Squares for cushion covers. Oh, uh, okay, from Louisa Wiltshire. That's like, oh, thank you. That's a good idea cushions right let me show you so what we did also got more and more complicated as the year went on we also did charm squares for each of the months as well so this one is about to sell out but there's the charm squares so each of the months we did a separate section of charm squares and what you get on them you get the smaller version illustrated version also the bouquet and then small versions of the prints themselves, the snow flowers. That one is about to sell out. No, August. <laughs> Oct can we do what? Which one are we doing? August. Okay, so this is August. August was another one that sold out completely. I think probably because it was sunflowers and everybody loves the sunflower, don't they? So this was like your sort of, um, your cross, I called it the crossover bag. So it's like a little messenger bag. But the reason for it was called that is because the handle is attached to the front, the left on the front and the right on the back. So that when you wear it as a crossover, if you want to wear it like that, it's easier to open because the handle's on opposite sides. Um, or you can put it over your shoulder. So with this bag, you've got the, f there's the front, you use the illustrated one on the front, separate piece for the back. You've got all the pieces for the gussets and it's fully lined with matching prints as well. It's even got the little bits for the tabs. It's got the sunflower handle. Um, it has, let me show you the kit. So as you can see, there's the illustrated version that you use for the front. The separate hand-tied bouquet you don't use for this bag, but you, 
you know, entirely up to you. You can just have kept, some people kept those for their quilts or use them for other things. And then all of the matching sunflower prints, you get a couple of charm squares that are just extras and the sunflowers of extras. Those are the little um, strap tabs. You've got the lining, the, um, the gusset outers. You've even got some gift tags and the name and the August name. And then all of, the sun, all of these sunflowers are just extras. And here is the instructions. All of these projects, they all come with a full video tutorial because we started making them when we launched this. So all of them will come with a tutorial. So if you're new to sewing, you'd like to have a go at that. Or if you've got someone's birthday coming up in August and you think, oh, I'll make them with sunflowers or you, it's a nice holiday bag, isn't it? It's just the right size because you can just get what you need in there. It also has an internal zip pocket and it has all the pieces for the zip pocket as well. Um, there we go. Full instructions are on there. And then we also did charm squares for August. We're just focusing on these two. Now, well, I'll go through the rest of them. They're all available, but I just want you... These were the two that sold out and have been out of stock for a while, so I thought I'd focus on these. So, um, these are the... Um, the illustrated versions, and then you've got the prints that are on the rest of the panel. So you've got that lovely stripe, you've got the smaller sunflowers, the bigger sunflowers, you've got the stripes. So that's the all the charm squares for all of it. So can we go through the other kits, but showing the projects? Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Right. So if you want to if you want to get the finishing panel with the instructions, that's this kit here. 34.99. So if you've already bought some of the um panels or maybe you've bought like 10 of them and you haven't got the others, then we have got all of the kits available. If you go onto the website, sewingstreet.com and click on watch live, we have reprinted the ones that we've been out of stock on and they are all available. So maybe you got a few of them and didn't collect them all and you need the finishing panel or need to buy one extra. They are all on there. There were lots of different projects. If we've got time at the end, I'll go through each of the projects and show you what we made for each month because we made, um, <coughs> sorry, Phew. sorry. It was a nice sneeze, wasn't it? Horrible cold. Um, so this $34.99. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Oh, sorry. No, I've just got eyelash in my face. Right. So $34.99, and that is the um, instructions and the quilt finishing panel. If you want to buy the kit to make the whole quilt, so that's behind me, in that kit you will get, there are fewer than 20 of this now if you want to get it. You have got, for $49.99, you're getting all 12 flowers. They're 13 inches square, all of them. You get the quilt finishing panel, which is massive because it's got all of the pieces that you need. I think I've got it upside down. It's even bigger than that one. But they all fits together properly. And this is the, we, I really wanted it to be, because the flowers were so beautifully illustrated by Amy, I really wanted to get the finishing panel featuring that same style of illustration because I've never seen a quilt where everything is illustrated, including all the borders as well. And I wanted that feel because it's a real work of art. It's sort of a collector's piece, isn't it? You have that hanging up somewhere and it is um, a lot of you who've been collecting it over the year and then they created the quilt at the end. It is a beautiful thing. And the only way that we could do it like this was to have an illustrated finishing panel because if it was just plain fabric, you wouldn't get that beautiful effect. So that is the quilt finishing panel. And obviously in that you will get the full instructions that do have a tutorial that show you how to do it all. Right, I've got loads of fabric now. Loads of fabric. Let's move that out of the way. So I'm going to show you just how easy, let me just unzip my bag, 
how easy it is to make. So what you do to start with is go through the instructions and cut everything out. A lot of the pieces, particularly for the um, recesses, the window sills, the borders are printed as whole pieces and you need to cut them down into smaller pieces. And the reason for that is that you will get greater accuracy. And by cutting them into smaller pieces, um, it's much more accurate to see what you're doing. Um, which way up am I? There we go. When you cut them out of either of your kit or with, even if you've bought the big panel, then this is the size that they will look like once you've cut them out. But you actually need to cut them down to size. So let me take a cutting mat here. I've got a rotating cutting mat. There we go. So that is your 13 inch square. Shows you how disorganized I am because I need a ruler now. Um, I forgot to get one in advance, but it's okay. Cat, can I have a rotary cutter? I thought I had everything. So what you have to do is you have to cut this down. So I said to you, when if you buy the whole um, panel, thank you very much, um, then you can use it for lots of different things. But for this, as you can see, the windows themselves are rectangular. So you have to cut it down to size. I'm just checking. Um, now, when you cut this, is, I wanted to show you this bit because it's very important, obviously, because you need to cut this so it's um, a certain length high. But it's important that all the shelves go in exactly the same place because if you see on the full quilt, you can see to give that full effect of the flower shop window, the shelves need to sit in exactly the same place. So in the instructions, I do tell you um, where to cut it so that you get them in the same thing, the same place. So it's best really if you've got a ruler, a clear ruler, because then you can see if you don't have a rotary um, cutting ruler, you can draw it with pencil. It should, I think it's in there. But you should have, oh, one and a half. So I've put, yes, I scheduled this one because this is a really good ruler because it's nice and long. You can cut across the full width of fabric if you folded it in half, but it's, um, that one's a six and a half, same as this one, a six and a half. It's just useful when you're cutting. You don't have to have rotary cutting material, but if you do, it means that because the, it's clear, you can actually see. So I'm going to line up one and a half inches on the top of my shelf. I know then everything will be in the same place. So it's just a bit quicker. So just make sure that when you do it, you trim the t it so following the instructions so that you've got all of your shelves the same width. Once you've cut it all down, you can just measure. So I think this needs to be ten and a half inches. So I can measure it ten and a half inches like here. What I tend to do, because obviously my ruler isn't going to be wide enough to cut it all the way across. So I'll measure ten and a half inches and draw a line there and then measure 10 and a half inches and draw a line there and then I can just cut across. So do take the time because I did have a couple of questions, people saying that my quilt isn't working and I said, well, you've got to trim the blocks down first because if you don't trim them down, they won't fit. But we've made them so that they will all fit in the windows. But I guess just to make it more multi-purpose, it means that for the projects that we've made, being bigger, you can make them into other things. But also, if you've bought just the whole panel, it means that you can use them for other things as well. When you then come to cut the width of it, obviously it needs to be, I think, eight and a half inches. It's very important that that's central. So what I've tried to do with mine is if you mark the center, then when you cut it down, just make sure that when you trim it down that your actual flower and the arrangement is in the center, but they will all fit within that measurement because we planned it all before we started. So it will all work. And then when you come to do the finished width, just mark a line at the top and the bottom and then cut it down. Give everything a nice press before you start as well. So if you've bought the full kit, then all of the information that I'm telling you now is all in the instructions anyway, but do remember to cut them all down before you start and then that's ready to go to start making into the, um, the 
kit. Now, when you come to do each of the windows themselves, they are all made in exactly the same way. So I'm going to start with the January one. Now, I've already cut mine down, as you can see. So what you do to start with, let's just take them, I've got them all pinned together, is we're going to sew the window sill onto the bottom first. So the windowsill pieces, now I've labelled all of mine. On the actual panel, there are labels on everything, as you can see. So what I've done is when I've cut all of mine out, I've taken the labels that are on the panel and pinned them onto them. So the windowsill just goes across the bottom. And hopefully you'll be able to see from this how easy it is. Because everything is, tr you've cut everything to size, you know that it's all going to fit. So pin it together at either end, matching the top and the side raw edges, and then pop a pin in the centre, again, matching the raw edges. And then you need to sew it together. I've just got to thread this up one moment. Oh, there's loads of you coming in to get the full quilt kit. Do check out on it while we've still got it, because as I said, because it's such big panels, it's taken me a while to... We have got fewer than 20 of the kits left. Right, now we're going to, I'm going to sew this with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. This machine, handily, has a quarter of an inch foot. So I don't need to worry about um, making sure that I'm using the marks. Do make sure you stick to the right seam allowance or it won't work. But I mean, it's a standard quarter of an inch. So do a little reverse stitch at, the, at one end and then following the line of your foot, just sew the window sill into place. Now, you can either make one whole window at a time. I would say, um, if you're going to do this, is make one window so that you know the process. And then you might find it easier then. It depends whether, you, whether you're the sort of sewer who likes to do everything in sort of a blocks, like a production line, or whether you want to make one at a time. I would always suggest that you um, make one so that you know. But when I made mine, I sewed all the window sills onto all of the panels and then did all of the next bit. It just means I think it's, you get a, it's a bit quicker and also you haven't got to rethink the process. Now, it's up to you whether you press it to one side or open. I'm going to press it to one side and the reason for that is, isn't it on? Oh, I used this the other day and I like, I like the light on it, but we haven't got them in stock. It's a shame. I really want one of these. Um, the reason I'm going to press it to one side and I'm going to press it towards the windowsill is it just makes, gives a little bit of a ridge because you've got two layers of fabric. And sometimes when you're making things, you either press it to one side because you press it towards the darker side so it doesn't show through, or if you want something to be slightly raised, which the windowsill would be, by pressing it over to that side, it will make it slightly raised. So always press from the front and just press it over like this. And then just double check before you go any further. Sometimes, depending on how you've done it, you might have got part of it twisted. So I always have a little double check on that side. And then that's the windowsill in place. Right, I'm just gonna check the next section. Places, right. Right, then you have to take a windowsill corner. So this is how we're now going to create. You see the angles that we've got on these windows, which gives the effect of looking inwards. It's just created by this triangular piece. But there is wood grain printed on these. So it's... But it's like, like if you, you know, if you used a colour wash, because I wanted it to be like a wooden window. So I said to Amy, let's go wood grain. And I think she's done a fab job because it really looks like there's a colour wash. And this needs to be part of the windowsill. So once you've sewn the windowsill on, you take a windowsill corner. And it's really important you follow the instructions at this stage to make sure that your wood grain runs the right way. So it says, place it right sides up with the wood grain running vertically. And then it just means it will face the same way as this, which is quite important. Um, and then turn it over, but keeping that wood grain running vertically, and then draw a diagonal line from the bottom left to the top right. And this is where 
if you do it as a production line, it's quite useful because you can do all of these in one go. Because once you've drawn the lines on, you know you've got it around the right way. So I'll just double check. I've got my lines running vertically. I've got my diagonal line going from the bottom left to the top right. Right, then if I take the side recess, so the side recess is this bit. So that's where you've got like light, light window cell, medium side recess and dark window frames. And that's what creates that sort of 3D illusion. I'm just going to give that a little press because it's been folded up in my bag. Right, let's give that a little shake because it's hot now. I don't want to lose my line. And then what you do is you, you place this um, on the... There we go. On top. And it says again in the instructions, the line should run from the bottom left to the top right. So you can see that it is. Just match up the, the raw edges. This is, I would say, the most complicated piece of the whole quilt is creating this angle. And that's not, that's not difficult. Now, we're going to sew along the drawn line, so that's simple, isn't it? But pin either side of the line, because then you don't need to remove the pins while you're sewing, and it helps to keep it stable. So I'm actually going to do a little reverse stitch at the beginning and end, because I want this seam to be really stable. I will be pressing it um, over to one side, but it just makes it a little bit more stable if you just do a small reverse stitch at the beginning and end. So just stitch along the line. There we go. Now, this is going to become a triangle now, but I don't like, I don't like cutting triangles and sewing with triangles because you end up with a bias edge. And a bias edge is the diagonal section of fabric. So if you cut horizontally or vertically, it has less stretch. If you cut diagonally, there's loads of stretch, which is like when you make bias binding, it has all the stretch. I don't like working with the stretchy bit. So I always work with a square and turn that into a triangle. Before you trim this triangle, fold it over and make sure that top corner matches up with that corner and press it into place. So now you can see, if I turn it round, this is the windowsill. So now you can see my wood grain is now running horizontally. So it'll match up with my windowsill, which is why it's really important that you follow the instructions because otherwise the first time I did it, I had my wood grain running in opposite directions. Um, then all you have to do which I can do this with a rotary cutter, is trim the seam allowance. So open it up again, because you don't obviously don't want to cut that bit. And just trim off the seam allowance. I'm going to cut it about a quarter of an inch outside, but you can do this with a pair of scissors or rotary cutter. There we go. And then when you've done that, just um, press it back into place again, only because you've just opened it up. So that's... I would say the most complicated thing. And that's quite easy, isn't it? So now we're going to join that to here. So I can take that off now. And we're going to place that right sides facing and join it on there. Now, the only thing to get the really neat look and get that windowsill flowing nicely together is it's important that you match up this seam with this seam. So if you line them up, and then place your pin through here about, I mean, it needs to be quarter of an inch. If you've never done this matching up before, what I would say is mark a quarter of an inch on that seam. Because that's where, when you sew these together, that's where you'll be sewing. If you then take a pin and place it through that mark on the seam and then place it through that seam. This is why it's quite good to do it on the ironing board because you can push it in. You now know, you now know that those are going to join up. So pin it together then at one end. Keep that pin in place because that's holding it nicely in the right place. Pin it together at the other end. And then with this pin, before you take it out, if you place your pin diagonally, that holds that seam in place either side. You can then take that out. You can then pin together. So I would just take the chance, there's only 12 of them. I would take the time to get those seams to match up nicely because then you'll get a nicer flowing 
window fill. And then what I'm going to do now is just sew it into place all the way down. Now only remove, only remove with the, the pin just before you get to the seam. And that means that nothing will shift and you'll get a nice matching edge. And then sew all the way up to the top. Right, so before you do anything else, hang on, I just need to worry my nose. My nose is running. <sighs> now, before you press that seam over to one side, do press it flat to set the seam. Always set your seams because the, um, the needle and the thread going through the fabric just shifts it. So do set the seams first. And then again, I'm going to press this over to one side towards the windowsill and towards the side recess, just because you get that slightly raised effect, which is what they would be. And now because I match that seam, you can see that matches exactly. The horizontal wood grain flows into that. When you piece your whole quilt together and you quilt it, you will lose that seam. You won't see it. So it looks like, as you can see from the whole quilt, it just looks like this, the windowsill and this bit is joined together. So it looks complicated, like you've got some kind of Y seam weirdness going on, but you haven't, it's really easy. And then all you have to do is make all of the other windows in the same way. So there's February. There's March. No, that's January. I've just done January. There's February, there's March. So you make them all in the same way. They are then joined together with darker windows frames like that. Once you've sewn all of the others together, you then sew them together in lines and there are horizontal window frames that go between them and then you join the borders on. It's really as simple as that. So honestly, the bit that I've shown you is probably the most complicated bit, and that's just sewing the square on to create this. So when you stand back, you can now see even from this, that sort of 3D-ness. Is that a word? 3D-ness. And then there's, the there's the flower shop sign. So I, so I said before, I've done that as a separate piece just because you might not want to put the flower shop name on yours. And all I've done with that is I actually put bond web on mine. You don't have to. And then I um, sewed it together around the edge using a blanket stitch on my machine. Um, the only one thing that you, you need to just check on when you're doing is when you are joining the bottom borders to the side borders. One thing I wanted to point out is that you've got the pots and the pots go into the trees which are on the side borders. So when you are sewing, I mean, they, they will match up because they're printed too, but when you're sewing the side borders to the bottom borders, I would do that seam matching thing that I just showed you. So put this on, on there. They, they, are the, they match up to fit properly, but sometimes obviously it's fabric, it can shift. When you're sewing these on, I would put your pin through where the edge of the, you can see through to the wrong side where the edge of the trunk is. Just peel back that fabric and make sure it's going into the trunk there and do the same on the other side. And those are the only things that you need to be sure that you match up. When you've pinned them together like that, before you remove those placement pins, just pop a pin diagonally across, then you can take it out. And then you can be sure when you sew that, that those will match up. Because if you look on the whole quilt, well, if I pick it up, um, then you will get your trunks going in. And that's the only thing that you need to match up. But I would just take a little bit of time just to get those two trunks when you join in on the borders. But it's quite a simple quilt, isn't it? Right, so the full quilt kit, if you want to make the whole quilt, $49.99, we only have eight of them left. So if you want to get that, in the um, kit, you will get the whole panel that has all 12 of the flower shop um, 
all 12 of the flower sh flowers. You get the quilt, <laughs> oh dear, I'm losing my words today. Can't concentrate today. Um, you get the quilt finishing panel and full instructions. And remember, they all, it all comes with a full video tutorial as well. So it's really, really simple to do. There are only eight left and more than that in baskets. So if you want to get that, you probably need to get checked out on that now. Um, if you just want the finishing panel, and the finishing panel has the window sills, the um, window frames, it's got all the printed borders, it's got the flower shop sign, and the instructions, that's what they're $34.99. And I know a lot of you, maybe you've bought a few of them maybe, and you want to get, get the extras and you need the finishing panel. We do have some of those left as well. Have we got the full, if you want the full, just the flower shop blocks, $19.99, that's the whole panel. I'll hold it up. So you don't have to make the flower shop. I know there's loads of you who've collected them and used them for different items. They are all 13 inches square. So there's plenty of room for seam allowances. If you want all of those, $19.99, which is amazing value for the size of that panel. But they could be like, you know, you could make like a little wall hanging quilt that you change each month. You could just keep them for when you want to give a certain um, birthday present or anniversary present or maybe you know maybe you've got a few birthdays that you know about or maybe you want to have a new tote bag for every month of the year or maybe you make to sell you know these would be great these would make lovely cushion covers or tote bags um you're doing a great job Rebecca hope your goal <laughs> cheers up soon yes from Karen yes yeah, so do I but you know the good thing about colds is you know that they go they do disappear eventually. I know, I'm feeling a bit hot now. I feel a bit hot now. I'm looking forward to lying on the sofa when I get home. There we go. Right. Um, oh, the little charm squares. Because they're my favourite. I love the little ones. Uh, oh, no, that's, where's the little ones? There we are. Thank you. <laughs> Cat's been so organised because we've got so much stuff here. Uh, and I keep unfolding it all and just keep folding it all back up again. <laughs> right, so all of the little charm squares here. So you get 24, so two s full sets of the ones, of the um, flower arrangements in their vases and pots. And then you get one and a bit full sets of the hand-tied bouquets. Perfect for all of your floral charm square makes. Oh, and we haven't done the instructions for the quilts yet. Okay. But we've also got charm square panels for each of the months as well. So January is now sold out. February. So February. So all of the kits for all of the individual months are still available. Well, some of them are still available. I wouldn't say all of them. Um, there's the February charm squares. So what you've got is you've got the, the miniature version of the illustrations, but you've also got sort of larger versions of the prints. So you've got grape hyacinth prints, you've got snowdrops, you've got crocuses. So those, that's the charm square panel for February. Um, $14.99 and you get 45 inch squares and you also get um, gift tags. You get two gift tags front to the back of two gift tags as well. So that's February. Then we had March. March was daffodils. I love March because it's all very blue and yellow. I love a bit of blue and yellow. There we go. So there's March. So it's nice that you've got the blue because the, um, the project for this was a bag that had a corner in it and we used the blue and the white for the china that was on the bag and it's also the blue and white on the vase so you've got enlarged versions of that it works really well fewer than 20 of this one left now we used this one in the um spring quilt it worked really well love the blue and yellow on that one april was um tulips tulips again these each one of these panels has 
um, 45 inch squares and you've got gift tags as well. So you've got the illustrated version of the tulips, you've got the bouquet and then you've got big tulips, little tulips, bouquets of tulips, single tulips. That's April flowers. May, um, May is peonies, love these because I love peonies. I like this one because it's got a green gingham. When Amy designed this one, um, this was a cushion, I'm trying to remember what it was. No, it was a wall hanging, it was a wall hanging. And we had green gingham as one of the border panels around it. You'll see, they're all on the website if you want to get them, but um, I think the green gingham works really well with the peonies and I love that print with just really big peony heads. I think that's beautiful. Lovely. The next one is June. June is sweet peas. Very, very, very limited single figures on June. I love this one as well. In fact, I struggled to know which one I like the best. I think it might have been Snowdrops, but that's probably because my birthday is February, so that's why I can choose that one, can't I? Love the sweet peas. And I like this one because they're in a lovely glass vase and they look beautiful coming through, don't they? Isn't that lovely, that one? So you've got big sweet peas. You've got the smaller versions. You've got the bouquets. You've got linear versions of it. Very, very pretty, that one. That's June. Um, July was roses, had to be really, didn't it? So some of the flowers that we chose are the traditional flower of the month and others weren't, they were just the ones we liked. But I love the roses and I like the fact that the roses in this lovely green spotty vase and then we've got these beautiful prints. We've got a spotty print, we've got full blown roses. Again, nice bit of gingham because it works so well, doesn't it? Loved that one. Um, August, we've done that one already. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. That's lovely, isn't it? You've got big sunflowers. It's a very, because um, September's kind of moving into autumn a bit, isn't it? So you've got your kind of late summer autumnal colours with that one. Um, September was blue hydrangeas. Love a hydrangea. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me do that one on that. So that's got a bit of grey gingham. There's a bit of a theme now. So we've got the vase has got um, hydrangeas and I can't remember the other flowers was. I love the jug. It's in a nice cream jug. And then you've got sort of a very close up of the hydrangea petals. White ones, pink ones and blue ones. And then the grey gingham as well, because we used the design we did with this was a big storage bucket, which we put a hydrangea in. So the grey gingham was used on that. So that's September. October was, I think, Rudbecki and Camellia, but it was in a pumpkin. Because I love that. I think it's a great idea. When Amy sent me that one, I went, oh, fab, I want to put a flower arrangement in a pumpkin. So you've got brilliant, you've got really lovely pumpkin orange spots. You've got all the flowers in pinks and oranges and blues. That's October. November chrysanthemums, very similar colours. So you've got that, the full basket and the bouquet. And I love this stripe because it works really, I think the stripe, I, th I like the stripe with the spots as well. I think they work really well together. So we use this to make, oh, actually the quilt that's hanging over there to do the, um, the falling leaves quilt. And the colours work really well for it. And finally, December. So December had to, had to be the Christmas rose, didn't it? So we've got the Christmas rose and then you've got other prints. You've got like a real, I love this one. It's a real close up of the, the main Christmas rose design. You've got the Christmas bouquet and then all of the other sort of holly prints. You've got a few um, pine cones. 
beautiful. Oh. Right, and then finally, what we also did, and I was talking about this earlier about buying charm squares, is that because we did the charm square panels, I did three design quilt designs, and we've got just only the instructions, not the kits as well, that are designs that you can do using charm squares. They can be any charm squares. So the Hang Out the Flags quilt, I made using the charm squares for June, July, and August. I used one of each of the panels, but in the instructions, it tells you how many charm squares you need and it tells you how much fabric. And then you can, this is only half of the quilt, by the way. It's a brilliant quilt. It's, the, it's like, it's bunting to use as a memory quilt. So maybe you've got, fab, maybe you're using charm squares or maybe you've got fabrics to remind you of somebody or something, maybe like for baby clothes or an anniversary. And then the full instructions are here. And again, these come with a full video tutorial. So if you want to make the bunting quilt, either using the charm squares that I've done, your own charm squares or other pieces of fabric, it's a really good quilt to make. Um, so you need in total 77 charm squares to make this size quilt. It's big enough for a single bed um, or 77 five inches. So I, what I did was I used um, June, July and August charm square panels to make it. But, and then I use calico and a bit of green spot. But if you want to know the quantities, if you go onto the website, onto the, on the Sewing Street website, I have listed on there what fabric you need to buy. So if you want to have a look when you buy the instructions to see what, what you're going to need to check what you've got at home or what you need to buy, I have listed that on there as well. And I know loads of people have made them and they have, a lot of people have done them as memory quilts or I know people who've made them using Tilda or Tula Pink. So if you've got the charm squares, because, well, we all do that. We buy them because we love them and then think, what am I going to do with them now? Um, this is ideal for it. Um, then we've also got falling leaves. Falling leaves. So falling leaves is the maple leaf block and then that is surrounded by a single Irish chain. Um, it's a double bed size quilt. Sue, it is 70 by 70 inches. I used the October and the November charm square panels for this. And then I used some plain fabric for the actual chains. But for the, that's folded in half, just so you can see. But um, as far as charm square panels, you need... 53 charm squares. So I used the October and the November because I wanted those sort of colours. But that's all you need for it. And then you'll need the plain fabrics. Again, on the website is a list of all the, the fabric quantities you'll need to make that. This does come with a full tutorial. When you get your instructions, it will give you a QR code to scan and a details of weight. And it's a big instruction booklet. I go through it in detail. So learn how to make the maple star block. And then the final one is the is the spring quilt. Um, the spring quilt, you need 84 charm squares. This is 70 by 78 by 78 inches. Shall I show you it? This I use the March, April and May charm square panels to make. I don't know how well you can see it with me holding it up. It's quite a big quilt though, but you get the idea. So what you've got is you've got the, um, this is quite good. If I show you, if I just lay it flat for you, is this is a good design for when you've got charm squares where you really want to feature it. So because I used the May, March, April, May, I wanted to actually feature these. Now you may have charm squares you don't want to cut up, but then for around the edges of the stars, I used the other charm squares that were more all over pattern to create the star. And then there were just some pastel fabric and then a, an ivory for the background. But sometimes you want to cut up your charm squares, like I cut them in half to make these. But with this one, I wanted to actually use it as a feature. And some of our charm square panels have feature squares, don't they? And some have all over print. So this is a really good quilt for when you want to do that. And again, um, I have listed in the instructions and it says on the website as well. You see, you need 84 charm squares for this one and it tells you then how much fabric you need to do. So that's the um, star flower quilt. There we go. Anyway, oh, that's a bit hot now. 
Right, just talking about charm packs, the early bird today, very, very special. So you could use, I did say to you earlier when we were selling these, that um, if you wanted some ideas of what you could do, I've given you three patterns now, things that you can make using charm squares. So this is the brand new Tula Pink collection called Raw. It features dinosaurs. Um, we took a pound off, 15.99, you've got two of each of the designs from Tula's brand new collection and it has been launched today in the UK it hasn't been available anywhere until today and we've got it all ready to go and you've got two of each of the fabrics and you can save a pound so if you want a little taste of Tula's brand new collection this is the best place to get it 15.99 Anyway, um, thanks for joining me this hour. I will be back with you in a few minutes' time with Sandy, who's got a brand new design, her new daisy bag, which is a fold-up bag. It's gorgeous. You're going to love this. Choice of kits, instructions on their own, um, and handles too. So I'll be back with you in a bit with Sandy, and we'll show you how to make it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Eval Makatamne. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here and as you hopefully can tell this is quite a large shop here so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully so i don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame so what i suppose i could say um is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage john scott um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant. So um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye! Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. 
You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street Hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, um, brand new design. Yes. Sandy, tell me, tell me about the brand new um, Daisy handbag. Right, so it's called the Daisy. Where is the Daisy handbag? Oh, the Daisy handbag's up here. Ah. There we go. In fact, I'll come and over there's to one you. behind. Yes. There and we go. tell me about the Daisy, why right. the Daisy handbag? Then? Well, I wanted a handbag that when I go away on holiday, mm. <laughs> which I do a few times. Yeah, just every now and then. Just every now and again. When you pack, with, because we have a van, you've got to be quite small with your packing. Mm. And so you end up taking like a blue and a black handbag or something like that. And sometimes you think, I want a nicer bag than that. So I thought if you could get one that would fold up quite small, mm. then you could maybe take a few more handbags away Which with would you. Be nice. So I thought, why not make a handbag that would fold up a lot smaller so that I could okay. take it away and make it out nice sort of cotton materials mm. and stuff. And again, I've done it so you can change it yourself quite a lot. So I've padded it with H640. Mm. which gives it quite a nice soft feel and it folds up quite small so you can sort of fold it up to here oh, okay. but then uh, and you get the flap and bring the flap over and fasten it on or if you wanted it to fold up even smaller you don't need to put any interfacing in it at all because right. it's fully lined so you don't have to put an interfacing in but if you wanted it for so like a proper handbag you could do bosal in it if you wanted it to be so like oh, a sturdy true. structured bag and it's as got well nice handles it's got lovely handles on it so we've got lots of lovely handles that you can sew on and a zip Which on it. Which is great, so nice and yeah. secure. And it's got um, a zip pocket on the back oh, as well. Okay. So if you just want to pop your keys in there or you want to pop a credit card or your yeah. lipstick or something like that in there, you've got this. But again, you could put that on the front or you could put that True. inside because once you've learned how to do it, you can pop that anywhere. Then inside, so you've got a flap on it to make it sort of secure as well. You've got a lovely big pocket inside oh, as yes, well. Oh, yes, need that. So again, Foam. you could put two on if you wanted, mm. so you can make it how you want. And I was thinking, what shall I call this bag? Because I don't want it just a folding bag. And yeah. I was in a lovely garden centre, and all the little daisies were just starting to open up because it's early morning, and I thought... A daisy folds yeah, up at night. Absolutely. So, this is my daisy, daisy folding. I think it's bag. lovely because it's great that it folds up. It doesn't yeah. need to fold up. No. Nope. It could just be like absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. But it's quite posh, isn't it? Yes. Let me hold it yeah. up. It's quite a it's quite a posh bag because it's got we've got these hand we've got a whole choice of different handles. I like the fact it has the zip at the yes, top. Yes, because it makes well. it very secure as well. Because that's really useful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's got the little flap over it as yes. well. And it folds up. Now you can either fold it up using the a button attachment, or you can use a magnetic this snap. One, yeah, there's one on this one. There's well, let me get this snap on this one. I'll get this one and show yeah. you. I charge. Can I do yeah. that on my? Yeah, desk? do you want to do that? On I've your got desk? more space. Yeah, the desk is a bit crammed. There you go. So yeah, so this one has a magnetic snap. So right. you'd do it exactly the same. You'd fold it in, right. fold this over. Pop it up and you've got a magnetic snap on the other side. Brilliant. And there you go. You and see? you've got that. So then you've got the little a little bag. Or once it's all out. And really easy, isn't it? There's no yeah. trickiness. No. I love the handles as well. So it's quite... Yeah, it's a and it's a good bag. size bag good as well. Yeah. Bag. So you can fit yeah. lots in there. Yeah. And I like the fact it's got the zip as well. Yes. So it's all nice and yep. secure. And you can put one or two pockets in it. Yeah. Fabulous. So we've got kits and we've got patterns and we've got straps and we've got zips, Is zips. everything h640 hams all sorts all of it so i'll everything. start off with the kits 
So with this one, the peacock, so in this bundle, obviously you get full instructions. Sandy will show you these in a moment, so you can see. Now in the in here, you get half a meter of the two fabrics. So you get this peacock fabric, which is a canvas, not like a super stiff canvas, a nice structured. It is, it's lovely, and yeah, nice to sew through as well. It's really lovely. Nice. Beautiful, half a meter of that. And then, love this lining fabric. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a sort of a colour wash, but in a proper peacock colour. Because it looks so lovely, doesn't it? Look, as the line, you yeah. can see on the inside here is the lining. So you get instructions and two half metres of fabric, just twenty one ninety nine, which is great when you think you've got the canvas as well. Which makes for a lovely bag and it's washable as well. So, you know, oh, apart from your hardware, but, you know, you could sort of wash it with soap and water on the mm. um, spot wash it sort of thing. Yeah, if you need to. Yeah. Um, and obviously, once you've got the instructions, then you can use your own fabric then to make more. So that is the peacock bag. OK, the next one is the one that Sandy showed us, yeah. which has got the blue blue on the outside so this blue canvas and then a little bit of cave yeah a little bit of cave on the inside i love a bag that pops you know you, you oh, think, I do. oh it's quite yeah. it's just blue which goes mm. with all sorts of things and when you open it up you think oh it just makes you smile inside, oh it does always it? i've it got really a lot does. of bags where i've lined with something yeah. a bit different and it is really nice it yeah. always makes me smile it does doesn't it when you open it up mm. and you just think oh that's really sweet inside but it yeah. gives it a real professional finish doesn't it yes. if you buy an expensive handbag they have nice linings they do Yes. You can judge a bag. By you? its line. By its line. <laughs> so this has half a metre of the cave and obviously you will get the full instructions that will come in this kit as well. Um, bag number three. Now this is the one you're this going to be one demonstrating yes. with. Yep. This has green, lovely green. Isn't it a gorgeous? It's a lovely colour. Spring, it's the colour yeah. of the leaves. Very fashionable at the moment, isn't it? It's a lovely When the leaves colour. just come out of the trees <gasps> yes. and they're and like juicy green. Yeah, you almost need your sunglasses on, yes. don't you, to see it? It's lovely, yeah. That's the outside. It's the canvas again. Um, and then look at the lining. I know. How lovely is that? That's amazing, isn't it? They're going to look lovely again. Yeah. Sandy's going to demonstrate with this one, so you'll be able to see what it looks like when they go together. And obviously, you get the full instructions. So that's the Chartreuse Cave Garden Party. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That'd be nice for a garden party as it well, would, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Oh, can you imagine if you had a lovely white summer dress mm. on and then you had that bag with you? Could you put that on the outside? You could, yeah. Yeah, why yeah. not? Why not? Yeah, because you get bags maybe that, yeah? yeah. Up to you. Yeah. You could have that on the inside. But that is a very special bag, isn't it? I love that one. And then the final one. Oh, bless you. <laughs> this one is motor roses. So it's oh. like a canvas. It is motor, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's called, um, oh, I don't know what that one's called. Collection for a cause, etchings. Oh, that's lovely, it's lovely isn't, it? isn't it? It's like a natural linen background. Yes. And with really faded flowers in blues, beautiful pinks. 100% cotton moda lightweight canvas. And then the lining for this one goes so Ooh. well. Look at that. It's, again, it's your colour wash, but in a real... The pink picks up that up beautifully, yes. doesn't yeah. it? And obviously, full instructions. So I've done them so that if you wanted a plain bag, you've got a plain bag with a really pop of a lining inside, or you've got a really nice oh, yes. printed canvas, and so then you've got a lovely bright... So you either go print that canvas, right. but yeah, yeah, one way or the other. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you've already got fabric in your stash... <laughs> um, <laughs> Who then, would have that? Because <laughs> yeah, nobody has. Nobody has. Uh, you only want the instructions. Pattern on its own, 9 99 You will need half a metre of each of the I've fabrics. i that one if you want to have a look. Oh, yes, Maybe. both the lining... And the main fabric, and oh. I'm just gonna have to blow my nose because otherwise I'm gonna sneeze. One of the two. <laughs> oh. That'll stop me sneezing. I knew I was gonna sneeze. Right, here's the instructions. Um, everything you need, even the um, label sheet, so that when you cut your fabric out, you can pin these labels to them, so it's nice and organised. Everything you need to know in here, all the cutting out, how to make it, how to finish it all of the pictures and full-size templates on thicker paper so that they're very durable yes and you can use them that's really good so 9.99 and you're getting all of the instructions half of the pattern stock of the pattern has gone already 
And it's quite good because once you cut these out, it means you can, because they're stiffer, you can obviously pin through them, but they're stiffer. So you can use them over and over again. Because I think once you've made this bag, you might be making a few. Make a nice gift as well. And you know as well that they're full, you know, they, they're printed out, they've already yeah. printed. You haven't got to think about, oh, am I It got includes that seam allowance as well, and it's got all the placements on pockets. For the that makes such a difference, so, doesn't yeah. it? So you can see, and it tells you exactly on each one how much you need to cut, where you put the handles, where you put the flap, where you put the magnetic snap, and all of the um, individual work walkthrough photos. So loads and loads of them, so you can see exactly how to make the bag. And on the back, it tells you... Um, how much fabric you need. So you need half a metre of the outer, half a metre of the lining. And if you're using the um, H640 or an interfacing, you need half a metre. So 9 99 amazing value. Um, come in, they come in a bag as well. Keep yes. them in their bag so you know where everything is. And they've got a little handle up so you can hang them up because there's a little hole on the oh, bag. So yeah, you can hang them up. You can hang them up in your um, room. Yep. Fewer than 20 of these left when everyone's checked out. But because once you've cut yours out, you see, keep them in the or the patterns out, yes. and then you want to use them again. So keep yeah. them all in the bag. And because it's quite thick, mm. you can draw around them if you want as well. So oh, without that's pinning true. In so if you don't want to pin, you yeah, can especially like the pockets, them. I'll just tend to hold it and just draw around oh, it. Okay, that's a good a, idea. A raisable pen or something, and then uh, yeah, them out. much better. Yeah. Um, now, if you want to add a bit of struck to yours. Um, you need a metre piece, then all 90 centimetres wide, you'll yeah. need a piece. Now, H640 is a few, they call it a fusible fleece. It's the same as a fusible wadding. I, I never really understood why it's called fleece. No, it's a more a wadding, it's isn't a wad it, than a fleece? It's a yes, fusible yes. wadding, which basically means it has glue on one side and not on the other. So you press it onto your fabric and then it sticks which means that when you then come to work with it, you're working with your fabric and your wadding together as if it's one thing. And you don't have to put that in. It depends how structured you want, you want your bag. But if you are going to use a wadding, this is a really good wadding to use for things like cushions and bags where it's a smaller area. Oh, it's great. And you yeah. just want it yeah. all to be held together. The, also, the beauty of this is it doesn't beard, which means it doesn't, the yes. um, wadding doesn't come apart. So if you want to quilt through it, you don't need to put another layer on behind. No. It's, it's lovely. And you, this is a whole metre square, 9.99, and that's what you need to make the bag. That would probably make two bags. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's from. Okay. So you'd be fine with that. Marvellous. Worth having though. I mean, I use it even if I'm making, you know, the bits you've got left over, even if you're making like a little makeup bag, it's really nice to put in because it does press into place really well. It just gives that structure to your bag, doesn't it? And gives it that sort of... Just a little bit of... Squishy feeling. Squishy It feeling, doesn't yes. make it stiff. No. Like you can see with this one, it just makes it a little bit sort of soft and squishy. Yes. Yeah. It gives it that bit of shape, doesn't it, to it, I think. Oh, for the handles. Oh, yes, yeah, so could you show that yes. bag? Because yeah. those handles, though that colour has sold, sold out, out. Yeah. But we do have the other colours as well. Yeah. So, so let's start with, oh, I don't know, the mid, the brown ones. Oops, is that, that handle's fallen off. I think the, I didn't put the rivet on. That's right. fine. We'll start with the brown ones. So in here, obviously, you get two because you'll be needing two. Yes. Um, these these are faux leather and they are sew on. So they've got holes punched in them, so you just sew them onto the bag. But this is what makes your bag look a little bit more professional by putting on extra hardware. It does, yes. Yeah. Gives it that. And they're so easy to sew on. I used to use a floss or an um, upholstery thread. Oh, to okay. Sew them on. So you get a pair, obviously. Yes. Eleven ninety nine. They are faux leather. That's brown. We've also got black ones. You just need to choose whichever kit you're buying, or if you're using your own fabric, just decide which colour you want. Um, if you do want to see any of the, want me to put any of the handles with any particular bundle, let me know, message in, and I'll show you. Um, and then finally, for this type of handle is tan. Oh, what would tan? Would I call those tan? Deep tan, orangey tan. Light chestnut. Light chestnut. <laughs> ginger. Ginger. <laughs> Actually, ginger. I'd yes, I them. like that. <laughs> or conquer. Light Conk conquer. Yes, that's maybe what I was looking for instead of chestnut. Mm. Light conquer. Yes. Light conquer. It's kind of my pair. Yes. <laughs> which is a very autumnal pair, slightly gone off there. 
Um, and then we have other handles. So these ones have rivets. Rivet. Why is it? <laughs> I can't say rivets rivet, without going rivet. rivet. <laughs> uh, you will get rivets with yours. The rivets will cover them. You don't need um, anything special. No, no, they sort of you. clip and then you just sort of very lightly hammer them. Oh, OK. And should go in, yeah. So Apart this is what that one, um, they look off, like. Yes, I'll show yeah. you them on this bag. There you go. So they're just, can you see they're just riveted, riveted on. Right, so we have them in two colours. This one is black. So they are faux leather. And then we also have them in brown. You do get two, obviously. In the bun in your pack. There we go. So and one will just make one. a slightly longer. Yeah, they're so, so they're a little, a little bit longer. longer. I'll, let yes. me just show yeah. you. So the the rivety ones are a bit longer than the sewy inny ones, as you can see. So it just they'll just make them a bit longer. That's all. And you can still probably just get these over your shoulder. Yeah, you've got yeah, some out yes. on. You can pop those over your shoulder, and then the other one would just come a little bit lower down for you. So entirely up to you. Yeah. Right. Oh, message. I've got my pattern, Sandy, and I can't wait to make it from Christine in County Durham. Oh, brilliant. I, I can't brilliant, wait to see it, Christine. Do send me a message in. I think you will. I think once you've got the pattern, whether you've yes. bought the kitten or the kitten, the kit or just the pattern <laughs> on its own, we're not selling No kittens. kittens. No, not today. Whether you've bought the kit or the pattern, <laughs> I think you'll be making quite a few of these. But right, Sandy, where do we start? Right. Now, I've said it's a site for a confident beginner, and it's a very easy pattern to make. There's not very many pieces to it. You've got your four, your two outer bag pieces and your two lining pieces then you've got the flap you've got an inside pocket and then you've got an envelope pocket so that will just be you can see that just comes through here and I've used the cape in, in that one as well for that um, all the instructions for that are in the pattern so I thought I wouldn't show you that today I'd show you the bit that's probably people are more scared about doing because people say zips and they go oh no don't put a zip in and just wanted to show you how easy it is to put it in okay how quickly it comes together so i've done that bit so with the zip i normally use the zip on the roll so we've got zip on a roll here i put um, a pull on it from a little jigger and then you've got two little tabs so i put one side on and i butt it up and i take my zip along and i cut it to about a quarter of an inch smaller than the bag is and then I put the other tab on the other side so that it matches. So you've got your zip matching there. Then I flip it over and I'm going to just pin that along the top of the bag. Now you can use a tape if you want to here, but I tend to just use clips along the top for this one. So I'm going to just clip it along the top here. And then we're going to take a lining piece and we're going to sandwich that together. So I've got the lining piece with the back with the pocket in it. OK, so put all of that on. Yeah, so you do everything first. So you put your pocket mm. on first, put your flap on and put this pocket. If you're going to make them, if you're not, and if you wanted to put a pocket on both sides of the lining, do all that now. First. Right, OK. And, and also, this is all in the instructions. It's all in. It really takes you through everything. And you'd also put your flap on, um, your magnetic snap on here. Or if you want, I put a button on this one, so you just put a little buttonhole in. Okay. So, and it tells you where, because this one you do before you sew it all up for the snap, so that you don't see it inside. This one, I did it afterwards, so I put all the flap right, together okay. and then put the buttonhole on. But again, that will tell you. So we're going to lay this over the top, and then you're going to make your zip, the sort of sandwich in the middle. So I'm going to just take my clips out. I'm going to make this a little sandwich in the middle there. You can use pins, but I find clips are just so much easier when you're doing something I love a like clip. This. love a clip. I'm always amazed how, how well they hold fabric. Yes, really well. Really well. It's yeah. such a little thing. Yeah. Pins, I often find, moves fabric yeah. sometimes. You end up with it going under the machine. These you can just pull out and they clip in. We have really got hard. packs of fabric clips, just saying. Oh, do get a pack Hannah. if you haven't got some. <laughs> So you can just check it's right so your zip's in the middle there. <laughs> yeah, they, we do have packs of fabric clips available on the website. <laughs> if you go onto Sewing Street, watch live, we have got them. Honestly, they are, for things like this, where you're doing those layers together, yeah. it's really they worth really, it, Yeah, it? definitely. 
Only fourteen ninety nine for hundred bargain. And also, I always find with clips as well. If you want it, you can sew from either side. Oh, I know. Whereas if you've got a pin on it and you suddenly think, oh, I should have pinned it mm. that side. Doesn't matter. And with I know clip, with clips you're supposed to do them so they're lying flat on the machine, but I don't think it makes any difference. Does I it? don't. You have to take that over. Yes, that's. It doesn't matter really. Yeah, because one side's flatter and the other side's yeah. more lumped up. So you would put that one, but you see again, I've not there. You can. Sort of... I've always got mine upside down. Yeah, I have as well. <laughs> I just like the coloured bits, so I just go for the coloured bits. So it really doesn't matter. So you'll see all this lines up, and we're going to put right, a zip, okay. zipper foot on our sewing machine. If I can just get to the pedal here. Right. So I'm going to put this underneath and you're going to sort of find out where the teeth are and almost butt that up to the teeth. Yeah, so ooh, this ooh, is the bit where... Apart from... Can, whoops, um, I've just broken that needle. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is, what were you saying, guys? Yeah. This is a bit where... Right. Don't worry. We'll I've, just get you another one. I've got a needle. You've got one? I've got some needles, yeah. Right, I'm going to do this thing some with me. Yes. just sorting out her needle issues. Sorry, yeah. I think now, it's because I didn't need, put the right... ideally, a number five zip for the um, top of the bag. Number five means that the zip teeth are five millimetres in, across. A normal zip that you'd have for dressmaking or other things is number three, because they're three millimetres across. But um, Sandy's used a number five zip in hers because it's five millimetres, just because it's a little bit stronger, yeah. a bit chunky and a bit more durable. So what we've got here, look at this, five metres of number five zip for 9 99 Now you think how much you'd pay for, I say you'd normally pay over a pound, maybe 150 for a 30 centimetre zip. Well, you're getting five metres for 9 99 And then you can cut it, see there's no waste, because quite often, I'll use a 40 centimetre zip and only 20 centimetres a bit, and then you've lost the rest because you've got no zip sliders. So this is really good value. You will need to buy sliders as well because this comes as just the five metres. It's white, so it'll go with everything. But you will need a slider as well. Now, we have a choice of sliders. These are fab. These are fab. They all, I love these, I've got thread spools on them. We've got them in three different finishes. So this slidery bit, you may have other five um, number five zips, but they, these, the slider bit will go in and then you've got this thread spool with two flowers that sits on, and this will go obviously like that, will go into the teeth. So that's the rainbow one, 199. This is, I mean, I think when you've gone to the, time and the effort of making a bag and this is a real feature this is sitting on the top of it it's not just enclosed in the back of a dress or something having a special zip slider is really lovely we've also got it in gold there we go 199 and we always have it in silver as well there we go so it's got the slidery bit there that you just put it in. Marvellous. Right. Are we all right now? Yeah, we're back. I didn't have the right um, foot on, apparently, and it just went into it. Oh. So sorry about that. That's right. Quiet. So I've got the right zipper foot on, <laughs> and hopefully, there we go. I thought I'd tested it, and obviously you didn't. So you want to butt it up to the teeth here. So the edge of just, the zip foot. Yes. Then when you get to sort of like, you can see the lumpy bit where the pull is. Leave your um, needle down, mm. lift your foot up, just go inside and just pull that up a bit out of the way. There we go. And then you can carry on. With your, in fact, I'm going to pull it down a bit because it's too, too high up. There we go. And then you can carry on in a straight line because if you don't move the zipper foot, the, the little pull rather on your zipper, yeah. it won't make it. It'll sort of like have a little kink in your line. So I'm oh, so move go the down. slider. Yeah. So lift it up again. Go in and just pull the slider. Oops, there we go. And because your needle's down in it, you're not going to lose your place there. And you can sort of feel it butt up to the teeth there as well. And most sewing machines come with a zip foot. Yes, yeah. And if they don't, you can buy them as separate things. I've not seen a machine that hasn't come with one. I've Maybe never seen years one. years ago yeah. they didn't, but these days it's kind of the standard accessory. It is, it? yeah. I and think, then other yeah. feet that you're never going to use a standard, aren't they? Like the blind hem foot. I know. How often do you use a blind hem? Never used that. I don't even know what it does. I know. 
and yet sometimes it comes as ones that you could really do with and you think why did you put that foot in yeah, is that maybe because nobody invisible. buys them <laughs> an invisible zip foot would have been a lot more useful yeah. i only use three feet anyway i don't use very many i use the normal What's, foot yes the zip foot yes and the normal one is the quarter of an inch one, yes so. yep zip foot and free mo walking foot and i use a buttonhole foot Sometimes oh, yeah, that's well. true. Yeah. And I do use the free motion foot for free motion. Yes. So that's actually a lie I use. Quite so there we go. Yeah. So then I'm going to just bring this over. And and I use a walking foot sometimes as well. No, I use a walk, yeah. So when yeah. I said only three, that's yes. actually not true. Yeah. I guess if but you're I a think, dressmaker, you yeah. probably use all these other blind temmy things. So I iron it up first, and then you want to sort of iron it together. Okay. So that you've got your hem, um, your zip proud here and just make sure that the it's flat on both sides so i as i say when we're sewing here we do it quite quickly don't we so you would spend some time to just make sure that, that that's flat really lovely. flat and then you could put a pin in it if you wanted to to just make sure that both sides are going to be um stay down so i'm just going to put two pins along there just underneath it, just so that you know that the lining's right. And then I'm going to top stitch just okay. along here. So again, um, how do you move the needle over to the other side? Do you know oh, that's this one? That's a good one? question. Because it goes on that side, doesn't it? But you've got a zipper foot on the other side. I was just wondering if it no, takes it. You, it doesn't. I think what you do. Oh, do you, ah, yes. Is you move your brilliant foot onto the other <gasps> side. Da, da, da. There we go. So that you can then get quite close to this side. You probably can move it the other way. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, that's do you know that what it's like? Fine. You know you own it with mine, you just yeah. press a button and it goes You do with mine as well, I just move it yeah. and it goes, yeah, it and tells you. And you probably can with that one. Yeah. I have no idea. I would say so, oh no, you see, I think that's going to, no, that's going to hit it, you see. Um, oh, wait a minute, let's see, oh, fine. Oh, uh, it will be. Oh, there we go, yep, yeah, done it. I think oh, okay. that's, yeah. Yeah, so yes. yes, on mine you do. You change ah, that. Right. The three yes. put you change that. Right. So if I do make that stitch that's length the stitch longer, length. that's right. So I And then make... if you want to move it, the right. needle, move that one. So I wanted to make that stitch length. Let's just go very slow in case it there. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm just going to do a longer stitch length, so like a top stitch just along uh, here. Okay. Just to make sure it stays down. Okay. Well, a little bit of decoration. Yes, as well. yep. So you could do a fancy stitch if you wanted along here. You could. You could do um, a nice contrast. I mean, I've just used the, the plain sort of beige that's in here. But if you had a really nice, maybe variegated green mm. to go in there, or if you wanted to bring the, the cerise colour out of the fabric, you could put a nice cerise in there even. So it's I do like a top stitch. Yes. And I well, it's things like point. that that make make your bags look more professional, isn't yes. it? The little top stitches. Yeah, so let's have a look. I want to show everyone how that these two colours are working. Yes. So if you, because when, yeah. if you get this kit, yeah. isn't that gorgeous goes together? Well, you can see, it? look, yes. with the pocket. Yeah. Doesn't that look beautiful? And what together? I've done with this one, I've actually turned the flap the other way so that we'll have that Ooh, on the outside as nice. a flap. Because I thought... That's too nice to not have any of that material Absolutely. on the outside. Yeah. So, and you can just sort of, I've kept just so you can see a little tiny yeah. bit from the pocket as well. Um, yeah, and then the, like my flap will come over the top here. So I've got oh, it. Oh, that's really nice because it's a yeah. shame, isn't it? It's so it nice. Is, it's too nice, isn't it? Almost. Yeah. But I did the canvas because it's more hard wearing yeah, for a bag, for an outer bag, I suppose. But if you're just having it as a holiday bag, you could, you know, use the outside as a. So I'm going to get this. Now I've. Put the flap on it, and we're going to put it face down okay. over the top of the zip. And I'm just going to clip it on again along here. So again, this is where your clips come in so handy. And just we love clip. a clip. Oh, make sure your pocket's in there as well. So we're going to clip along there. Fourteen ninety nine for hundred clips. Oh, that's a good value. Hundred is never enough. 
No. Is it? Oh, no. Um, I always normally buy another bag when you've got yeah, them. Why on, is yeah. that? Why is that? Where do they go? I don't you lose put them. them. On, oh, no, you just put them on all sorts, though, don't you? Well, do you know what? The problem is, I, like you, I clip things together yes. when I'm cutting out, and then I forget. And then I, I find know. them in other things. I know. I have to go through my bags sometimes, yes. and I've got some samples of things. I'm going through again. Oh, there's about 70 clips in that bag. So, all those clips? <laughs> so I flipped it over. So now the linings are right side together and put them over the top here so that, again, your zip is the, the little sandwich in the middle. So your zips, your filling, and then just alter the clips so that they go onto the zip and th onto the lining here. There we go. It just comes together so quickly, this bag, when you've done the main bit, this is... Yeah, and this is really showing, you know, you don't need to be scared of zips. Oh, no. Because you're not... People are scared of zips. I think the problem is, is that we often sort of learn about zips, about dressmaking, and yeah, putting it's... a zip into the back of a dress isn't the easiest, especially when you have no. to match up a waistband, whereas a bag... It's so much easier, isn't it? So I've just changed that round, and again, I'm going to just check... There we go, yep. Yeah. I'm going to butt up the zipper foot to the teeth <coughs> and you can put such lovely pulls on the zips nowadays can't you so if you have a, I know, and I think as well, if you're if you're making a bag the zip really is a feature yes. isn't it that's why i wanted it to be sort of like that chunkier zip inside mm. it as well so just be careful when you're going over the bit where the the flap is When I hold it at the back, I'm not pulling it through. I'm just guiding it to make sure that it stays in the right sort of lane with the, with the zip. Because you don't ever want to pull it through, but you do want to sort of guide it. OK. So again, I'm just going to lift up and I'm going to pull this zip so you can sort of get inside there, inside your little sandwich, and pull the zipper, pull back down so you can still carry on going through and you're not going to have that lump there. There we go. There we go. So then we've got the other side of the zip on. Oops. There we go. So again, I'm going to do the same thing, just iron it so that you've got the lining the right side. There we go. And there we go, I want to put it over there. So you want to have the, the flap over the zip so you're sewing underneath. Right, okay, so okay. don't flow. So don't iron over the zip. On I mean, top yeah, of no, the flap. No, so it will tell you, and there's a picture in okay. as well to say where it's going to go. Let me just pop another pin there. So I would make sure I'd iron that really well. From both just sides. From both yeah. sides, just to make sure. So that's okay there, isn't it? Yep, there we go. And then I'm going to put it back underneath and change this over again. <laughs> Good side. <laughs> I know. There we go. And what did we do? Did we... It's the one that's the zig. It's, it's this, this one, one here. So that we'll... will move the needle. Mm. Can you do... Oh, plus? that one, yes. Ah. Yes. No, is it moving? That yeah, way? that's going left now. Oh, right, so I want it to go the other way. Yeah. Is that right? Can we... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yes that's right. Yes. So it is the yeah. same as my 720. The zigzag one moves it. And just, just if you've got a machine that does move it, just make sure before you start sewing that it'll fit through that hole because otherwise you'll do like I did and break your needle on it. Yes, I have done that. So I'm going to I just put that, that. Yeah, well, I've just I've done it a few times. Well, on mine, you have the HP plate. And I've right, tried yes. to do Oh, yes. I've tried to do a zigzag on a straight plate, yes, and yeah, it doesn't it do it, doesn't does it? Well, actually, it doesn't plate, always yeah. work. It doesn't let you, no. but then there's some, there must be part of it that did, because I've done that with mine. Yeah, it? every so often, because mine doesn't normally. I normally have to change everything. Yes. But then for one time I didn't, I thought, oh, my God, why have I broken my needle? And I thought, oh, I know what, I've got the wrong blooming plate inside it's here. It's always quite spectacular. Yes, yeah. I always find as well, if I break a needle once, I'll break <gasps> two or three. Yes, don't say that. Go. Yes. Why is that? I don't know. Yeah, I can normally change it about three times if I'm changing it, if it breaks. And I think then, you see, you should actually 
like earn more hours of sewing because you're only supposed to sew for eight hours. But I think oh, if you've had you? to change your needle, you've wasted three. Yes. It should give you a good 24 <laughs> hours on that one needle. That's right. And often you find sometimes, because I often change, I normally change my needle when I start a new project. And then you change it and then you've not changed like your plate or the, no, the needle over no. and you break it and you think, that was a brand new needle I've just put in there and now that's I've broken it. That's why I it. now buy mine in packs of 100. Oh yes, that's a good idea. I think I ought to try that. There we go. There we go. So we've got that. Instructions on their own have now sold out. Thank you. So this is where you would now put your other magnetic snap in. Right. So because it's over, you can see exactly where it's going to go. So you'd put a little mark and because you've not got it attached to the lining, you can add it in now, which I'm not going to because I'm going to. Yes. Do. Yes. So that's okay. where you would put it now. Um, so we have magnetic snap. Yes. Fasteners. And you need one and a half for it because obviously you've got a full one there and then you put another no, one so on the back. Buy two. So you'd have to buy two. But if you bought three, enough. you can make two. Yes. Because you need one. Yeah. So then you'd need one and a half for each. Right. So now I'm going to. That's one because you have to have four that's bits. Right. You have a male, a female and two back plates. One ninety nine. That's for the silver. Now, at this point, you've got to make sure your zip's open. Have we got another colour? Oh, we've got gold. Oh, yes, so we do. So if you've got your zip open... And 18... Sorry, one ninety nine okay. for the gold. They're lovely, aren't they? They're nice. So with your zip open and your lining right side up, you want to take the lining over and we want to pin the lining together, just the lining together, and not the cut-out corners. So I'm going to just clip along here. So you're just clipping it up here. And then at the bottom, you want to leave a turning gap. And you need quite a big turning gap. So I'm just going to put a, a pin in there so that I know that's my turning gap there and one about here. And then a clip on either side. So you can see I've left these corners out because we're going to box those in a minute. And then carry on clipping up the other side. Then what I do is I lift the lining up and the other two pieces go together quite nicely. Right, OK. So then you can fold these together and again clip these all the way around. You don't need a turning gap for these but you do need to leave the boxed corners out. And if your zip is still zipped up inside, you're going to not be able to open <laughs> it up. So, uh, just She says, not yeah. from experience. I know, no, I would before. never do anything. Never. Like that. I don't suppose you have. I've ever done that. Oh. <laughs> it's like with a cushion as well, isn't it? You have to you know, sort of get you... inside and like, try and get hold of a slider from this the inside. I know, that's it. right, yes. Through the opening gap. <laughs> so you can do it. You can do it through um, the opening Sue's gap, just asking, how much H640? Do you need a metre or half a metre? You need half a metre. Half, half a, a metre will be fine. But we've, for but that one, 999 metre piece, so that's enough for two bags. Yes. Or I would get it, because once you've yes. used it, it's really useful for other things. It will Even never... Even if you're just yeah. making like a little zip purse. So much nicer. Oh, it is, it? yeah. There we go. So now we're going to take it back to the sewing machine. I'm going to change this, take the zipper foot off and just put an ordinary... Uh, foot on it and have you got the right in the right place i don't yeah. know no. turn it off and on again yeah oh yes and i always will. do that and it sort of is that because it then goes back to where you want it okay. to be yeah that's, i think i could just put it on i think oh three try oh three right there we go let's have a go <laughs> <laughs> right so it doesn't matter where you start you just need to sew all the way around don't forget leave your opening gap <coughs> don't sew up the corners so i'm going to start at the bottom here And I think my seam allowance is about a three-eighths of an inch, but as long as you use the same seam allowance all the way through, you'll be fine. It's not like a dress or something that's going to match or not fit you. But I always say just make sure you use the same seam allowance. So... Right. And then it'll all match up. I mean, you can use a walking foot at this stage, but as you can see, it goes through it quite all right. There were some waddings you need to put something behind yes. them, don't you? Yes. That's why I like this. That 
Oh, yeah. I often put it when I'm doing free motion as well. Somebody, I think, asked me if they needed to put anything else on. And I said, no, you can still do it with, yeah, um, true, with that as well. So if I was doing a cushion or something and wanted some free motion on it, I often just back. I've always got some H640 and always. So it's, I mean, it looks very expensive when you've done the bag up, but it's a very quick make as well. So if you're going on holiday and you want a few bags to match some outfits, you can easily, yes, that's you true. know, or run, a wedding, run a few up. Or a yes, little part yes, or a party. Yeah. Very nice to have a matching bag. Yes. And it does look very professional because you put the zip in it and you've got the, um, the handles. Yes. People will be very impressed how yeah. matching your bag is. Where'd you get that yes. from? And if you want it, as we were talking about, if you sort of made it... Now, I'm just going to put... I am going to put a reverse stitch at the opening bit because otherwise... Whoops, is it going to go back? No, it doesn't want to there. But normally you would put a reverse stitch. <laughs> it doesn't want to reverse for me. Go today, I'm afraid. No. I normally use the other machine. I always say machines like cars, aren't they? You know how to drive your own car and you can drive somebody else's car, but it always takes a while to yeah, I know. learn, and even though the, and even the if gears and I've, stuff are in the same place. I've they? obviously got an L on the machine, but even the different ones, they yes. behave differently. Yeah. They have different yes. things. I think I should understand this. I know, because I always normally use the other Elna when I come in and it's like, oh no, I've got to use, <laughs> use a different Elna. I was used to the other Elna. <laughs> So you can't, um, the only way you can get the instructions now is to buy one of the kits. The instructions on their own have sold out completely. The um, kit that's on screen at the moment is the Chartreuse and Cave Garden Party, which is the one that Sandy is demonstrating with. In the kit, you will get full instructions with all the templates, which are printed on a thicker paper, so you can draw around them. They're very durable. Half a metre of the lovely Chartreuse canvas half a metre of the Cave Garden Party, just to warn you, there are more people who've got this kit in baskets than we've got available. So if you want to make this glorious summer bag, you need to be very quick. Don't you think those colours would go with anything? Yes, anything. You'd wear it with black, white, yes. blue, yes. brown, And it's anything. joyful, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. And what I love about a bag is it always fits. Yes. Doesn't it? <laughs> it does it always, always, fits. always fits. Always fits, love a bag. This would be lovely at a garden party. Have you ever been to a garden party? No. <gasps> we went to the Royal Garden Party once. Really? Never yes. Been to a garden yeah. party. And Andrew was invited with the um, the Never Forget Society, I think it is, from being a veteran. Right. So we got invited to um, a garden party. No way. And it was absolutely gorgeous. It I think I'd gorgeous. like a garden party. It was lovely. It's like afternoon tea outdoors. Yes. Yeah. And I, who doesn't love an afternoon tea? No, I can't think of anyone. No. I love an afternoon tea. Right. So I'm just going to iron the bottom seam flat. And I always use an ironing ham. I right. just pop it on because I just find them quite easy to sort those. To get round. So if you've got that at the top, you need to open the bag up, turn it on the side, and you need to open the side seam as well and join the side seam and the bottom seam together and put a clip on it. Now, I always just check with a pin. So I'll put a pin through the centre there and push it through to make sure it's in the centre at the bottom. So we know that that's properly lined up there. Just put your fingers in the corner to just make sure everything's out there neat. And this is just how you'd box your corners. So there we go. I'm going to put a clip there. And I'm going to do the same very peacock quickly on the other side. Have sold out. Have they? Oh, those no are pe lovely. More peacocks. No more peacocks. Oh. Um, we have got the Chartreuse one, but as I say, very, very low on that one. Uh, the blue one, which is the sample one that Sandy showed us, where you get the lovely mid blue, like Air Force blue canvas, and you get half metre of cave, lovely lining, but you can sort them around if you like. Yes, isn't, lovely? Yeah. isn't it lovely? And instructions. This is the only way you can get the instructions now, is if you buy the kit. Twenty one ninety nine. Actual bargain. Yeah. Bargain that you're getting a half metre canvas, half metre of cave, and the pattern for just twenty one ninety nine. That's madness, isn't it? And so you the pattern so is nine ninety nine. So for eleven ninety nine, you're getting 
half meter of cave and half meter canvas. And then finally, beautiful. This is garden party as well, oh, isn't yes. it? That's very classic, isn't it? Very sort of. Um, you will need handles, but they're all on the website underneath. So if you go onto stonestreet.com, click on watch live, all of the handles are there. So you can just choose the ones you want. Yes. That's gorgeous. I mean, look at the match on that. That's lovely, isn't it? That is very posh. It is posh. Posh, that. Yes. This is the posh one. I could see that with a nice navy blue blazer or something yes. like that. Yes. And wearing that. I'm just going to pop a pin on here. Right, have I got time? I'm doing okay. I'd like to time? have this on the train. Yes. Oh. On the train. Is that on the Orient Express train? Yes, on the Orient yes. Express. <laughs> right, so I'm... You've only got two minutes. Oh, right, okay. Can I just very quickly sew yes, these I'm, corners and then I'm I can... Just box in a corners. And then literally just... That's all I need to do and then I can turn it out. So if I can sew these really, really quickly. Uh, the... The fabrics then, that Sandy's using are on screen at the moment. Remember, we've got more of you got that in baskets than we've got. You will need um, one piece of H640. Take That's yes. enough, well, more than enough, actually, to make the whole bag. Yeah. But that is entirely optional. And I think once you make um, one, you'll want to make another one and, you know... You will. Them, and yeah. also, again, you see, I think gifts, you know. You know, it's like you've got so-and-so's birthday coming up in May, and oh, what yeah. am I going to get them? Buy, make them a bag. Everyone loves a bag. And you can make it so different as well. Yes. You can make it, you know, re it sounds cliche, but you can make it your own. You can, you know, sort of add different pockets and different materials. Well, that's what I like, make depending it. on where you're going and what you're using it yes, for. Yeah. I, when I make myself a bag, I usually make it for a specific purpose. Yes. So, and the pockets are designed for that purpose. Yeah. So like if I put two internal pockets in a bag, I put different colour zips so that I can remember what the a, red zip is for my what key. What a good idea. The green zip is where... Because yeah. otherwise you constantly go... Yes, yeah, yeah. Which one's got my phone? Which I know. Season. Um, but, and you might want the zip pocket at the front. You know, you want to might put it yes. in a different place and put it further down at the front or put the zip pocket inside and just put a patch pocket on the front. You know, and it's it really is. Once you know how to do those pockets. Well, also with something like this, if, you know, if you haven't done much bag making, make one exactly following yes. the family's instructions. Yeah. Once you've cracked it and you know how it all works, you can then make another one. Right, so very, very, very quickly, hopefully we can just turn this. So we're going to bag it out through that gap in the the turning gap which is why you really do need to put a reverse stitch either side of that in case you pull it back it did leave quite a good tap there we go then if i can i've got one thing to show you if i can there we go so that's your bag done really so you need to push your corners out don't sew up the turning gap yet whoops <laughs> Jewish reckon the studio over there so I don't know that. Sorry, everyone. It's just Julie. <laughs> Julie's over there. She's just wrecking the joint. <laughs> there we go. So push your zip bits out here. We could do that in the break. Then don't sew up the um, turning gap at the bottom because what you're going to do is fold it up so you get your corners and it just folds up quite naturally there anyway. And then you'd fold it in either side about four inches fold it up bring the flap over put a little mark and that's where you'd put right your, before you before said, anyway it's all in and then you can do it for inside but then that's it now all you need to do then is sew your handles on brilliant thank you so much sandy um that's been joyful brilliant. joyful hour so um, when are you back with us um i'm back on the 22nd with you on a monday again Really? Yes, well, you've got me again, Beth. That's fantastic, because we did have a long time where we weren't together. I know, I thought you didn't love me anymore. No, I think they I separated us. They did. I'm quite used to we're that. having too good a time, I didn't they? I spent most of my school life separated oh, from people. Oh, did you? Well, you're not going to be any more, Becky. so mean. I know. I spent a lot of my school life on my own. Did you? Oh. Sat on a chair, you know. I need to come and give you up. I know. Okay. Even though you got a cold, I'm going to come and give you up. <laughs> The teachers just didn't let me sit with my friends. That's awful. I can't understand why. Well, you've got me now. You're stuck And I was so now. well behaved. Yes, oh. Really? <laughs> You're going a bit too far now. Yeah. So I think they separated us, to Did be they? Fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they probably but that's fine. We can be back together again. So we're back together again in two weeks today. Oh, is it? Wow. And you cope, so you've stuff. got a week off. Brilliant. <laughs> for brilliant. good behaviour. No, we can have, have more fun. That's more true. fun. Well, thank you so much. You've done some brilliant things. Thank you so much. Um, it's been gorgeous a gorgeous pleasure. Quilt. And love the bags. Thank right, you. we've got to go for a break now because um, Julie's sort of 
got a wreck in the studio over, over there. <laughs> right, Julie. Yeah. There was a bit of a crash there. We're back and I'm going to have to I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time with Julie. Brand new products, mm -hmm. new needles, exclusive to Sewing Street. You're going to love these. I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery. I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com 
where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Welcome back to Sewing Street, Yarn Lane. Hi, Julie. Hi. <coughs> We're on the same Hi, desk. Thanks. That was a bit of a cough, wasn't it? So, oh, we've got new needles. We we've have, got yeah. new needles. Brand yeah. new. Yeah. Taken a long time to get ready. And exclusive. Yes, they're exclusive. The same stream. Yeah. Um, now we're going to start with the blue ones because there's blue ones and pink ones. So there tell is. me about these needles. Right, these needles. People kept asking me for um, normal chunky needles, as we would know chunky knitting. Proper chunky, yeah. not Julie chunky. Yes. Yeah. Right. Proper chunky, not Julie chunky. Um, and they've been asking for a long, long time, and I've resisted and resisted, but we've realised that that's what people want right so um we decided we wanted them to be different to everything else and uh but like decided how i wanted them i wanted right them. and they've got to match the obviously the, the packaging and everything so um that's why the blue and that's why the pink so we've got 10 millimeter needles Ooh. um 10 millimeter needles in with your blue ends right and you've got your 12 millimeters with your pink ends so 10 mil they're the ones that are on screen so these are Beech wood. The beech wood. Oh, they're birch. very nice. Birch. birch. I'm muddling them two up, birch and beech. No, these Not are beech. 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 They are beech, yes, beech. the beech. These are very smooth. I've got them on my glasses. I'm, well, yeah, I'd say I've got mine on, so I know That's they're beech. You know. The beech wood, yes. They're very smooth. They're very smooth because what happens is they get sprayed. Right. Then I have to sand them again and then replace, put some varnish on. Oh, I see. Because obviously if you spray them, I'm giving away everything away, but if you spray them, it goes everywhere. Yeah. So I mask it off best I can, but they do need sanding then. I sand wow. them then and put a light varnish on. And they've got a nice point on them and as well. And a lovely point, yeah. Lovely yeah. point. Yeah. These are gorgeous. They're made in the beautiful. UK. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are good and they're sustainable as well. They're made from sustainable wood, yeah, from, from sustainable forests. I um, really the like them. They're a beautiful the pair of needles. The certificate and everything. Um, with so them. what size yarn, what weight yarn is a 10 mil normally So a 10 mil, with? I'm still using Super Chunker. Okay. You know how we double it normally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we don't need to double it or treble it. You just okay, use, so this you is your normal... Single, single plied. So as you would go into a shop as normal, get a bowl of Super Chunker, and knit away. So these are brand new today, not just to us, well they are exclusive to us, but these are, brand, are new, brand, brand, you, yeah. brand new, brand new to Julie, brand new product. I love them because they they've are... Been, they've taken two years, I bet, to get right. Oh wow, because oh, I mean, if a you're a knitter, time. you know the importance of a needle being able to slide yeah. through the yarn smoothly, because some yarn, depends what yarn you use, some is smooth, some is a bit rough, you know, yeah. so your needle needs to be smooth, but yeah. I do like a sharp yeah, point. Yeah, sharp point, yeah. 
That would be important. Well, you think, yeah, because I do, I'm, I do the point. I make sure that me and my husband do everything together, together now because he's retired and come into this. <laughs> but I do the points. I'm the point expert. Right, because that is important. And that is really, really mm. important, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you can't just, you yeah. you know, particularly things like casting off, you know, well, you like some of my it. patterns are like passing slip stitches, oh. and, you know, and things like that, knitting into mm. two stitches. It's so much harder when you've got that blunt point. I know, it? I know, yeah. that's it. But you see, as knitters, you'll all get that, won't you? Yeah. So these are the 10 mil ones. They have the blue ends. Um, now, we've also got 12 mil ones. 12 mil ones, yeah. And these are pink, just so you know. So once you take them out of the packaging, you get... They've also got the... They've got it written on as well. They've got well. it written on, and they've got the, the Jewish stamp as well. Yeah. So they've got the US 17. 17. These are lovely. So these are super chunky as well? Yeah, because... One of um, some of the some patterns need to be tighter than others. You know, say you say right. for instance, I've got the headband, um, and I'm doing a herringbone stitch with the headband. That one is um, it, it's it's quite a compact stitch, so you need a bigger needle. Okay. So they'll be doing in the twelves, and with the mittens, they're not. That's just we're doing garter stitch and stocking stitch, and that's just it's not a compact stitch. Right. So you need a smaller needle for that. Okay, right, got it. I mean, and these are the same. These are beech wood. Like you would with crochet, like you have crochet hooks. Yes, so you yes. can certain different looks. Oh, yeah, so yeah. sometimes, like with a DK, I'll use a four mil, but yeah. I'll use a four and a half as well. Yes. Depends. Yeah. It just depends what I'm doing. And depends what you're doing and what your pattern yeah. is, doesn't it? Yeah, even yeah. though it's exactly the same yarn. But also, not only that, you use different ones. So like with knitting as well, you might use a different needle for casting on as for some knitting. Some people do, don't they? Just yeah. to give that yeah. looser look. Some people are looser, aren't they? And some people want tighter. Yeah. Say you're a loose knitter, you could use a smaller needle yeah, to cast on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yes, gorgeous. So very now, adaptable. we do have kits, well, we, Julie. Julie's made kits with you're these You partner in, in crime. <laughs> <laughs> so the headband kits are that yes that's right the headband kit. so let's start with, so we've got kit full full because you've got the needles as well now you're not going to believe the price of this um i've got pink that's why it's exclusive to you for a while for a, for a couple of weeks we can do it you get the needles in this you get the pattern to make the um herringbone headband and do they come in the box yes and they come in the box and you get pink banana I've pink never banana. seen pink banana. Why no. is it called pink banana? All these colours, right, are just my wacky head. Right, they all, they're all the colours. They're like pink banana and then there's lemon grape. Right. you just don't see them. I just wanted to have a colour, a, 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 a piece of fruit that you don't see in that colour. Oh, OK. Pink banana. Just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I bet there were pink bananas somewhere. There probably you know, like, is, you yeah. weird yeah. things, yeah. don't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, white yeah. pear, is, it works out, doesn't it? Because I think it's white pear. Now, there might be some white pears, might there? Probably, I but I just really. like the sound of a pink banana. A pink banana. Mm -hmm. um, actually, to be honest, it's got the same tonal value of a banana. Has it? You know that yellow? It's that certain level of tonal. It's that, but in pink. Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? You see, I did it to confuse you because you like to choose colours, don't you? Yeah, I do yeah. love because pink, because bananas are sort of quite a gentle yellow, aren't they? They are, yeah. And that's a gentle pink. So oh, all right, then. This is what the headband looks like in a lovely herringbone. That's beautiful, Would isn't it? Would you like it? me to model it for you? Oh, go on, please, would you? Yes, I will. You modelled the hats last time. I did, you? actually. Oh, that's lovely. Well, you look well posh now. Do I? It matches your dress as well. Don't you look well posh? There you are. Yeah. And they're nice because... Your hair don't sort of, you need sometimes top of your head gets mm. too warm, doesn't it? Um, keeps your ears nice and warm, um, but you still look stylish while you're walking it the dog. It does, actually. Look at that. That is well warm. So, how much are the needles on their own? 14 .99. 14 .99. So, the needles on their own so are 14 I uh, can't remember. Yes, 14 .99. The pattern on its own is 9 99 so you're getting the yarn for three. That's 10 99 You're getting the yarn for three. This is special for you. And not only that, just for it you. all comes in this lovely box. So you put that there, you've got the yarn there, you've got it all comes in that lovely box. And it has a lid. So um, and the good thing about a box is it can be a gift then. But yes. it can also be somewhere to keep your needles. Oh yeah, you can, yeah. I keep buttons and things in some of these boxes. That's know. true. Yeah. What oh, amazing patterns. So twenty four ninety nine. So basically, you get the yarn for free. So you get the pattern, which is worth nine ninety nine. You get the yarn, pink banana, and that's enough to do the whole headband. Yes, it is. Yes. And you get the needles. And obviously, 
you get to use these again and again. The kit and the needles are brand new and exclusive. They're not available to anywhere us. else. Not available anywhere else, and there are fewer than 20 available. So if you want the kit, it is lovely. Nice kit for somebody. Yeah. Um, I think. You know, particularly like beginners or people new to knitting, you know, because well, they're chunky, yeah. it's a bit easier. It is it? chunky. I mean, we're talking a herring, this is called a herringbone stitch, but Job, it looks complex, but it's mm. not. I like to use stitches that look complex and right. aren't. Just to push you a little bit, but not push you too much. But this is a stitch that you really, really enjoy doing. You know, you, you, you soon get into it. There's only two rows to it. Okay. So you soon get into it. You can watch TV while you're doing it. Once, you, once you've sort of memorised those two rows, yeah, which it is you, lovely, you do as you like as you're going along, you memorise, don't you? Only, easily. Only twelve of these kits left. Is there wow. a size range for the headband, or is it just no? Multi? Because you can adjust it. Oh, okay. So I'll show you how you construct this bit, this yes. twist, um, and you can take more into the twist or less into the twist, or when you're knitting it. Just keep putting it round your head. I will tell you to knit it for so many centimetres. Yeah. But if you've got a small head or a larger head, because you will have more than you need in, in the, the right. yarn, um, you can adjust it then so you can do it longer because it's length away. So you can do it longer or you can do it a little bit shorter. So it's up to you. Just just, oh, just pull okay. it around your head when you're knitting. Just keep putting it round, you see. So it just comes together nicely and then you'll know whether to, when to stop or to do a bit more. Loads of people coming in for this. Um, so last few left of this kit. So you get the box the lovely box you get a pair of brand new exclusive sewing street for two weeks 10 mil needles you get a whole ball of pink banana yarn and it's 100 percent merino is this yarn as well it is very soft, very soft isn't it 100 percent merino 65 meters it's beautiful that mm. love that i can't and i can't wear wool normally but i can wear yeah merino. yeah that yeah. is beautiful yarn yeah. and the pattern and basically, the needles are fourteen ninety nine. The pattern is nine ninety nine. So the merino it's is free. free. Yeah. And um, it also comes with the lid. It does. The lid is free. I just, and the whole we, box we, we is just free. We just pride ourselves in our packaging. I just love how everything's matching. Um, yes. Now we've got more of these kits in baskets than we've got available. We do have in another colourway. We do. What's this one called? This one's called White Pear. White Pear. Yeah. Obviously. Roach Tom for you. It is lovely, isn't, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's, I would say it's almost like an oyster colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Because it's got all, I feel it's got, it's not got pink, It's though. not bright, bright white. No. It's not cream, it's got no yellow tones. It's got a bit of a sheen as well. well it has really a bit of a know. sheen, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not it's white, white, and it's not cream. Is it what they call winter white, that? Winter white, that's it, yeah. yeah. Winter white. It's or, quite hard to say, isn't it? It's, it's what they could mean, white pear. Now... You're on the cool spectrum, aren't you? On the cool spectrum rather than yes. the warm spectrum. So, in this kit, you get needles. Brand new, exclusive. These are £14.99 on their own, but no. Then you get a ball of yarn, that's free. Merino, yep. merino yarn. And you get the pattern, £9.99. That, that yarn usually is £10.99. Oh, oh, and that yarn is so 10 you're getting 99. It for 10 99 So you're, you're getting that free. free. I think this is a lovely gift for somebody. Yeah. Or just for yourself. And the box with the lid. Well, I wanted to do a nice a nice pattern and eat a gift. Yeah, you know, it is for very... For a younger end as well. As a, well, know. also, I think, you know, when you think, oh, God, what's so-and-so's birthday anniversary? Yeah. Christmas, what am I going to get yeah. them? Perfect. Well, my daughter wears one of these. I know really I'm good to... for few of these 20 of this one left. Now, very good for people who, you know, you get people who've stopped knitting because they go, I can't see anymore. Yeah. Get them something with big needles. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, because shame, I, can, I need my glasses for close up, but I don't when I'm using big needles. No, yeah. no. I yeah. just think it's a shame for people to give up. Yes, it is. Yeah. When you could just buy bigger needles. Of course it is, yeah. yeah. Or just a nice thing to do. Anyway. And I have no patience. When... I like things to be done quickly. So twenty four ninety nine, amazing price. So you get the pattern, the ball of merino yarn, and the brand new, brand new needles. And the yarn is free, and it's worth ten ninety nine. Aren't mm -hmm. they lovely? Ten mil needles. They honestly okay. are really slidey soft and with nice points. Beautiful. They've got beautiful points. Um, beautiful. I, I shall become known for my points. Yes, <laughs> they are very good points. They are. Yes. Right, the pink banana version, which is the one that Julie's wearing, is in very low single figures, like three. 
So if you want to get the pink banana kit, yeah. you need to get that checked out. I can show you what the white looks like if you want, when we do oh, a yeah. sample. But let's just show you what like it looks like. Knit it, knit it up. White and then, pear. And then you'll be able to see, um, get the gist, won't you? Oh that's, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that herringbone pattern. That's the beauty of merino as well. It just, that shit, that's shiny. Well, it has it? got, it's not shiny. It's just got a, a luminescence Luminosity. to it. I don't know. Uh, what do they call it? They call it in the world, but sometimes they call it the halo. Yeah, oh, it's got a halo. It? Oh, wait, it's got a halo. Yeah, the white halo. pear halo effect. Yeah. That is lovely. It yeah. looks like a rug, doesn't it? Yes, yes. It's, I just love this stitch. Mm. I never get bored of doing this stitch No, at it's all. really nice. See, I it's like only that. two rows, you just don't get bored. It's just nice. Yeah, it's no, it's lovely. Lovely. it looks like a rug like that. Beautiful. Um, you see, so once you've had a go at this and you've learned it, you've got the kit, you've made that, and you yourself can a make blanket. more things, make oh. your blanket oh. as well. Yeah. Now, we do have the pattern on its own as well. So if you've got your own needles and you've got your own yarn and you just want the pattern, we have got that. We have. $9.99, that is for the herringbone headband pattern. Everything you need to know is in there, $9.99. We've got that on its own. So if you've already got needles and you've already got yarn, you just want the pattern. There we go. Yeah, some people do. They do. They want the pattern. They, they yeah, know, absolutely. Have, the well, we've got needles. it. We've, we've got, got it. We wanted to cover all options. Yeah. Now the next kit <coughs> is um, for the mittens. Oh, that is pink. Let me show you how these. So these are cool. I don't want to pull that there. So you've got your little hat. And, no, you've got your wrong. That's the wrong hand. It's this. You're doing your left hand. Shall I do my right hand? Right. So, there we go, look. Got your fingerless mitts, and then your little hat comes off. And you can cover your mittens, your hands up. Fabulous. I need to undo mine. <laughs> right, got it. Oh, these are cool, aren't cool, they? Aren't so they? they can be fingerless mittens, or they can be mittens. Yeah. Which well, sometimes you if you're prefer. texting, you want to text, you can just pop yeah, yourself out of yeah. it. And if it's exactly. a bit chilly, you can go back in. Yeah. That's quite good, isn't it? Because yeah. sometimes you just want your hands well, I did these for that reason. I was like, oh, I have to take my gloves off again. I know, so but I thought, you don't need right, to. Listen, and they have little hats on them, yeah. Little hats. Aren't yeah. they lovely? And this is merino yarn as well. Yeah. Now, in this kit, you get the brand new exclusive to Sewing Street for two weeks. 12 mil needles, beautifully soft, beech wood, handmade by Julie. With sharp points. With sharp points, yes. Hand points. And made by me and Hubby. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. He, he put, Mainly he made by He puts the Julie. colour on. Yeah. Yeah, he puts yeah. the colour. But other than that, other yeah. than that. Yeah, we can't have him taking the credit. No. He, he does try to all the time. Oh, no, no, don't let that happen. Oh, no. All no. made by Julie with a little bit of... A little additional bit of additional care. Yeah. <laughs> You of 30 of this bundle. You get the pattern for the mittens and you get a ball of white pear and a ball of pink banana for just 34 99 So again, it's like you've got one ball free. Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. And these are what, 10 99 each? Yeah, 10 99 yeah. So one of those balls is free. Yes. It's a bargain, isn't it? Bargain. Absolute Hang on, I'm just bargain. Please, sorry. That's why you can only have it for two weeks. Oh, no. uh -huh. yeah, only two weeks, and then it goes. That's it. It goes back up. <laughs> You're saving ten nights time, but only for two weeks. Because Julie can't afford it any longer. No, than that. can't. No, we're going to bankrupt her. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. But for two weeks, she doesn't mind. No, I think I can just cope that. Do you reckon? Three, it might just push me over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's that one. We and we've also got another saving kit. Let's show this one. This one. Do you want to unpack the lemon yep. for me? So Let's you've got your in. needles. You've got your white pear. Oh, bless. I know. I'm just getting over mine. And you've got your... What's that one called? Hey, what's that one called? This one's called lemon grape. Lemon grape? Yes. Not lemon banana. Not lemon banana. Lemon grape. Lemon grape, yeah. So they're all fruits. They're the real names that yeah. call the colours. But they're not. Actually, I love that it. is the colour of a banana, isn't it? It is. That's what yeah. I mean about the same total yeah. value. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> so there's there's you two. You'll have. Um, mm. I'm just thinking. Uh, it's what, banana you... milkshake. That is, isn't oh, it? Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 
You will, you will have definitely, you've got definitely enough for, for your mittens um, and you will have some left over. You might be okay. able to do a striped headband if you had some oh, left over okay. or you can just do... Um, and I guess you can choose which way round the colours go. You can do if you want to do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's all in the pattern telling you which to do. Mm. Um, obviously, the yellow will be where the pink is. Yeah. The body's white, but you could change that you round if you want. Around. Yeah, because you've or got you the same amount. Or you could have one yellow one and one white yeah. one. Hey, that would look cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. could do. Yeah. Should you, you want do, yeah. to. Yeah. But yeah, the 10.99 normally are these. So, so you get, you basically, you are saving one ball of yarn. Yeah. Which is 10.99. So you get these beautiful 12 mil needles. Aren't they lovely? So they've got the pink ends, you know, which is which. They've got the, um, the size on them. So you can use these for any projects. Yeah. Aren't they lovely? Brand new. Well, I'm hoping to keep, to add it, keep adding to them. But oh, are yeah. you? Yeah. But I think I'll still say chunky. Right, um, we're unless not demand going... changes. Okay, but, we won't um, be going down to five. No, because when I, when I do design, I, I, I really that's what I'm better at designing for chunky. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah they yeah. are lovely though. They yeah. are attractive needles. Yeah, well, they... yeah, that means it makes that's just it makes a lot of difference. Mm. Oh, yeah, it does. Nice to know they yeah. are attractive yeah. and they are sustainable and these I'm very are much, important. You see something nice and you want to hold it. You want to, oh, yeah. you want to use it, don't you? It inspires you to. It does. I mean, and they are. It. And and well, as you're all knitters out there, you understand, you know, they, they've yeah. got to be able to slip through because you do get yarns that are quite scratchy yeah. but, and they yeah. cat cool. Well, cool yeah, they will things. get caught. Yeah, they get caught. But these things. are beautifully smooth. Right. Um, I, they won't fewer catch than them, 20 of these. Are you going to show us how to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. sorry, we've got to do pattern on its own first. Oh, right. Pattern on its own, Nine ninety nine. There we go. So if you want just a pattern to make the gloves, the flip-top mittens, even. And you need the pink needles, the 12 mil needles. So if you've already got needles, or if you want to get the needles and you want to get the pattern, then you can. But obviously the most cost-effective way to do it is to buy the kit because you get one ball of yarn for free. Right. I will have to take it off. I'm getting better warm. You can take the headband off like now if you like. So sh how show us the headband first. Right. We started what I'll show is that. I'll show you how to do what I wanted to do is show you how to do a herringbone stitch. These two rows. Because that's all there is to it. Right. The headband the, the right red, pink banana is about to sell out. Oh, right. Well thank you. Just so as you know. We're on white pair though, oh, yeah. still available I'll in white to, pair. I'll have to grab it because I say it's only here for two weeks and if it even lasts for two weeks, which doesn't look like it is. Right. Right, so your first row, what what you do is, you start off, I'm, just, I'm in the right place, yeah. So you knit the first stitch, then you slip the next stitch, knit this the third stitch, and what you're going to do is now, this is why you need a nice point, you want to pass the slip stitch over, but keep it on your needle and knit back into it. And that gives you the first cross. So you're going to, then you're going to continue because it's only a knit at the beginning at the row and a knit at the end. It all says this all on your pattern. So you want to slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over and go back into it and knit it. Slip, knit, and it's, that's that's all you do along the row. Go back in. As I say, I'm, I'm slowing it down for you so you can see, but you'll get quite quick at it. Knit, pass the slip stitch over, and then back in and knit it. Do you think you can do all this? Yeah, no, I think I need to see that a few more times. Slip. Knit. knit. Pass the slip stitch, it's that bit. It's that bit, right. Yeah. Well, normally you'd let that go. Yeah, yeah. But don't. Keep it on your needle and knit it again. Okay, yeah. Okay. And you continue to the end of the row. When you're teaching it, I find it easy to let them think that they're going to drop it, but don't drop it. We've got the needles mixed up. Oh dear. So, 12 mil needles for make for this. I'm not surprised, we're both full of cold, aren't we? 
<laughs> so they were, they were right, weren't they? Oh. I swapped them round. I do apologise. Right. So the headband has twelve mil needles. So you get the pink. So you know yes. you'll get when you get your kit, you will get the you'll right get the things with ones. the right things. Will. But what we said at the beginning, you got is different. So the last stitch was knit, right? It's they're the same price anyway, so yeah. it's not it's not any different. It's but just that the headband right is twelve mil, the mittens are ten mil. Thanks for seeing that, Bex. Well, it was the fact you were using pink ones. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't <laughs> right to tell them, and then we then I I I you thought they said, were wrong, and it is my yes. fault. I moved them round, didn't I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, so now we're going to go into the, your um, second row, which is your pearl side. As you can see, your crisscrosses are on your right side and your little bumps are on your okay. bump side. So this is your pearl row. So what we're doing now is the same thing all along the row again. So we're going to go pearl two together. So you're going to go into pearl, yarn around and knit them both together. And now you can see they're still there on the needle yeah you, you don't drop them off yet you go back into the first stitch and you purl again and then you drop them both off so we'll do it again so what's happening here is you're going to purl two together so you're going to lose a stitch by purling two together so you've got to make that stitch back again so you go into the first stitch and you make an, the stitch back. Because if you didn't do that, you'd end up losing stitches all the way along and your shape would go till you ended up with hardly any stitches. So we're going to purl two together. Are you all right there? Are you putting them all in, in the right, correct order? Pardon? Are you putting them all in the correct yeah, order? Yeah, I've got them now? sorted now. I've girl. got everything all girl. in the right order, in the right boxes, so we're going to pearl two in together. the right thing at the right time. Try and keep your, um, when, you, when you're knitting, <coughs> try not to hold your yarn too tight because it's, okay. it's a stitch that is quite compact. So you'll end up sticking and, and, yeah, yeah. Try and, and I guess, you see, these need to be sharp because all that slip stitch business yeah. going on, isn't there? Yeah. So, so what I'm hoping to do is now that we've got more of a array of stitches and teach more stitches. Yes. You know, each time I come, I can teach a new stitch and things like that. So we're going back into this. This would make a nice cushion yeah. stitch or rug. I've got a cushion, actually, and I've got a throw in this. Yeah, Yeah, throw yeah. would be nice. Yeah, it's lovely, it? yeah. So you knit, purl two together, and then you go back through the middle. So you purl two together. So you've lost your stitch because you purled two together. Yeah. You've got to make your stitch back. So you're going to go into the middle there and make it back. Brilliant. And you see, because you're using these nice chunky needles, this grows really quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. You'll have this, you can start, you'll start this in an evening, a couple of evenings, you'll be wearing it. You'll be wearing it then day, day after. Yeah, which is great, mm. isn't it? Yeah. You can just think, oh, I'll have a new <sighs> headband. I know it's, and well, it's, it's really good. and it's really good for I think it's really good for a present as well. Well, when you just want to keep your ears warm. Yeah. So there you are. So that's all there is to that herringbone stitch. So we've done that. <coughs> Camera again. Beautiful. So we've done this bit here. Right, let's just recap the kits for this just and then I'll show you sure. how to put it together as well. So in the headband kits, white pair, you get the twelve mil needles, those are the pink ones. You you get the um, ball of white pear, yeah, which is merino and it's hundred percent merino free. Not a little bit of merino; it's hundred percent merino. Hundred percent. Because a lot of them say it's merino, and it hasn't. It isn't hundred percent. Oh merino. really? It's got about five percent in there. That's so naughty, isn't oh, yes, it? Yes, it is. This is pure one hundred percent merino, and the the merino is for free. And it should be ten ninety nine. Mm. That is a special bonus, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because I love you all so much. Because she loves us so much, but only she only loves us for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite love frankly, is... you wouldn't get me back if I went here for three. And then love is gone, come back. then. <laughs> now, we've got more white pear people in baskets than we've got available. Pink banana's already gone. Right. Oh, sorry, there is one pink banana left. And now we're doing for needles. Remember, there is 
only one um, pink banana left. Let me just move it on right. the overhead in the middle. And we've got white pear. I have that one. There we go. I won't get in your way. You'll know what you're doing. <laughs> I, I forget, look, see, it's there. We have to be so far over. Of course we do, don't we, yeah. yeah. Now, in the kit, you get a pair of, as in two, 12 mil needles. They've got pink ends. You get a ball of pink banana yarn. Merino, 100% merino, free. You get a pattern worth 9 99 and it all comes in this beautiful gift box. Like that. We have got the pattern on its own. 9 99 pattern on its own. Now, if you just want the needles on their own, they're brand new, they're beautiful, and they're exclusive to Sewing Street for two weeks only. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. And then we might um, double them in price. Yeah, <laughs> and then they'll be 85 dollars No, they won't. No, they won't. Fourteen ninety nine. Exclusive to Sewing Beautiful, sustainable beech wood. Points made by Julie. Made in Britain. Made in Britain. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're sprayed really... Sprayed by, you know, we are going to say, are we? Mm. No. Sprayed, sprayed Pulled by, by hand yeah. in Julie's shed. Although I, I, did, I do supervise very do much. Do you? So, oh, you can't let him up. No, you? I hope no. so. So really, you have done it all on your I own. Because yeah. if you're not doing it, you're supervising it, which means you're doing it. You're doing it. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're doing it. Handmade by Julie, 100%. <laughs> two years in construction. Yeah, construct two years, years in development. But well, then to get that that's finish... The word. To get that finish, you know, and they are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, well, when there's no point bringing them out half done, is no, it? No, It took no. a long, you know, I want, I'm want. i known for quality and I want well, to continue to be Well, what if they were a little bit rough and caught yeah. on things? Cause well, I've again, had, when you're using this type of yarn as well, this is a picket straight away. wooden needles where there's just a little... A little tiny splint and yeah. it gets, yeah. Really yeah. annoying that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. So, 14 99 on their own. It do, spoils do, do, do. your all... Day, yeah, and life. your journey you're on with your knitting, doesn't it? it? Ruins your whole it knitting journey. Just does, yeah. Um, so let's do mittens now. Now mittens have blue needles. They do. They don't have. Pink I really needles. should have put blue boxes, uh, pink boxes for that, shouldn't I? And then we'd have known. We it's fine. We've sorted it now. Yeah. So we've got you. you right. Know. In this one now, obviously you get to make the mittens. So you get two balls in this one. Um, you. One of them is free. So you get one ball of pink banana, one of white pear. I knew I wore my pear jumper today. Yes, you knew, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I knew. Well. I got my pear jumper on because you've got your pear, white pear. Um, and brand new 10 mil needles. Exactly the same. So they've got blue ends, they're 10 mil. They're very super soft, um, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful they're sanded soft. and then I put a light, just a light varnish Gorgeous. on them. Gorgeous. Yeah. They all come in a box, which is ideal if you're gifting them, but to be honest, a really just nice place to keep your needles, because you don't want to just chuck those anywhere. They need to live somewhere nice, so you can keep them in there. You could also keep your patterns in there. So you get one ball, basically, for that price, $34.99, you are saving $10.99, because you're getting one ball free. Yeah. So that's the less than 20 in the pink banana and the white pear colourway. Um, and we have two, the other colourway, which is lemon grape <laughs> and white pear. It's mad, mad. Lemon grape? I bet there's a lemon grape in California. I bet there is somewhere, don't you? To be. I don't know, I just had this idea and I thought, that's what I'm going to do. That's a great idea. Well, because... Um, <laughs> just wanted to, to make them fun. I just I wanted to make everything fun, really. So white pear? Yeah. But then that is the colour of pear, isn't Actually, it? Actually, yeah, inside. that's probably the only one that does end up <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's free, that one. The um, the yellow... Grape. Grape. Lemon grape. Lemon grape. Lemon grape. White pear. And then the 10 mil needles. So one of these balls is free. That's how it works out anyway, yeah. because the yeah. 10.99 for a ball, so you're getting one free. And then the pattern to make the mittens. Yeah. Um, if you want the pattern just on its own, there we go. Just we'll the pattern on Gemma. its own. This is my lovely um, model, Gemma. Is it? Yeah, she works on my daughter. And she's so sweet. She's lovely. I think you could have been that person. Oh, I can't as pretty as Gemma. You could have been that person. Oh, no. Is Gemma's she... just amazing. She's just... Oh, Every have you seen the poster? Just, See, I think that could have been you. They were just like, sometimes just you can just get a snap of her and she just looks wonderful. I'm not very photogenic, me. 
Are you not? No, I would have thought you were. I'm not. really not. No, I'm really. Not. No, some people are, though. Yes, yeah, some they? people I are. I know, I'm all. so not. No, I'm not. Um, no. Right, should we do some knitting? Show yeah. us how to make these things. Yeah, I'm going to show you actually how to construct the headband, firstly. The mittens? No, I'm going to do the headband. I'm going to show you how to do the cross. Oh, OK, sorry. Because people want to know how to do that. So I'll do that and then we can move on to okay. the mittens. OK, OK. Is that all right? Right, let's put my glasses on. Right, because this is quick. It's very quick oh, to show okay. you how to do this. And then so we'll this isn't one of the things. colours we've got the headband in, just in case we've confused you. We've confused everybody already. Yes, we have. So this is how you sew it together? No, we haven't got a headband in this colour. No, I know. No, but I've, I've, this is my sample, so this is... <laughs> yeah, we are having a very confusing <laughs> day, aren't we? I think we're, we're as confused as I think it's this cold, other, it's this cold. We've both got cold, see? I think it just addles your brain, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it does. It does. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I just, it just, you're all bunged up, aren't you? I know, you? I can't concentrate. Right, so what we do is when we're going to construct it, it'll tell you to be your right side facing. Yeah. Which is that, obviously, because your V's are on your right side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it in, put them both to me like this, and then what I do is, there's a lot of different ways to construct this, but I find this is the easiest for my adult brain to cope with. <laughs> <laughs> so I pinch it here. And then this, what I do is you place that bit in there and then that wraps around there. All of this is in your pattern, so you don't have to remember this, by and the way. And then you've got... A sandwich. A sandwich. Then what you do is you backstitch all along here. Yeah. So let me just get my yarn up. So if you leave some yarn left on your, um, you know, when you've cast off, so you've got enough to sew your sandwich yeah. together. Sew your sandwich together. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to backstitch down here, but we're going to go through all these rows, all these rows. And you'll think, oh, that looks bulky, but it, it isn't when you get it through to the right side. So what I'll do is I'll do a little bit to catch them all together here at the edge. Right. So a lot of people don't show sewing up, and I think. That was one of my main jobs when I worked at Rowan, um, was sewing up. So, um, knit, a lot of knitters don't like sewing up. But I used to love it. Um, no, I don't, actually. Don't you? No. no. a lot of people... That's why, when I crochet, I crochet it, because with crochet, you can crochet things you together. Can, can't you? Yeah. See, I hate sewing up. It sort of ruins it, in a way. You know, it's well, like you've, you've, you've created this yeah, textile. If you don't sew it up properly, yeah, it'll and be it can ruined, won't it? Wrong. And then you try undoing it, and it's because yeah. you use the same colour. Yeah. But it can sort of make or break it, can't it? Can, it can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a back stitch. Sometimes if I do them a back stitch, I go in and out this way. So it, it is preferable when you've got all these rows to go through. But yeah, but that's kind of different doing that one, isn't it? It's not like sewing up a cardigan. No, no. But you can go in, you can do your regular back stitch if you want, you know, like where you go through like this and you come out again. But I'd like, really, you want it to be a bit smaller there, a bit more compact, but. So we go through. But you definitely need a back stitch rather than a running stitch. Right, because it's got to be nice and solid. Yeah, that's it, it'll just come apart. Right. Just a little wiggle and get them through. It puts people off a bit, you see, if you don't show them how to, to do this bit. Because um, you're going through these four four areas, you want to make yeah. sure. But it'll go through the holes. Oh, yeah. Let's go back into that one, because I think I missed that, that hole. Right. And then come up here and then go back. So I don't know if this is known as stab stitch, is it? In embroidery it is, isn't it? Um, well, not back stitch. No, stab stitch is just lot little stitches. Oh, that is are, it? Yeah. All oh, right. But it's not going backwards. Last time I did embroidery was like... It's oh, like a, just school. a tiny little stitch. But oh, is it? But you're not going backwards. I used to love embroidery. Right, and then finish off your ends. And that's it. And I just sort of just finish off. Come on, little one. Where's that one coming from? There we are. Right, F finish off. Oh, then pull it. Well, you can break it off or weave it in. 
It's because I've done this a few times that that broke off. But sort of weave it, weave it in and out. But okay. and then what happens? Right. Then shall is we do the mittens now? Perfect. Now we there know what to But it's all in the instructions. Um, the kits for those. Both of those are about to sell out. So let's do let's mittens. Let's do mittens now, That's then. Snap, isn't it? You can't... That colour. Is that sold? No, no, you right, can't what have What colour are we going to do mittens? Unless you've got your box with your mittens. Lemon grape. Right. And white pear. So... Right, what I've got here is... We've got the mittens... And this, I'm mainly going to concentrate on how to sew them up. Okay. Is good. that all right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's fine. I mean, everything you need is in your pattern, so don't worry. Yeah. You won't be missing so anything. I wanted to show you how to sew up with the mattress stitch. Excellent. Remember when we talked about it, we said last time. Yes. I said I was going to show it. Yes, I do remember. So um, I want to show you how to do. So when you've finished your mittens, this is how it'll look. Okay. So you're going to fold it in half and we're going to sew it together. This is your first theme here. It's all in the pattern, but I just want to show you how easy it is to do with mattress stitch. Because loads of people are frightened of mattress stitch. Charlie said I am. Are you, Charlie? Are you? Yeah, Charlie's oh, afraid dear. of what? Could you concentrate now, Charlie? Because um, Julie's going to explain gonna it. going to jump out and bite you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're going to go through the... Just, just join them together. And what I, this, what I do now is I go into the middle of the V here yeah and you go pass pass your stitch through and i will go into the middle of the v just the, the v opposite see it's a lot easier to see on these chunky yards yeah isn't it, it is isn't it and this you see this is good to do it this way because then you make sure that these join together properly like if yeah. you're doing back stitch and it's inside out you can't see it, no can i you? have no idea so doing it from the right side yeah is, is so much better Charlie, you need to concentrate, right? So now I'm going to go into this one and put these... This has got to stitch that little bit there. Put these together. Excuse me. And then we're going to go into the last two there. Into the middles. And then we're going to pull it together. So now what we're going to do is just ease them together. And you can see it's just joined together yeah, and isn't so you just it's by going into the V that being going it? into the V, it's just giving you okay. a flat stitch there. Instead of it going together like that and being yeah. on your hands, it'll sit flat. So now what I would do now is I will change and bring in your other your other colour. But it doesn't matter if you want it to carry on with your yellow, because with mattress stitch you don't always see. Oh, okay. So let me do so it. So if Shall you did it, it in another colour, yeah, would you see it? You don't tend to see it. So let me do it with the other colour and I'll show you. So now we're going to go further on to the white. So you'll see there's, there's a V there, yeah. the little lines there. I wouldn't go in so close. Right. Because you so end up with quite a raggy looking seam. I so go one into the in. Sink, one in. Right, okay. Yeah. And I know that's where I went wrong when I first learned. So we're going to go yeah, into there. Yeah, right. So it's the horizontal stitch between the V on the outside and the V on the inside. On the inside, yeah. Got it? Yeah. You got that, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is just fill them about. So it's not that one, which I were actually going to go into. It's this one. Okay? Charlie can knit, you know. Can he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, Charlie. Mm. We're very proud of himself. Yeah. He is quite He'd proud be going of to knock a pair of mittens up, won't he? Yeah. Mm. Well, he would have done if he'd known how to do a mattress stitch. Well, yeah. Well, he does now. He can rewind it and watch. Yes, rewind it, Charlie. You can watch it back on YouTube this evening. You can. So I'm going to show you that it won't show. Oh, up. wow. Oh, that wow. Oh. Isn't that good? So you could sort of carry on the yellow yeah. and then come back and, and do the white. And it doesn't even show on the opposite side, look. But you could then come back and start at the top and do the white and then it'd be like an overlap, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, yeah. To save you sewing it in. Rather than stopping and starting. Yeah, instead of weaving it in, yeah. So what we could do now is, what I tend to do is, I, t I always use the tails of my, um, right. my yarns rather oh, yeah. than, you know, starting again. So, so the needles, carry on up there. Needles on their own. 
They come in the kits, but if you want to just buy the needles on the own, they are brand new today. 10 mil, only 14 99 exclusive to Sewing Street for two weeks. Let me take them out. And they are honestly super, super smooth. And I'm quite fussy about my needles, to be honest. Like well, I am. Fussy. I, I am. That's why, hooks. that's why they had to be right. Yeah, very fussy. But there's a difference between, um, you know, when people make things. And we were talking earlier. They have very good for pointing as well. <laughs> about Tula Pink designing fabric because she's a patchworker. Right. And so it kind of works better. It joins because she knows what she wants. But yeah, you, you know what you want, don't so you? So you've designed these as yeah. a knitter because yes. you know what you want. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because you can't so find it, so ones. you do it. 10 mil, really good for pointing at people and conducting. Um, those are the 10 mil. The pink ones, 12 mil. I mean, you may as well get both, to be honest. You may as well. Because um, it's a bargain. Never to be repeated. Because it isn't just about the yarn you use. It's about the stitches you're doing or your tension, all different sorts of things, isn't it? Yeah. And, and the pattern and whether, I mean, if you were knitting a throw, a cover, you might want a 12 mil. But if you were doing a cushion, you might want a 10 mil. Because you want one looser than the other. Who knows? Anyway, these are the 12 yeah. mil. Not only that, but they match, don't they? So they are a nice little set to have together. Now, we have got some yarn. Other yarn is available. So we've got other yarn. Now, they're in the crate, and I can point to them with my sticks. Can you, shall I bring you the crate round? Or can you see? Do you want me to come a bit <laughs> further? <laughs> These are brilliant, aren't they? These brilliant are the pointy. So yeah. in this bundle you get two. Now they're oh, six ninety nine. Yeah. They're super chunky. So they're this yarn will work with the ten or twelve mils. But will, these yeah. are hmm? yes, vegan. it will work with both. These are your vegan yarns. These I think they've, vegan. they've been on before, but we haven't had a. Shall I come over this side? No. Um, we've had them on before, but mm. they haven't been in the tool pack. And again, it's a. It's and no, they will work with good. either needle. Yes, they will, yeah. Right. You get two. It's balls. an amazing price again in there i quite like the way you photograph so what's in them this is just it is it is 100 percent acrylic, acrylic is this so these yep. people that can't wear wool um or people who don't want to or wear people wool who don't want to wear wool yeah yep. obviously um and you get two balls for 6.99 yep, that's do, yeah. very good yeah isn't it yeah. is it how much how much you Again, get on it's each? it's uh, it's a deal i'm doing today oh and you get 81 meters you get more actually on that because obviously wool work is a bit heavier yeah 81 meters and this is a special deal that Julie's only doing today for two weeks. Is it just for two oh, weeks? Oh, yeah, the two weeks, yeah. I'm just giving you everything for two weeks. Uh, just two weeks, and then that's it. She can't afford to do it anymore. No. Then we bankrupted her. <laughs> <laughs> we have other colours as well. All these colours that are in there, so you're, all, you're getting a two-pack. You get, um, you're, again, you're getting one free, really. You're getting one ball Basically, free. it's bog off, isn't it? Yeah. Buy one, get one free. Navy, dark navy. Either the needles are just or this. Colours. So maybe you've bought the needles and you'd like some extra yarn. You get base, you're getting one ball free. This is 100% acrylic. It's a really beautiful, super Very soft, soft acrylic, though, Very isn't acrylic, it? It's a yeah. quality acrylic. Mm -hmm. Six ninety nine for two balls of super chunky, super chunky bog off. Bog off. Yeah, lovely. That's the navy. Um, how about this one? Oh, that's lovely. That's, that's magenta. Like magenta. Beautiful, two for the price, one six ninety nine for two balls. Um, works with either needles, just like all of the others. Um, treat yourself, you know, if you buy two, if you think you want to knit, you need to knit a whole jumper, then multi-buy. Maybe yeah. you want to go stripes, maybe you want... They look quite nice together, don't they? They do, yeah, yeah. Look, they're nice together, stripes. A lot of them go together, because I've chosen... Like, yeah, they do, actually. To go together. You know, um, then together. we've got white. Yep. Teal, white. Teal's the next one. I'm going to use my point, point and I'll say what they are then. That's white. Right, so you get two white. Buy one, get one free. Six ninety nine. You've got eighty one meters. Super chunky. If you're getting the new needles, you may as well get the yarn as well. Um, this colour is Teal. very popular. Yeah. Teal. It is, that's is the most popular, popular. colour there. Most popular. Now that looks very nice with the navy if you wanted to join them together, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. I'd say. Also, quite nice with the grey. Just saying. Uh, going over to the top of the left hand side. I could be a teacher with these. I love this. Red. Red. Looks very nice with the grey 
and it looks nice with the navy. Two balls of red. Don't forget, buy one, get one free. Six ninety nine for a, two balls of quality acrylic yarn. Um, grey is next. Now, that's a nice silver grey. Yeah, I called it misty grey, that. Cause misty, yeah. Mm. It's not your school uniform grey. No, it isn't. It's no. a misty... I always think that's more graphite grey. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is just about a to rain. It is soft grey, yeah. It is yeah, soft. Misty grey, yeah. Next one... I call that oat. Oat, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like a... <coughs> Sorry. Oatmeal <coughs> colour. It'll take over. An oatmeal colour. Bless you. Yeah, could you Bless just take you. over? Wet? I will. <coughs> so we've got an oatmeal. And then here we've got spring green, which is a lovely green. It's a nice... It, yeah, it's a, just a pleasant, nice green is this one. I just a think pleasant, it's, yeah. nice green. I can't think of another way... Um, so, I'd I'm say... I'm not a green fan. I would it. go, that is your 1950s green. Right. Yeah. That's why you you're know, the presenter. Yeah. I'm not, isn't this is it? just a nice green. <laughs> <laughs> could be bottle green. Could be evergreen. Could be lime green. Um, it is like your 1950s sort of. And this is a 1950s green, not I, a pleasant green, but it is a pleasant green. <laughs> right. Next one. Right. You've got to now. This one's gone one. wrong because we ran out. Oh. We sold out of purple, so we've substituted lilac. Okay. Lilac. Oh, it is, and it really is the colour of lilac, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is lilac, yeah. Now, the photo on the website is deep purple. Isn't that a band? Yes. Yeah, it's not that Aussie deep on purple. But what you will get is, you will get this lilac colour, you won't get yeah, the deep sorry, purple. Sorry, it did, yeah. It's Don't worry. Sold out, but it's yeah. a nice colour, though. It's be Actually, it's nicer. It's nicer. It's more of a spring colour. It colour-y. is nicer. Needles, 10 mil. 10 mil, brand new, brand new. We've got to do this before we got to finish. I've got to do it again. 14.99, 10 mil needles, brand new from Julie. Made by me. Today. In my Made little workshop Julie, at the end of the garden. In her shed. Um, workshop. Workshop. Workshop shed. In her <laughs> workshop at the end of the garden. Beautiful beach, really nicely varnished. Very super smooth with yeah. sharp points. Yes. 14.99. I would want. Absolute bargain. Pink ones. ones, these will work with any of the yarns. They'll work they obviously will. with the merino yarns that are in the kits, but they will also work with all of these um, acrylic yarns that we have here. Buy one, get one free I mean, on they've been made to go with the yarns that I've got. So it just don't depends worry about it. on what sort of tension you have or what you are knitting with them. Please carry on checking out because they are very, very busy. Anyway, Menu for tomorrow. Coming up on tomorrow's show at eight o'clock, we've got Crafters Companion's second half, second anniversary show with Le Leanne Chivers. What have we got at nine o'clock? Crafters Companion second anniversary show, show with Leanne Chivers. And at ten o'clock, we've got Crafters Companion's second anniversary show with Leanne Chivers. And at eleven o'clock, we have got Crafters Companion's second anniversary show with Leanne Chivers. But at twelve o'clock, we've got the Makers Felting Kits with Steffi Stern. Wow, so, what an exciting day. What an day. exciting day. I think John is presenting, so he will be with you more in the morning. I will see you here next week. Next week. Let's hope your cold's gone. And then my cold will have gone then. Or oh, I shan't be coming in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Because otherwise something will be really wrong. Um, thank you for joining me today. And thank Julie you so much. And Sandy, what a great day we've had. Um, have a lovely afternoon of sewing. Um, and I will see you next week.